that's when I heard it all. A chance to skirt it all. A money like my last girl. Completely virtual. Got the top graphic cards, got a power supply. A microprocessor, a motherboard, a tower and drive. I put the RAM in the RAM slot, drive in the larger bay. Topped it off, two fans. Like a Chargers game. Price back to 30. I missed out, I fear. Crudely assemble a rig like a BP engineer. My friends and family smile and smirk and all make fun of me. But I'm going to make them eat their words because I'm going to be a Bitcoin billionaire. Spending money like I don't care. Mining coin in my underwear. I'm going to be a Bitcoin billionaire. Selecting software and reading the notes. I'm picking out my favorite miners like a Penn State coach. Pick me a digital wallet for holding all my amounts. Read up on all the ways to open lots of accounts. I feel like Tom Brady. I got a fear of inflation. But this is crypto, baby. Central bank decentralization. The script I flipped it. Laptop encrypted. My life was rotten. Now all my cotton's ejected. Even on my vacation. I'm crypto supplying. And they call me gentrification. The way I'm black modifying. Friends asking, what's the best part of your new family? Treasury. I say reminding you how you told me I'd never be a Bitcoin billionaire Spending money like I don't care Flash drives in the underwear Now that I'm a Bitcoin billionaire The cash was never ending, yo, I'm scaling, fun and rowdy I was spending like a seven on a scale from one to Saudi Call it mad banking All night and all weekend, my rig is out franking Grabs what it can while you sleeping Just try out spending me You'll see I'm on a mission Drop more Satoshis than a clumsy Japanese obstetrician but I ain't open to splits Don't care if it's best or not Opposing forks like a Chinese restaurant from geek to chic From basic to ASIC I went from basement squatting to yachting From basin to basin Went from no friends and depression To peer-to-peer -peer legend More contrasting language to establish the impression I'm a Bitcoin billionaire Spending money like I don't care Then one day there was a solar flare Huh. I was a Bitcoin billionaire, spending money like Welcome I don't Welcome in, care. this is Not now Table, Not Table, we are live, Monday night, Monday night, March, give me the fucking day, Jose, March 14, thank you. Mr. Lodak, German out there, Jose is out here as well, if we can only- That's hear right, him. that's right, we're all out here. And before before we start, I want to say something. I want to apologize first of all for that to song. all of you guys. For that song. Um, not for being late. Okay. No. Um, I want to apologize for that whack ass song. Yeah, it was bad. You just played for everybody there. Bad. What the hell was that, bro? I don't know. Jeez, I can't leave you alone for five freaking minutes. You, you'd say, Here, "Hey, what song?" Here, and I'm like, "Oh, don't worry. I trust you, bro. Just play whatever. You know, something funny." And you had to play that whack ass. Here, look, look at this one. This one. was that? Bro? This one's better. This one's better. Okay. The heck? It definitely sounds better for sure. 100%. Bro, what the hell is that? Right? What the hell is that? <laughs> what is YouTube broken or something? I think you broke your browser, bro. No, that shit's so whack. That shit was so whack. It broke your browser. I don't know. I guess we're not going to win. I mean, that's it. That's the bad. browser agrees, bro. That shit was too whack. What the hell? By the way, I found out today that. So, you know, the opposite of woke is based. So that means that we're based. I did not know that. I don't know. That, I don't know. That's what uh, I had some boomers explain that to me. I was like, oh, OK. I mean, they probably just right? like, dude, in their own circle of friends, they're like, yeah, man, the opposite of woke is based, bro. <laughs> I mean, isn't they, that what base? It was this mediated over like a couple of joints or something. This doesn't sound I mean, I'm, I'm based. I mean, so. So when they say you're based, what does that mean? Um, you're based as fuck. What does that mean? Oh, here we go. We got the intro song. Ready? Oh, you're still, you're still with them, bro? Yeah. I figured out what was going uh -huh. on. Bad news for savers, as even those with high-interest savings accounts are seeing their money disappear thanks to inflation. But first, we'll detail every possible thing you could die from. He's a rational investor. Dividend digester. Saves some numbers paycheck just like all his ancestors. ancestors. Him looking for high yields? That's never the case. He's seeking 6% returns. Slow and steady wins the race. But when he checks his accounts just to see what they're fielding, it's like driving in Maryland. Ain't nobody yielding. What is 
easy to do. He shouldn't be in a drought. So he visits his advisor just to sort it all out. Inflation's higher than your bond rate. That's what I was fearing. So your savings account is slowly disappearing and your CDs are pointless. That's not very funny. What would you like me to do? Put it all in dog money. Dog money, dog money, dog money, dog money. I'm trading it in for dog money, dog money, dog money, dog money, dog money. Dog money, dog money, dog money. Why are you torturing all of us like this? What do we do to you, bro? That's not very nice of you, man. That's not very yes, that's not very base to you, bro. I can't hear you. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's for the best. I don't know why I can't hear you. Oh, ready? Oh, my back. Mm -hmm. Jose clearly, <laughs> clearly in a downer of a mood. He doesn't like music. No, tonight. I'm in Jose, a great Jose, freaking mood. Jose, I'm in a great mood, bro. You're, you're out up, here Jose. fucking playing this whack ass music. Jose, yes, sir. Cheer up. I'm happy, bro. All right. Well, anyways, um, I can't believe we lost an hour of sleep. Like that was the roughest part of this weekend. It was terrible, and I know everybody out there in the United States can relate to that that sucked and it always does but this year it sucked even worse than usual jose well really why explain i mean i couldn't Please. i couldn't fall asleep until like 1 a.m last night and then i had to wake up for work oh no i know yeah for me it sucks because i'm like two hours behind everybody now hmm. i'm in still mexico over here yeah yes sir how was your cooking show today did you oh it's freaking awesome Flip the pan. Great old time. When are you gonna make pancakes? I made pancakes already. Oh, you did a while ago. Yeah, I made pan I made all kinds of pancakes. I made regular pancakes. I made crepes. I made. Uh, what is it? Blueberry. Uh, Strawberry. I made banana pancakes. Not blue. Oh, shout out to blueberry. Is that what you banana pancakes? Yeah. Shout out to blueberry. No blueberry pancakes though. So. Chocolate? No. Well, I've made before, but not. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I made them on the show, but I have made those. Yes. Yes, I have. So, what'd you yes, make I... today? <laughs> oh, so you I made today, some vegetarian stuff or something? I made some vegetarian food, bro. That's right. I made that play was playing with my eggplant. Hey, I guys. Made, uh, if you could choose like one type of pancake to have for the rest of your life, it has to be a pancake for the rest of your life. Is it blueberry? Is it chocolate? Is it just plain pancakes? Probably just plain, man. You can add butter to them, but yeah, no, I can just add blueberries else. later. It's, it's literally syrup, but it's only standard maple syrup, or maybe it's like one type of syrup. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I've always, always. I mean, that's. I'm. I'm I mean, I think most people have only had just regular. Really? See, I would have thought I mean, like most pancakes. You know, they don't. They, all that stuff is fancy. You know what I mean? Like the blueberries and the. No, but like up in the Midwest, we're known for very plain food, and yet you're the one going from Florida, from like mm -hmm. Cuban culture, going, "Oh, just give me the plain pancakes." Yeah, and, because and we I'm add thinking, the butter. Yeah, because you can add all the other stuff later. But but you don't. I'm saying all you have is one choice of like syrup, and you don't have any other choices for the rest of your life. Like that's the only type of pancake you'll ever. I think yeah, I would fine. go. I mean, I want, but but you only eat pancakes with maple syrup. I think no, you can have. It I with... never. You know what? When I, I never got it when people. I mean, when when you go to IHOP and they have all of these syrups, you know, like raspberry no syrup. No way, uh, dude. Those are the best, man. No way, dude. That's nasty as fuck, dude, bro. You just want maple syrup, syrup, bro. That's it. No, blueberry syrup is the best. I, I'm gonna no, go it's nasty as fuck, bro. Just regular no. regular syrup with blueberry pancakes. That makes sense. No. Yeah, dude. You see, I'm more yeah, American than no, you, bro. No, I'm more, I'm more blueberry, fucking... Regular huh? pancakes with blueberry syrup. Yes, that, that does make sense. I like that. That's what I'm going with. I'm, I'm more American than you, bro. <laughs> Who brought American into this? What do you mean I'm not American, bro? I am American. 100 percent so tell us what's your dream job darling i've told you several times before i have no dream job i do not dream of labor bro i have been speaking of that uh, speaking of that i have been increasingly uh what you would call like, like, what is it? I, I, i've been 
I've been having a lot of haters lately. A lot of people that just have no jobs and nothing to do out here locally. Wait, let me, wait. wait. So tell yeah. us, what's your dream job? Darling, I've told you several times before, I have no dream job. I do not dream of labor. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. You know, so many retirees, so many people out here with just no, no job, nothing to do, no life. Literally. Wait, what are they and, up to? Uh, what are they? They're doing something to you, or yeah, man. in person or in online? In on person me, or on online? Facebook. Yeah, hating on me on Facebook. Hating oh, you're on, on Facebook. Local. I mean, more than usual. More than usual. See, I that's your problem, though, dude. Just stay off of Facebook. There's no benefit to you on there. Anybody on Facebook is not worth the time. Probably. No, Probably. I, I no, apologize no. if some of you guys like Facebook. No, but you know, anybody I'm who listens really to this that. show. Anybody can you listen? hear me? Can you, can yeah, you? I just keep interrupting you. Sorry. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So I just want to make sure you fucking knew. I'm slowing anyway. down your story because we needed it to last the whole show. I'm just kidding. No, it's okay. I got tons we, of stories. We got, wow, I got plenty of stories actually myself. No worries. It's okay. But anyways, as I was saying, line. bro, um, I don't know what the fuck was I saying. I You're just saying that a bunch of people are messing with you on Facebook, I guess. I mean, not really messing with me, bro. It's just more like, uh, so, you know, I got another channel, you know, a channel talking about moving or living in mexico right um and all that stuff and it's you know i basically provide a lot of free information to people just like i do with the cooking show or whatever else i do right and um, about what you though know, about coming to mexico you got to be more specific not everybody knows so you have a youtube channel about how to move to mexico or benefits of living in mexico as an expat yeah i mean long story short i i moved to mexico as an expat and then i just started making videos about my life and experience out here and that um was beneficial to other people that were looking to move out here to mexico because they would find my videos and all of a sudden they would be like oh wow cool there's somebody else that lives out here and um he's really telling it like it is so it's like oh wow i can i get to really i get to really see mexico for how it is and you know dispelling all kinds of uh hey where are you going hey can, you know what can you bring me a drink yeah. you're way back oh go ahead <clears throat> and uh and then yeah you know what i mean so like uh, this last time I, I made a video uh it was a live stream me and my lawyer you know, we were basically, uh, you know, just an interview. I kind of like, you know, asking them all kinds of uh, immigration questions that a lot of people have about living out here, you know? Yeah. Anyways, I see you're not really interested. So but wait, gonna... just get to the fun part where people are, so you have your lawyer on, he's talking about immigration details. <laughs> like, not everybody cares about all this stuff. So you have a lawyer on, he's giving us details on, like, what's legal as far as immigration goes, like 90-day gaps. So it's, like, very specific stuff. Sure. And then yeah. you hop onto Facebook after you upload this thing and you're like, I don't know what, why you would log into Facebook. Are you spreading the video around Facebook? Well, yeah, because, you know, the thing is that a lot of the people, you know, the boomers out there, you know, or the local people, you know, they use Facebook a lot. You know, even though Facebook is not being used in the U.S. anymore, um, it's still used a lot in other parts of the world, you know, especially like in a place like Mexico, for example. So you're so you go on after you upload th this thing, you go on to Facebook and you start posting it in, in random groups or in your own group. Yeah, yes. my own group and stuff like that. And, 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 really. and other people's groups, right? Like there's big no, my groups. group, my group, my group. OK, no, what was in other people's group? What was what was in other people's groups? You know, where, um, you know, the fact that people were talking shit about me, you know what I mean? Just like, oh, this guy's a scammer. Or this guy's out there scamming. Wait, but, and not really me. Not really me. Just one guy was saying I was like scamming, whatever. And I was like, well, show proof, you know, show proof. And there was no proof, but just, you know, people talking shit. And then other people started jumping. Oh, yeah, that lawyer's a scammer. He, uh, he, what is it? He closes on people's houses and doesn't give them their house. And I'm like, bro, what do you, this guy's a licensed lawyer. Are you, are you to do he would, if he were to do something like that, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be licensed. He wouldn't be. You know what I mean? He wouldn't be practicing. He wouldn't be anything. He'd be arrested. Why? Probably. Why do you care what other people are saying about you on Facebook? Well, I, I really kind of don't. It's just because I am. I, I'm. A, I don't know. I don't know because just because like I. The thing is, I don't care when people talk shit about me. Like you know, because there's a lot of people talk shit about me. Like oh, that guy believes uh, you know X Y Z about the government. Or that guy, you know, he's a, he's a bad guy because he doesn't, he tells people not to wear their mask or whatever the fuck. I don't care. You know, whatever. It's all bullshit. But when people are kind of like, you know, defaming me, I guess, in a, in a way saying, oh, like I'm a scammer. I take people's money. Right. And it's like, no, I don't do anything but that. In fact, 
it bothers me because like, you know oh, what I mean? Like there are people out there that really do horrible fucking things. And uh, in a sense, I'm almost like starving, not starving, but you know what I mean? I'm definitely not cashing in as much as I should be. You know what I mean? Just because I feel like it's almost wrong to cash in in a sense. You know what I mean? Even though it's really not that wrong. All right, man, this story is providing... boring. Let's zoom out here. Um, I thought that was going to be... Anyways, but yeah, I don't know, dude. Just bothered. I mean, I'm not that face... bothered anymore. Dude, you're literally, but... this is like a 50-year-old guy going to his wife and saying like, these people at Facebook are being... Yeah, they, exactly. They just don't exactly, get it. Exactly. And so look, at the end of the day, I'm not really doing that Mexico... Yeah, look, at the end of the day, it's like this, bro. It's What bothers me more than anything else is just the overgrown fucking men and women out here that are still like babies and and then i still gotta deal with them so this is like my day job i think i think i told you or i was thinking this aloud or whatever but you know like this is like you know how you're stuck in your day job right now and you can't wait to get the fuck out of there yeah. so this is kind of like my day job i cannot wait i mean i kind of almost want to delete all my stuff but i don't i'm not going to do something like that but i want to just like really just disappear you know what i mean when it comes to that oh. and just focus on my mexico stuff and i mean i'm sorry and focus on my cooking stuff and then really, I don't need to put that cooking stuff on Facebook. You know, Twitch is really, you know what I mean? Twi I'm really more focused on Twitch than anything else. So I'm kind of just, I don't know, man, thinking about just disconnecting from all that shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like once and for all. Um, but yeah, dude. But yeah, dude, it's just, it's so, it's so negative on Facebook and YouTube and shit like that. So many trolls and not even trolls, but just negative and horrible people all around, you know, negative news, negative everything. And on, on Twitch, it's so nice. You know what I mean? Everyone's like a real community. People care. It's fun. It's a lot. It's just very different, man. Very, very different. It's yeah, like, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just uh, getting more sour, you know? I don't know. But anyways, sorry. Hey, I Mr. Apologize. Lodak out there. We have live comments. We're coming in uh, to you through your broadcast live Monday and Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. This is not cable. Mr. Lodak. What do you know of a NFL football player, real quick, about his name is Harrison Phillips. I just want to know if you've ever heard of Harrison Phillips. Is he good? No, it's gonna take like an, a minute for him to yeah, I know. even in, hear that. Why Wait, are you so asking what, about that? Because the Vikings just signed defensive tackle Harrison Phillips from the Bills. So I wanna know from a Bills fan, is this a good signing? Or oh, no? I mean they got rid of him. Yeah, but maybe he was just, I mean, like, it's a $19.5 million deal. It's a big deal. So I'm wondering if they just had to cut him due to cap rates. It's actually pretty good. <clears throat> it's always possible. Blueberry, welcome in. She says, besides Facebook, or he says, I guess, I don't really know. Is Blueberry girl guy? I, I got no idea. For some He's reason, a girl. Yeah, okay. So I had that in my mind, but I wasn't quite sure. Okay, of besides, course. Facebook is just uh, for groups and information, not really a friend's place. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah, I know. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I really don't give a shit. But I just find it so interesting, you know, how, you know, people, I don't know, man. You know how they can just well, why be are so, you even, why are you so, no, no, but like so awful. No, but, you know, think about it. For example, I mean, let me put it to you like this. Like, you have a business, right? And I'm sure at some point, you know, maybe... I don't know, man. I don't know if you have reviews on your business. Yeah, like a negative someone... review on a Google thing would matter. Yeah, though. you know, people leaving negative Facebook, reviews though. on your shit. And it's like, bro, what the fuck, bro? You know, who the fuck is this fucking guy? You know what I mean? Like, and about the blind, just straight up lies. You know what I mean? It's like, well, what the fuck? So I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, it really normally doesn't bother me. But when it's kind of like, you know, it, it, when it, when it, you know what I mean? It, it almost a little bit does affect, but it really, like, the fun part is, is that, like, as, this has remember this all started like on friday but ever since then you know basically it's funny because like i've seen that man nobody really gives a shit and everyone most of the time and most of the people are on my side and the ones that are not on my side you know they're already notorious fucking for being awful you know just awful motherfuckers anyway all right man let's so. move on here nobody gives a fuck yeah whatever well you right. asked motherfucker did i yeah I you forgot. did Maybe very I specifically you're asking questions okay you're very specific. Maybe I did. Me to be... okay. Hey, I've been reading that one book, that new book. It's called uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman. It's actually nice. it's actually extremely good. It makes me realize like um, that uh, oh. uh -huh. that like American foreign policy is basically just uh, captured capitalism. Like, hey, we are 
in a way, just uh, imperialists as we've always been and as the world always is. But now we're like financial yeah. imperialists. And that's, uh, you know, I mean, if we weren't going to do that, well, trust me, we're not the only ones doing it. But we are financial imperialists. And I suggest it's free on Audible. It's actually free. Just go to Audible, get the app, and just with a free account, just uh, do Confessions of an Economic Hitman. And this guy is clearly a liberal. Clearly a liberal, Jose. In fact, I got six hours in, and he hmm. got he got like a little bit too. He was like reading something about something somebody else wrote about him. Okay. How, how timely is this? Yeah, <laughs> and, <right>. he was, <laughs> Hello. and he was, and he was kind of like he was moping about it a little bit too much to the point where yeah. I was like, "This isn't even uh, this isn't even very good, uh, you know, content in the book, in the book specifically," and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, that's when I, like, I was six hours in, though. I basically got the gist of it before that. But seriously, I would recommend people read that, because before you get anti-America, you might just want to realize who the real enemy is, um, which is... Don't say it. Capitalism? Not capitalism. Okay. It's really not even, you're not even dealing with the enemy. You're dealing with the inevitable. That's all you're dealing with. You're oh, dealing hey, with hey, 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 yes, man, I'm glad you fucking said that. Yeah, because that's, it's a cycle. That's it. And so, you know, people can hate on capitalism all they want. But again, it's just a cycle like anything else. You know, you, look, man, you know, uh, you know, you can hate donuts all you want, but you're not really going to really holler about this. Nobody hates a donut until they've had one too many. You know what I mean? Right. And like technically, that, that doesn't make donuts intrinsically bad. Like if, once you had one too many, it's just yeah, you had one too many. It's not like anything right. actually changed about the donut. Right, exactly. Same as capitalism. They don't like anything really changed per se. What changed was there just one too many, one too much, just too much. Opie Taylor over on Twitch, my man. He comments, Twitch is gay. Shout out to Opie <laughs> out there killing, killing pigs. Hey, Twitch actually is like, it's like, there is no delay on Twitch. Mr. Lodak still hasn't heard about my NFL comment. He's on YouTube. That's how long it takes him. Twitch mm. is like instant. And uh, yes, I'm telling you, man, Twitch is fucking awesome. Twitch man. has like <laughs> big theater mode. The comment mm. sections have like free emojis. Free emojis, guys. You don't have to use those damn like iPhone emojis anymore. Hop over to Twitch. You'll have free emojis. Um, you'll have instant like HD video on your phone. You'll be able, last thing I'll say, on your phone, you'll be able to picture and picture the show. Like, hey, go on Twitch, watch the show, get out of there, get out of the app on your phone. And now half your screen, even on like an iPhone, is still the Twitch player. You don't have to pay for it like on YouTube where you have to pay for like the picture and picture player. It's free. It's just Twitch just offers it. And it makes sense because Amazon's entire market, Amazon makes good products. Okay, I know people don't like to hear about Jeff Bezos, but at least he beats you through capitalism. He doesn't beat you through like monopoly. Like not usually. I guess he I mean, definitely he, doesn't beat you like your cock. He doesn't you. beat me like okay. like my dad. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, whoa! Like Redheaded chip style. So you guys don't even understand, bro. No, but um. Like Google and you, like Google just buys any competitor, makes it worse, and then it's like, damn it, we still got to use this because it's incorporated everywhere. That's what Google does. Amazon, and Amazon owns Twitch. They actually just, right now in their life cycle, just create better products for cheaper, and that's what Twitch is, man. It's just a better product, and it allows you to do the picture-in-picture -picture thing. It does. There's only like a three-second delay tops. Three seconds. Imagine like a three-second delay. That's it, dude. Like you are live here with us if you're on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, right. like 30 seconds later. Hey, look at this. Mr. Lodic says, uh, what? I'm watching Mitch. What did you say? <laughs> hmm. Oh man, today somebody uh, um, raided Mr. me. Wait, I gotta actually ask him. Mr. Lodic, do you know of, uh, what was the guy's name? Of uh, Harrison Phillips. Harrison Phillips, Mr. Lodak. He plays oh, on the. already asked him, bro. Yeah, he said he's watching Mitch. Uh, Harrison Phillips, Mr. Lodak, is Harrison Phillips. What the fuck, bro? He's not paying attention. I just need to know if he's good. What the fuck is Mitch streaming at this time? What the fuck? Does he have nothing to do? 
<laughs> don't, don't we have nothing to do? Jesus. <laughs> kind of a strange question to ask. Coming since you well, are. Well, yeah, but streaming. usually he's done streaming by now. Uh, I think it's because of daylight saving time. He put like an at to everybody, and he said his new schedule is an hour late because of he's not he's refusing to comply with the daylight savings change. Yeah, but wouldn't that kind of fuck his all shit up like on a daily basis in the That's US? That's true. Wouldn't like the hourly closes be like different? No, like he's always going to be late. He's always going to be this. He's always going to be early. Like, hey, the closing of the Bitcoin four-hour chart. I missed it just by 15 minutes once again because <laughs> I'm late. I but refuse anyway. to comply. Yeah, I'm just in Mexico, so it's like two hours behind. You know what I heard? I heard commodities today got just spanked. Sure, whatever. Bitcoin. Is Bitcoin actually kind of bounced up? I guess it's at 38,000 again. It was like at 37 last night or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 37.5. Got close. Should we take a look? Uh, man, oh man. The old have, Bitcoin gang. We have to look, bro. Nothing to look at, bro. Nothing's fucking happening. Bro. I'm moving sideways and that's it. Of course. Of course. Oh, oh yeah, dude, I've already got Bitcoin 30 views. Anything, huh? I already got 30 views on my Twitch fucking thing today, bro. Hey, man, we're And, happy. We're and I got somebody, you. and they raided my fucking thing. I had, like, uh, somebody raid my thing. We're happy. Isn't that cool? We're happy for you. Fuck yeah, man. We are very happy. Are we, we're not, are we still in just, oh, no, we're okay, talk shows and podcasts. Good. You know, what? I was also thinking I should, I should, like, uh, restream the stream, you know, like this, the podcast, but maybe stream it on my um youtube oh, not yeah. my youtube but my fucking uh sorry not youtube i mean twitch? twitch whatever you want to do man i mean why not i mean so we have double uh you know double uh double the exposure uh, double that's exposure right. that's right i mean we're they, both already a, double exposed that's a double homicide here. yeah i had somebody uh come into the the cooking stream today named lambo and and said oh my god you've gotten fat are you serious yeah, and I was like, someone's huh, trolling wonder. you. I wonder for a minute. Hmm, I wonder who that could have been. Someone's trolling you. I mean, but I have gotten fat. You know what I mean? If it's somebody hasn't seen me in a, in a few minutes, you know. Man, I, I was down to one sixty two, feeling real good because I'm five foot eleven, one sixty two. That's pretty good, man. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. you know, like body mass index is like yeah. near two on like, pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm six one. Like 210, 20. But then now I'm 170. Oh, no. I know. I gained eight pounds since I went to Florida. I mean, you're still skinny, bro. That's fine. I know, but at the same time, like, I kind of like, um, I kind of like a drug addict kind of gaunt. Dude, I want, like, jawline, like, you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Oh, you got really skinny? I like, like, a, no I like no a muscle. face with no fat on it. I guess that's what I'm saying. So... I don't need a puffy face. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Hey, did Mr. Lodak comment if that player is good? Yeah, he said the player sucks. Uh, he says no idea. I can't rem regard or remember him being a major player. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so great. And you, we'll guys paid, you guys paid how much? Like $3 million? $20 million, $20 million. Oh, great, yeah. Debt collector. Another, another great call by the Vikings. That's right. Debt collector seized money from my account, which is illegal and in violation of the Consumer Protection Act. Damn. No way. Really? That, what kind of debt, though? Because some debts are, I guess, you don't have to say they what They can't do that. that. No, they cannot do that. They can't do that. Not without a court I mean, the, the, no, the most that they can do, the okay. most that they can do is garnish your wages. Yeah, that's right. But that's well, after a judgment. A judgment is correct. Yeah, so they can't. They can't just take money out of your account like that. Oh man, the good thing I don't keep any money in my accounts. Not, I don't have accounts, but anyways. Wow. You poor. don't have accounts. So, Here it goes. Let's you, let's read this news article. Could, sorry can about we that, read bro. a news article? Yeah, Opie, that sucks, man. You should uh fuck. You should sue. Sue them. Yeah. Yeah, they can't do that, bro. I mean, well, you can't do anything about it. They just did that. But that's, I mean, you got to sue the bank in this case. But again, no, but I mean, how are you going to win that? Good luck. He's not going to win it. No, of course not. Over, you already man. lost. It's over, man. <laughs> it's already over, bro. They already took the money. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> the money you paid the lawyer is already gone. He's already, you know, he just said, you know what, we're just, you know, we're just gonna take that money. Yeah, he's gonna take the money and uh, run. Here we go. The inflation hits just keep coming, raising the stakes for the Federal Reserve. You've you've seen this whole inflation thing. I, you know, we don't have. I mean, yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've experienced it. It's not so bad out here in Mexico. That's bad. Hmm. Okay, let's keep reading. Yes. But I mean, it's not like over there where it's like. Oh, it's not that bad over here. Right? You know, yo, it's overhyped. Yeah, okay, it's like it's fucking overhyped, fifteen dollars for a chicken. It's breast. It's really not that fucking bad. Fifteen dollars for chicken breast, right? No, no, no. I mean, it's really not. I mean, I I hardly notice it to be frank with you, but I know it's out there. But you make millions of dollars, bro. What the fuck? No, I mean, I just look. I'm not pinching pennies, man. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> no, actually, I kind of am. <laughs> until I close on my You're next rich, asset. Bitch. No, until until I close on my next asset, I'm pretty much pinching pennies. Hey, yeah, I will say yeah, though, people. I will say Opie, like to to make that more relatable, I got a credit card with like about five thousand dollars of debt on it. And that sucks, obviously. But like, hey man, it just happens. Like I just rack it up, I pay it down, I rack it up again. I mean, this is an ever flowing thing. I should really stop that. But um Yeah, but that, that actually helps your credit. You know what I mean? To yeah, just a little keep bit. that going. Yeah. So But like whatever. still, imagine if because I'm saving up for closing on another asset here. I've told you guys about that I have under contract right now. And this is the, this is the thing that's going to let me retire. And if I just moved today, I just moved money into my, like that bank account that has all of like, including my credit card on it. And I'm just imagining as you're describing that, like, what if, like I told them specifically, no, you move that over into that account, but what if they just like, Oh, we're just going to clear out that 5,000 and here's the rest of your money. No, no. I would fuck up my plans, dude. I can't just have a spare five thousand that just disappears before closing. Screw you. No, I feel you, bro. Hey, I mean, how much? How much do they take? Nobody has. I mean, they they can't do that, man. That is so illegal. But they, they. I mean, that's that's a that's why when people are like, "Oh, we live in a free country," we do. Like, no, they don't. No, they don't. It's the best country. I mean, that's the what world. they do in fucking Cuba and China and shit. All right, let's they don't even do, get out of here, bro. Anyways, but yeah. Um. So how much? I mean, uh, if you don't want to tell us, it's okay, but. Damn, you know how much do they take, bro? I mean, hopefully, you know you're okay over there, bro. If you need, if you need us to to send start start a GoFundMe, Go Me. yeah, we'll do a GoFundMe, bro. GoFundMe. In fact, I don't think it's, you know, it won't be the last. It won't. It won't. It's not the first uh, GoFundMe we've done for Opie. I think. <laughs> <laughs> wait, remember? I, I think so. Hey, no, but wait, it's okay. It's okay. You know, fuck. <laughs> fuck yeah, man. That's why Opie Opie's an OG. That's right. No, yeah, but yeah, dude. If you need anything, let us know, bro. Okay, let's keep going. No, but they, yeah, the, yeah, they, yeah, they can take the money out with your permission. But you might, you might have signed something that you thought, you know, what I mean, you, you might have signed something that you don't know what it was, and that probably what already gave them permission to take that money out of your, you know, out of your account or whatever. But that's so fucked up, man. Oh, eight hundred bucks. Oh, that's not so bad. 800 so far. Well, so what are you going to do? Have you the debt was the forgiven. What, what did the bank wait, say? wait a second. The details are just rolling in. Yeah, yeah. So 800 bucks so far. So what did the bank say? Anytime you put money in there, they're going to just take it out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Might as well get it's a great time to get yourself another bank account. Have you tried Chime or uh, have you Cash tr- App? Have you tried the Brave good. browser? The bat token. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking all my money in BBIO from now on. That's so fucking lame. That sucks. That sucks, man. No, but dude, I remember back in the day when I was like super poor um, that they um, would garnish my wages, bro. Fuck. Just to get like some bullshit fucking money. You know what I mean, Try- they would garnish. And so, the, yeah, man, you, that's why I would have to, you know, a lot of poor people, they're like, oh, you, you know, this guy can't keep a job. Well, the reason is because how it works is that, you know, the garnish of the wages, you know, it, it takes a while for it to kick in. So, you know, you just work a job and then once they start garnishing your wages, you quit and then you go get another job. You know what I mean? Because you, the thing is that they garnish your wages to the point where let's say you're making like 400 bucks a week and they're, they're you know, they're taking so much out that you're getting like 100 bucks or 75 bucks a week. 
You know what it is to work 40 fucking hours? You know what I mean? To get like 75 bucks, bro? Yeah, man, that's the legal system that we live under, though. And if they didn't get approval from, like, a court, that's wrong. But again, it's a system that we live under where they, they, they give away the debt, they make poor people accrue the debt, they give the debt to them, no problem, and then they do these horrible fucking things to them. You know? I don't know, man. Like, for example, like... in Mexico, someone is, like, super poor, and they go and try to get, like, a credit card, they just laugh in their face. You want a what? You want a what, bro? You work where? You know what I mean? Yeah. Or in the U.S. where you can work at fucking McDonald's in the area. You already got like three credit cards. You know what I mean? So. Land of the free. Home of the brave. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Land of everything's free. Hey, I mean, you're, you're going to read an article? Is that what you're doing there? Trying you to. Trying to. Trying to get okay, to well, it. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I got to step out. I got to go get something at the door. So what you Okay. Okay. That. Okay. Okay. For the Federal Reserve, the hits driving inflation keep piling up. Escalating sanctions by the West to quote-unquote punish Russia for its war against Ukraine are driving fears that an episode of increased inflation already at its highest point in 40 years will become a harder to wring out of the U.S. economy without a recession. This is all from the Wall Street Journal. This is like straight propaganda from the propaganda mouth. Before Moscow's invasion three weeks ago, Jerome Powell at the Fed had begun laying the groundwork for a more aggressive series of rate increases, driven by concerns that the labor market would be overheating. He and his colleagues were also banking on getting an assist from recovering supply change later this year, limiting how far rates would have to rise. Now, the global economy is facing the prospect of higher energy and commodity prices, which will raise costs to transport and manufacture a range of goods, while the conflict further disrupts global shipping networks. This war makes inflation more traceable. The threat is unlikely to alter what the Fed does at its meeting this week. The Fed is meeting this Wednesday. That's why we're covering this. They will not, they will discuss something before we meet again. Mr. Powell said earlier this month that the central bank wants to avoid adding volatility at a time when the geopolitical uncertainty has already raised the risk of a sharp pullback in risk-taking investors. That's the damn truth. That's the damn truth. Ow, I think I just like crushed my hand on something. Opie says, kind of embarrassed. I went to pay for help, for my help, but for work, but no money. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, he signaled that the Fed would kick off the expected series of rate hikes this week, this, that's this Wednesday, with a quarter percentage point increase rather than a half point which a few Fed officials had been floating out and some investors had said would be appropriate. But he hinted that a series of shocks, including the Russian invasion, could keep inflation uncomfortably high, potentially mm -hmm. calling for a larger rate rise as the summer. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, Ben, this is... Look at man, this, look gonna, at this. Gonna like an, is it gonna be, it's going to be an economic nuclear bomb. Goods went way up in 2021. Look at this. The price of goods was actually going down before this. We are way up there. We've never seen prices this high since relative, I guess. This is the consumer price index. I know this is true because whenever I go to buy something, like especially in the service industry, Jose, not so much like the packaged good industry like i don't really notice things when i'm at the grocery store and i'm buying something like sometimes i look at the price and i think to myself like if i had a good memory maybe i'd remember what this was a while ago because this does seem like damn if it was any more expensive i guess i wouldn't buy it <laughs> that yeah. type of thing so i can't tell you for certain but i will say that um that like services like having somebody go out and do something is just way up there like contractors and 
and the price of any type of uh, material, you know, the material I need for my daily life. Toilet paper. <laughs> a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure you already got your supply, right? Well, I just, I've just started wiping myself with my tail. <laughs> With your tail? With my tail over here, my blue tail. Yeah, so what do you, you how do you clean, how do you clean up your but how do you clean up your fucking shit tail? My tail is just a piece of stink, honestly. Fucking nasty. Hey, so, so you're basically, of, dude, so basically of, like dude. uh like a cat, you know, like a cat or a dog that has like the dried turds on their on their ass. Yeah, but and it's like of, stuck to the hair. This is gonna be disgusting, but um not really, but like I'm about to get the water turned back on at the cabin, and I am not shitting in a box this this winter. I'm not shitting in a box. I'm not shitting in, a, in anything. I am. Uh, we kept, uh, you know, the toilet system works just fine. Thank you very much. But it'll be very, very nice to. Uh, we're about to turn the water system back on at this cabin. I, I mean, I'm staying in a. This is not a year-round cabin that I've been in since COVID, because I'm just so scared of the virus, dude. I can't go out. I'm just so scared of the virus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's not it. It's just because I'm insane. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, um, mm -hmm. no, it's just because, like, I don't want to pay money downtown. I, there was no need to, and I didn't you're, know So, long. in other words, you're just cheap. I'm just cheap. That's right. But anyways, we're about to turn the water back on, which means, like, naturally hot showers once again, as opposed to what I've been living in right now, which is, like, you know, um, kind of the old snowmobile lifestyle. <laughs> Which is <laughs> like take a gallon of water and heat it up on the stove and you know use like some makeshift shower system. You know it's pretty. Uh, I mean, <laughs> not the not the most sanitary system. All right, moving on. It's mm -hmm, pretty mm -hmm. sanitary, honestly. I'm cleaner than like Jose right now. I I 100% guarantee you, you. I I guarantee you, I'm cleaner than Jose. Are you? I mean, I just took a shower. I can smell you from over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. When was the last time you were in the shower? Um, about three weeks ago now. <laughs> no, but like a makeshift shower, Jose. Mm -hmm. You guys have never lived out like in... You guys don't what? understand how we live out here. I mean, this is... um When you're living out like, like Opie. Opie, he lives out in like, you know, rural. Know. We're out mm -hmm. in rural America, okay? I'm up here on the Canadian border. When it snows, mm -hmm. I can't leave. Anyways, so this week we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have that turn back on, okay? We're gonna have the water back on. Yay! Got some celebrations for me? Mm -hmm. ah! Adam Adam says COVID nineteen is back and it's hitting China hard. Okay. We'll have to look into that. <laughs> Adam. Bruh. Don't tell me you believe in that shit. COVID nineteen is real, Jose. I thought we already had this discussion. COVID nineteen is real. Mm hmm. It's really fucking annoying. <laughs> no, no, no. It's real. Really, really. The reaction to really it really nothing like, to worry about, dude. It's just like the reaction to Ukraine. It's like, oh, it has to be the end of the world. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we all know what it is. And you know, how crazy, bro, that they uh, they keep wanting war, war, war. So what do you think? I mean, so what do you think about all that, man? I don't know, I man. Let's, hearing, read, let's, read, hearing, let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. I keep hearing from, you know, all the mainstream. Well, I keep hearing that everyone is saying on the mainstream media that all they're talking about is uh, chemical weapons, chemical weapons. Hey, chemical by the weapons. way. No, man. So does that mean yeah, yeah. Does that mean that they're going to be dropping some some fake chemical weapons? Well, AKA, here's the deal. A.K.A. a uh, false flag in order for us to. You know, be forced to go to war now. Well, no, they're saying they're saying that Putin is. I mean, Putin is the one that brought up that. Okay, to be fair to everybody, who brought that up? Putin is the first person that brought up like chemical warfare. Yeah, who said? He said that the Americans are going to do chemical warfare. Yeah. Oh, jeez, bro, bro, this sounds like a fact check right now. You know what I mean? Like it's like. <laughs> No, like, dude, I'm review. not even like I'm not even. Dude, the, America is hardly involved. We're providing ammunition and right, right. We're definitely no, we're, we're never very, involved. We're not, we're never, no, dude, we're involved. not involved that much, man. That's right. We're never involved. No, we kind of left Ukraine. By out the way, did you hear? Right. Did you hear about the the whole thing with the? What was it like? Uh, for like for weeks, they were like saying, "Oh, um, 
there would when they were asked when the government was asked hey does the u.s have uh secret labs in ukraine no what are you talking about we have no labs zero labs we have no labs in ukraine what are you talking about zero and now you know basically it's like whoa we gotta we gotta fight back we gotta get in there because we gotta protect our, our labs that nobody's supposed to know about no 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 or secret labs Jose, don't you understand no one, how no the government works about. we gotta man. we gotta go get them we gotta protect them we can't make we can't let putin get no, them no. the secret labs secret labs nobody you're, you're not supposed to know about it you, you take like I, I hate to bring it back to this and i'm not willing to actually so i'm going to move on oh so am i wrong about that no but like oh, oh so i'm not if wrong putin brings up chemical warfare and says the americans are going to do it yeah he's basically no he, oh you know what he, me, when Jose, he says hold on, hold on Jose, when he says God, that when he man. says that when he says that he's basically saying um there what is it even though i'm going to jail I, i'm i'm not suicidal i'm if i if i end up turned suicided i'm not i never suicided myself he that's be. all he's saying is like if there's any chemical weapons that are going to be dropped it's the u.s so no. he's basically saying or, I'm not or suicidal. i mean come on man just be realistic here you don't have to put on a show for the audience here just okay. be realistic jose Okay. He could also be saying that for plausible deniability in case he uses them himself. I mean, we don't right. know. And why would he man? use them? Why would he use them? If he's killing, annihilating, literally he's fucking taking I over guess. Ukraine already. Why the fuck would he do that? No, because he's not. I mean, he's he's. Oh, he's not? Oh, why? Because CNN says that he's not. CNN is. So now you're going to. Now all of a sudden you believe CNN and CNBC and fucking Fox News. No, because Ukraine is still fighting back. I, I know people in Ukraine. Yeah, I know they're fighting back. I get it. I get it. Do you know people in Ukraine? No, 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 listen, listen. They're fighting back, but like, uh, it's like, um, how do I say Anyways, this, we man? truly it's don't like, know no, no, anything like, about it. Like we don't know anything about No, no, the, but it's um, like a fly, a fly going up against the bear. Yeah, sure. I guess the fly is fighting back. Sure, I guess. I guess, man. Okay. I just, I mean, by the I mean, way, dude, like, by I'm the not way, a part of this. To, I'm not a part of Jose's like, by the way, shout out, shout out to all the Ukrainian people. I feel bad. Oh, for please the shut the people. fuck up, Jose. You, no, but I do. Oh, dude, I Jose, do. Jose, Jose, I do. Jose, no, you don't, man. No, You're, but why Jose, am I supposed to, no, listen, right Jose, now. Excuse no, listen, me. listen. Okay, excuse right me, Jose. Now, Tyson, excuse me, excuse no, hold on. me. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let, I'm excuse No, you got to let me finish. You got to let me finish. Go ahead, you piece of shit. Go ahead. No, but right now it's like, we're watching a Tyson fight. And I'm supposed to feel bad for the guy that's getting his fucking face punched in by Tyson. Listen, I, I do feel bad for the guy, but I mean, that's, I mean, what, what we're really supposed to think that they're, that they're going to beat Tyson. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I feel. I feel bad for Ukraine, bro. I feel so horrible for them. I feel for all horrible for the people there. I feel bad for everything there, but we, we cannot fucking sit here and lie to ourselves and pretend like Russia is not going to just, it, for, not that they haven't, that they're already doing it. They already have done it. You know, they've already taken over Ukraine and they're just, you know, they're just, you know, kind of like choking them out. And that's where we're at. And it sucks. And I get it. But I mean, so what? What about, you know what I mean? Again, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, what are we supposed to do? We cannot get involved. You know what I mean? We should, we better not get involved. I right will now? be back in five minutes. Jose, no, go ahead, go ahead. That's it. I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. What do you got to say about that? You think we should get involved? Is that what you think? Well, if you're going to go, I'm definitely going to go. If, I mean, if you're going to go, I'm just going to keep on my rant. But yeah, man, this is idiotic. You know what I mean, right now, anyone that's like, you know, behind Ukraine, you know, just like they're behind, you know, global warming, behind the fucking... Uh, uh, what you might call it, uh, the COVID stuff behind, uh, you know, Jesse Smollett. <laughs> you can come back now. But yeah, no, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not buying the game. I'm not buying into this, bro. Fuck that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Hello. Hello. No, I, I think uh, they left me here. I'm all alone with my thoughts. I'm going to read the comments. Blueberry says, you guys are funny. Where did he go? I think he went to that. Actually, you know what I think he went to go do? I think he went to go take a shit. And uh, it just takes him a little longer because remember, he has to clean his tail, you know, because he shits, he cleans his shit with his tail, like you said. So he probably has a lot of little dried turds on his tail right now. Very disgusting. 
So I feel bad. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for his tail. How about this? His tail is like Ukraine right now. You know what I mean? They can't really do much about it. You know what I mean? And like, uh, it's kind of useless feeling bad for his tail. You know what I mean? That's honestly really like, uh, kind of like the whole situation there. You know what I mean? Like kind of feel bad. So Opie says, perfect meme for NATO and Russia in this book. Blueberry says, wars are every day, all year round in many countries. Why suddenly this war is like news 24-7? Exactly, Blueberry. You said it. I mean, look at all the wars that the U.S. is literally involved in right now. You know, like literally we're at war right now with so many countries and we're doing so many horrible things, but no one gives a fuck. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody's talking about all the other wars that are going on. There's tons of fucking wars going on all over the place. But no, we got to be focused on Ukraine. Really? That's it? Just on Ukraine? You know what I mean? And again, why? Why is no one asking why? You know what I mean? Why is no one asking, you know, about the Ukraine? By the way, I think he got a phone call. He, he wants to have a, you know, get a phone call or something. Or he's uh, doing this for comedic uh, value. Or maybe he's crying in a corner. I don't know. You know what? Let's take a poll. What do you guys think he's doing? You think he's taking a shit, crying in the corner, on a phone call, making a drink? Shout out to James Jordan. Shout out to Obi. Shout out to Blueberry. Shout out to Lodak. Shout out to everybody out there. By the way, if he thinks that I cannot go on for an hour on my own, he has another thing coming to him. I literally did just five hours a little while ago. I could do this all day, all night, all day, all night, all day, all night, all day, all night. You know what we do need, though? We do need someone to work the camera. We would, I would really appreciate someone to work the camera. Who's going to keep it in quiet now? You know, it sucks because I can't control the control room, so I can't play music or I can't show stuff. Anyway, shout out to everyone out there. Shout out to you. Shout out to James Jordan. By the way, that are you like Michael Jordan's brother? I'm gonna name like that. Oh, Adam says he's putting a phone call to Ukraine to come get you, Jose. Probably, probably. Adam says, this is the best podcast you guys have done. Good entertainment. <laughs> Who's going to sit on the couch? I see two spots open. Yeah, that, you know, that's another thing, too. You know, like, so we, we plan on having guests in the future. Um, so, you know, we got those two seats. I mean, basically, we're doing casting calls, you know, like, uh, like you see. I'm All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Oh. Okay, so I guess we gotta drop everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, let me just. I actually just want the the whole thing was I just wanted to get out of here for a second here. But uh, are you done with your are you done with your uh, propaganda moment? Because that's all you do, Jose. Is you just propagate propaganda? That's your big deal, propagating propaganda. So what you, what's your what's your uh, point of view on all this? Though? My point of view is that we actually have no idea or control or really should have much of an opinion on who's telling the truth here. It's all games. Yeah, I agree. So who's, yeah. to, who's to say who's about to use chemical weapons? But the discussion of chemical weapons has now been well, brought. I mean, okay, well, I mean, come you're on saying, now. Can I continue, <laughs> please? No, no, but you're saying who's to say. I just want to answer that question. Again, it's just um, it's like anything else. I mean, if you're the kid that keeps getting in trouble over and over and over again or keeps crying wolf over and over again, I mean, it's easy to point the finger to the U.S. And so you got it. You know, it, it, it might not be the U.S., you know. In fact, you know what I mean? Like it could be uh, some other NATO country that says, fuck it. We're just going to drop it and force, you know, the U S to come into, but anyways. Yeah. Know. So the, I mean, the, I mean, that's all I'm saying is, okay. So you totally threw me off right there. Cause I got nothing to say other than we don't know, man. That's all like, that's, you don't have yeah. to have a strong opinion one way or the other. I think the, the right opinion is just to not have much of an opinion. Now, if you want to say, but the track record on this is Russia right. has been pinned for chemical weapon use in the past, and it's questionable. But I don't know if that was 
you could say, hey, maybe America has done that. I mean, it all depends on where you fall on that Iran. Remember, where was the chemical weapons last year? Well, the last time, yeah. the last time, remember Syria? Yeah, um, exactly. We, that's, we, that's uh, we, we, uh, we did a false flag over there, you know what I mean? And said that Assad or whatever, you know, uh, did some chemical weapons and only to find and I don't out know that if it was us. Yeah, oh, I mean, the, that it was us well the, again the strong opinion is is that it was the nwo opinion uh that against syria i don't know if you can necessarily say it was us man i mean you gotta read that book man you gotta you're right. read that book i mean no but you're I'm right telling you're right. everybody you're right read the it's book. not the u.s it's it's uh the nwo okay that's the, right I mean. like as if as if the president of the united states has much control over whether or not that happens correct you know what you hit the nail on the head and i'm glad that uh that you brought that up, that you said the NWO, and then you kind of like, you know, let's bring it back to full circle. Because I think that maybe that's like kind of like the disconnect when, because every time that I kind of like say, you know, I remember the U.S. at the moment, you know, they're like, um, the, I, how do I say this, man? You know, like um, the strong arm, you know, of the NWO, you know, we're the one that goes out there and smacks a motherfucker around. You know what I mean? We're the and ones honestly, that go we're there. basically um, at this point. We're a scapegoat for the NWO. And yeah, we yeah, are, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, exactly. look, at, look at how we live. We live like, Op like Opie is living out there. Like the bank just took money or whoever right, it was. That's right. That's right. That's we're, right. We're just a, a cool tool for the NWO. Just like. Well, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so, so, but that's it. You know what I mean? So that's what's going on right now. You know what I mean? And like you said, if, if chemical weapons are going to be dropped in Ukraine, and blamed on Russia, that's the NWO. It has nothing to do with the fucking U.S. In fact, the U.S. probably doesn't want to get involved, and now well, they're going to be dragged into it because they have to be in it because the NWO said, you I know, mean, hey, you got to yeah, do what you got to do. Yeah, I agree. And mainly, I mean, the world would be much better off without a lot of the alphabet agencies because a lot of it is the alphabet agencies, but I consider them NWO because they're not under jurisdiction of anybody at this point. They are literally Correct. global entities that are operating darkly on behalf of lobbyists, on behalf of special interests, sure. and on behalf of, I guess, themselves and their own protection. I mean, they are, they have a vision and, and you know, they kind of they stroke themselves. Stopped. So I guess if you want to blame somebody, just say alphabet agencies, deep state, but I mean, ultimately, no, but it's at the NWO. I mean, honestly, I mean, look, NWO is a better way to say, you know, what I mean, uh, because the NWO kind of like encompasses um, all of these. Entities, it's kind of like you know the mean? Fed. Remember, the, the alphabet the agencies is not that's not the only one. I mean, I mean, they're not the only ones really involved. There's many tech companies and, and there's many lobbyists. There's many special interests. You know, there's a lot of rich bankers. You know, there's so many. Yeah, wait, speaking of there. speaking of Opie has a yeah. great comment right now in the live comments. He goes. Yeah, chemical weapons make everybody forget about the biological weapon that was dropped. Exactly, COVID nineteen. That's right. Exactly, like as if oh, and in fact, chemical the whole, weapons. The, the, yeah, in fact, that the whole uh, it's funny how they're spinning the whole uh, you know laboratories, you know the 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 secret laboratories that are in Ukraine that belong to the U.S. You know how they're spinning that in the says like hey, you know because if if uh, if Russia gets a hold of those labs. You know, they're going to release what we got in there. And if you thought COVID-19 was a problem, wait till, wait till they release that. And it's like, well, why, why would even release that? You know what I mean? But, and again, it's like, wait, wait a minute. So what is in there? You know what I mean? It's making you ask, like, wait a minute, what do we, wait, what do we have in there? What are we doing? <laughs> so crazy. Up. It is crazy, bro. The whole fucking thing is fucking whack, bro. Whack as fuck. I mean, not as whack as that song you played at the beginning, but definitely oh. whack. E -E. Oh wait, I got a got a drum set for that one. One sec. Okay. But anyways, today. Hey man, let's keep covering the news. People don't care about what happened to you today. You had time to cover that shit. <laughs> yeah, today. Am I, am I, I uh, over here I talking about what happened to me today? I am not. I'm not. Today about I made uh, I made some lentil soup. I made some hummus. I made some baba ganoush. Okay. I made some tahini. And I made some pita bread. I literally made pita bread from scratch. Is that when Lambo dropped by? I'm still curious about yeah, this Lambo. He dropped, yeah, he dropped by towards the end. He used <laughs> to call me fat. He just came by and said, you're fat. Damn, I said, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. You got fat. And I'm like, yes, I did. Thanks for noticing. But Lambo comments in here sometimes. Yeah, but that's me. I mean. Oh, you have your own account. Yes. Yeah, I don't oh, know who that shit. other Lambo was. I don't know who that other Lambo was. I think it's somebody that I we, mean, all we know. got some trolls. There's a very man. dangerous person because he's mentally unstable. Who's that? 
Wait, are you, you thinking it's, who? Are you thinking it's... No. I think so. I think so. No. He just dropped it. I think, you know, you know what? Because I think he had like a few minutes. Um, he probably was uh, in prison, you know, like uh, he had like a few minutes. Wait, wait, can I have my life? I want to have just... my live reaction captured once again here, right? Yeah, he's probably in prison and uh, he just <laughs> borrowed somebody's cell phone. He saw the stream and he just dropped the comment. That, wait, watch uh, this. Watch this. My live reaction. Are you saying the... it's. <laughs> it could be. Uh, wait, I'm going to do it one your... last time because I never have done this before. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, are you saying? Wait, let me get a perfect reaction. It's somebody who is mentally unstable. Wait, are you saying it's? <gasps> All right, I think like the third one was the best one. That one wasn't that great. <laughs> so tell us, what's your so dream anyways. job? Darling, I've told you several times before, I have no dream job. <laughs> I do not dream of no But you know what? Like, uh, the pita bread, my God, that's like one of the best things I've made. And it was kind of hard to make, but it was easy to make. It was just something new that mm. I've never made. But man, it came out really, 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 really good. I've never made. And yeah, because we bought pita bread out here and it sucks so much. I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try making my own pita bread. And I thought it was easy. I thought it was going to be easy, but it was not easy. And uh, But regardless, long story short, I made my own pita bread. And it was awesome. And it came out so dude, good. Dude, pita, pita these nuts, bro. Pita these nuts. Okay. I will. Okay. Okay, right. so... um, we gonna put, So you want me to put them in a pita pocket? You want to put your nuts? Um, the, I had thought of pocket. that for a little head. tzatziki. A little tzatziki over the top. Thinking. Sprinkle a little Add some uh, spice. Sprinkle a little some sugar uh, and spice. Make it all nice. Tahini, little tahini size. Isn't it interesting tahini. that like Old Spice as a fragrant as a fragrance company? They used to be only for old men. I remember when they switched over to start making it like for. Oh yeah, people. and they had that black. I mean, the black guy, and he was just. You know, like that. Yeah, whatever that happened old to Old Spice shit. anyway? I don't know. They used to have actually really good commercials for a deodorant. By the company. way, I haven't used deodorant. I haven't used deodorant in, I want to say like. Are you serious? Like six years. Wow. What do you use? Nothing. No, in fact, I, I have a, they have a, I, I buy here at the organic grocery store, or organic, whatever. I do buy some deodorant. It's like a, it's like a rock salt. So it's like some salt. But it's a rock and it's smooth, and then you just put that under your armpits, and, um, and it's a natural deodorant because it's natural, like you know. Um, but yeah, I don't use any deodorant. I haven't used deodorant because I, I read one time, you know, as to how bad deodorant actually really fucking is, and like it's you, you know your because the thing is that your lymph nodes and like how you breathe and all this other shit, like there's a lot of important stuff that comes out of your armpits. You know, you need it to like dispel fucking uh, toxins. And when you put that fucking fake ass deodorant chemical shit down there, you're basically blocking. It's like uh, putting oh, things whatever, up your man. nose. You no, 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 it is. It's like putting things up your nose. You don't like know that. Your... Okay, send me the evidence. Send me the evidence, okay? That's what no, we want. No, but it makes we want sense. Evidence. Because, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, it makes sense. I mean, because again, when you look at the ingredients, it's all chemicals. You're putting it on in your armpit, which is, you remember, your skin is already like a thing that like a really... Uh, um is sensitive and takes in a lot of uh oh yeah it's know, like a big it? old dude i mean it's like it pretty much as much as we like to think like we're a contained individual like we are basically absorbing everything in the atmosphere throughout the entire fucking day sure. yeah 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 disgusting and so and so yeah but long story short you know like it, you're basically blocking it with that goop and that goop really that nice know, smelling, the me, nice smelling I, goop well, no, because I never like every time I got the order back in the day, I used to always get the order that had like no smell or little smell. You know what I mean? That's because you grew up shit. in the days where it was like Axe spray, man. I mean, you grew up in like the. Oh, yeah. They had that. I remember that shit. I remember that yeah, shit. You remember disgusting. going in the locker room after like a football that was game? Bro. And it was that just... was like the worst fucking smell on the planet, bro. Right? How many, Dude, how many I mean, times I remember you locker used rooms after games and it would be like. Okay, oh. I, I'd be like <laughs> I can't even fucking breathe. <laughs> 
Dude, every time that, yeah. like, I don't know guys, guys that would put that shit on and expect to get pussy. Like, in what world, bro? In what world would a woman fuck a guy? I don't know, man. You gotta imagine back in the 90s, dude. I mean, the girls were uh, doing the same shit, probably. But, anyways. It wasn't but the that point the day is, of, like, uh, yeah, the day never... of uh, yeah. body hair for women? Mm-hmm. They love body hair. And now, like, um, you know. I don't know. Yeah. Now they yeah. like smooth, hairless beavers. Now, they, now they're like smooth, hairless beavers. Yeah. But yeah, man, I mean, and the odorant is not good, bro. The odorant is not good for you. And uh, and especially if you live in a cold climate, even worse for you, bro. Even worse. So you should All never, right. ever, ever, ever put on fucking Let's deodorant. Let's check out Bitcoin. Let's check out Bitcoin. And if you, ever, if you live in like a warm climate like me where you spread, sweat profusely, then use like some natural... Um, a natural alter- alternative, you know, because at the end of the day, all you're trying to do is Here's just what you gotta do. Back. If you stink, all you want to do is cut back on the stink. That's it. You if know you mean? stink, so. you should shower with soap. That's right. And then you should also just eat better. That's right. That's what you need. Yeah, to but do. sometimes, you know, you eat and if you live down party. in Mexico yeah, where you eat you're sweating, or garlic and you're fucked, you know. Well, you shouldn't eat garlic, man. What do you not, mean? It's so not, good for you, bro. Not if you want to smell nice, okay? There's sometimes, you know, life doesn't work perfect, man. You Who gives a fuck about smelling nice, man? It's all about fucking okay. health and, and, well, that's and how I, I'm, t- I'm telling you how to smell Hey, listen, nice. man. I never smell nice, and my wife is hot as whoa, fuck, all right? Whoa. And uh, she loves whoa. the way I smell, and uh, it's great. <clears throat> all right? So what the fuck do I give a fuck about how anyone else... In fact, can we look at the I purposely, Bitcoin? I told you before, I purposely stink on purpose. So a lot of times when people oh see God. me on the street and they're probably thinking, man, he fucking stinks. Man, does he like, yeah, that's on purpose. It's because I that's want people to stay away from me. I don't like people that much. You know what I mean? I like a few people here and there. Blueberry's cool. You know, uh, Lodak, Opie, you're cool. You know, there's a few people out there are cool. Um, Everybody's you know, cool some people out there, man. Are cool. But for the most part, I'm not a, I'm not a. Well, you know, and, all right, man. You're yeah. just you're kind of an internet guy, man. People sure. can't I smell you through the internet. For internet. That's right. So, anyways, I know you want to talk about your Bitcoin. I was just going. Yeah, sideways. everybody wants to know about fucking Bitcoin right nobody now. Nobody gives man. a fuck, bro. Oh, nobody cares right now because Jose isn't making money off of it. I guess. Nobody's making money off of it. Bro. <laughs> well, the whales are. They keep pumping it up. They're the then... fucking uh, binances. <laughs> Yeah, they keep pumping it up and uh, right. selling their selling their bags money. and buying back in around this time. Mm-hmm. Nothing to make. There's no money to make. You know, it's inflation, bro. You don't get that gold and silver, baby. There's too many paper hands in Bitcoin right now, or too many whales. You know, too much consolidation of the market here. Too many uh, fat bags. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Lodak says, I almost forgot on my way to work, there was like a 10 to 15 car wreck on the freeway. It was insane. A semi from the other direction jumped the barrier trying to avoid the first wreck. No way. Hey, I told you guys when I like, because I used to work, that's all I did was I talked to semi truck drivers about their accidents. Like I was commercial. That would have been your client. Commercial liability. Could have been. Then I left that job because they wanted me to go back to the office and I thought... You can't like, no pay you can't pay me way. enough to pay twelve to fifteen hundred dollars in rent a month when I could just not do that and go work somewhere else for remote. So that's what I did. But I'll, honestly, I like commercial auto. Like I like having a big wallet, and that's what I did when I was there. I, we had big fucking wallets, man. Big wallets. Big. What does huge, that mean? Huge. It means like. Mm-hmm. Uh, what does that mean? You paid out a lot of people. Correct. Like my biggest settlement was two hundred and twelve thousand five hundred dollars. I remember. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Breaking news. Breaking news. Right. Adam asks, "Am I cool, Jose? Bruh. My whole life depends on your approval." Yes, Adam, you're cool too, bro. <laughs> Don't suicide yourself. So, like, my biggest settlement was that, but like, I guess my point was was those semi trucks when they like when they flip. Dude, those that stuff's deadly to the truck driver. I remember I talked to one truck driver about an accident she was in, and then two months later, she, she it was a her, it was a tr- mm-hmm. it was a female truck driver, and then two months mm-hmm. later, mm-hmm. she's down in mm-hmm. she's, she's down in Arizona. Mm-hmm. Was uh, was she responsible? She was responsible for both of them. Because oh, two months two months later, she's I get another one, and now I'm talking to the the safety director, 
And that truck driver who I spoke with two months ago about that other accident, the other one was like in Iowa or something. And then this one was down in Arizona. And all that happened was like she lost control, went off the side of the road. The truck flipped on its side, like very typical type accident for a truck driver next to her. Like, and she just hit the glass and she's dead. And she dead? died, man. Yeah. And I was like, damn. Did you have I just, a seatbelt on? Um, I think she might have. I don't remember at this point, but um, I think she did. Damn. But she just hit the, her head against the driver's side glass or whatever. And it wasn't even like multi-vehicles. It was just like a flip and it was a little bit more than like a 90 degree angle. So hard to predict and just boom. Yeah, man. And I the mean, safety drag. And then, yeah. they, and then the, whole force, thing, dude, the whole thing was us planning like, hey, you know that other accident she was in? And this is me and the safety director. So we're not, you know, obviously I, I got a statement from her for that one. But, you know, the whole part of it was like not letting that attorney know that our driver's dead. <laughs> Because if it goes to court, that would not be like he he willingly pushed that to his advantage. That's fucking crazy. Um, the fact that uh, I guess uh, she wasn't meant to be a truck driver, was she? I mean, she just had a bad couple of months. Yeah, no She'd shit. Been a yeah, truck I mean, driver for a while. I don't think I've had that many. I mean, I don't think I've had that many accidents in my life, let alone in a month. Anyways, but um, that sucks for her, bro. Sucks for. But yeah, man. I mean, it's just like anything else, man. You've seen sometimes that people Actually, just like Blueberry says he did figure it out, didn't he? Like that she's dead. It never got settled before I left. Yeah. This was one where I was on my way out and I was telling the oh, next, wow. I was telling next adjuster what, like, hey, uh, be aware that on this one, it's pretty normal, but this one, there's an active case against us and uh, it's in suit. <laughs> and the other attorney doesn't know that our driver's dead. Or maybe he does, but we haven't discussed it. And we're not going to disclose that information. Unless asked. I mean, he can figure that you one out himself. That shit out in yeah, exactly. They don't tell us a lot about their clients, to be honest with you. They're not yeah, over there. They're not over the there going, yeah, but, oh, yeah, yeah, my client yeah. had a, you know, a fusion in 2016 in the lumbar spine. They're not telling us, oh, yeah, we're, you know, so it's all a game over there in that legal system. Big old fucking yeah. game. It's a bit rough. You know, again, I'm still uh, kind of getting over the shock of uh, you saying that that lady died. Should have read the police report <laughs> and then looked at but, the images. Uh, Dude, actually, the, the worst one I ever looked at, though, like the worst photos. I don't think I ever sh like showed these to you, but this this is crazy. No, you, no I, don't, I don't like seeing that shit, bro. Yeah, but this it's one was bad karma, bro. This was a drunk pedestrian out in Florida. He was walking home from a bar and his kid dropped him off on the side of the road and told him to walk the rest of the way. And he, this is his dad. And that he's walking on the side of the interstate and the semi truck comes up and just hits him of course and just completely dismembers this guy and like his oh, yeah. his leg is over it. there here's his other parts of his body and then like dude the the photos that they got for the demand like the attorney had all of them which is you know not what you'd like like well i guess it's it is what it is as Matt Beasley would say, but it was just like in depth detail, very close up dismembered body parts at the front of this demand. Okay. Yeah, you Not, lost good. That one. Not good. Yeah. You lost that one, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that one wasn't mine. That one was just a discussion, but yeah, I mean, you know, the thing is like, you know, going back to the accident, um, you know, that was, um, even though it might not seem, like a major hit, it was a major hit. You know what I mean? Like uh, you got to remember, like people, you know, you can fall on the on the sidewalk and hit your head on the concrete, and then that's it. You're done. There have been you know times I mean? where I like hit my pinky or fingers in the wrong like way on a door, and I'm like, damn. I mean, I know my finger could have just snapped right there or something. You know, like it oh, yeah. yeah, like you can break your bone. Yeah, that's like honestly. a little appendage, bro. That's bullshit. I mean, look, honestly, like anytime I have like any kind of fall or anything, I'm always like trying to be super aware of just trying to protect the head as much as possible. And I don't give a fuck, you know, how I break my fall. You know what I mean? Just, you know, because it's to me, it's like way more important. I don't, I can, you know, who gives a fuck what you break? You know what I mean? Well, as that's long as you can like, break your head. If you're like, that's why like most skiers and snowboarders, they break yeah. bones in the first year that they're learning. And usually it's because... They start when they're like too tall, literally too tall, because there's just too much leverage coming down and they got these big old legs and arms and everything. And then if you are like, like once you get good at snowboarding or skiing, 
you know how to like spaghetti arm and and pretty much like tuck and roll, man. You can hit like at least snow. Not like I mean, you, if you're gonna go vertical and hit like it does feel like concrete. Oh, a lot of people get killed, man. No, but so long as you're just team. falling normally, you can do like a full somersault type fall on pretty decent packed snow, and you're you just kind of like. I mean, you pretty much are pretty good with letting your arms just kind of like, oh, it's going to bend that direction. Oh, it's going to go that way. I mean, you can really collapse yeah, well snow, on your body. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, if, if you've never been on the snow or fallen on snow, it feels like concrete. Like I've head slammed and like, oh, okay. I've head slammed and like, cra like basically, I don't know if I broke my nose, but I know like, like you can bleed hard against snow. So, I mean, it's not like, it doesn't feel like powder. It feels like pack concrete honestly yeah. i mean not as hard i'm sure but yeah no but i mean to me that's the thing i mean that you'd be surprised so even if that person like maybe she didn't hit her head that hard but maybe like the just the angle you know i mean the just neck. the impact you know i mean maybe she hit the back of her head you know what i mean like as she was like left forward and then the seat belt maybe no you should just, have, you, you know should have mean? seen the side of her face it was uh pretty bad jose <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, it was the side. It was yeah. So, how many dead bodies have you seen, bro, in your life with that job? With the jobs that you do, a good amount. And they're not the worst. Like the worst is the people who make it. Oh, okay. And like they're severely scarred or something. Those are always the worst because they're still alive. <laughs> it sounds yeah. awful, but it's true. I mean, they are miserable. As you can imagine. Thankfully, that's not really my job anymore because now I'm out of commercial and we just don't. Um, at this point, they don't pay me enough to do that type of stuff. Most of the stuff I deal with now is all bullshit injury. Bullshit. So, yeah. Not as exciting. Hey, look at Dogecoin. Like, it's still in that downward Doge. Uh, going straight to the toilet. I think we're in for six or seven cents. If we, or maybe like you know, I mean, eight cents. I could see. I mean, right now it's really a. Uh, I man, I couldn't. Re I couldn't hold against anybody for buying Dogecoin at this price. Eleven cents. Come on now. <laughs> hey, you know what I was looking at earlier today though? Airbnb stock, and I don't know if Pedro's out there, but Airbnb. Mm -hmm. We're at one hundred and thirty-eight dollars once again, and that is just. A great buy-in price. Like, look at this. Look at this. You can get a whole harder graph. There you go. I mean, it IPO'd in 2000. What year was that? Mm -hmm. January of 2021. That's where it IPO'd. December of 2020. During the pandemic. I mean, this thing. Look, it's never gone beneath where it's right it is right now. This is a pretty good buy-in price. I wish I could buy. What are you looking at there? Airbnb. Oh, okay. I just yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not. I love I mean, Airbnb. I, I don't know. I'm not into stocks right now, bro. Where did they hurt you? Where did their stocks hurt you? Why not, man? Stocks are good. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, because it's just things are a little too rocky. I mean, I'm not even right oh, now. Is, um, no, no. Right now, it's just uh, I don't know, man. It's just like a, it's an uncertain time. And, uh, you know, uncertain times is like, you know, when money is really made. So I get it. You know, I mean, it's a good time to to make some investments. Yeah. But I mean, Airbnb might be good. You know, what I mean, if you're into that, you know, what I mean, uh, it might be. Hell better yeah, buy. man. It might just be better to buy an Airbnb, you know, property, you know, but either or. Dude, speaking of, I got to get these cabins set up for Airbnbs. They are going to, like, I thought about it this weekend, and I know for a fact. fact? Listen, listen to this, like okay? Fact. Seriously, listen to this, guys. No need to fact check. Listen to this. <laughs> Two cabins up in northern Minnesota, and yes. I know that they could probably rent if I... So right now there's like there's not a boat up here. I should really get one because I would love to. I, I should have yeah. over the past two years at some point gotten like a pond. What if the lake is frozen? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, 
I'm thinking we get some ATVs and some snowmobiles in the garage. And I don't know if any Airbnbs are allowed to do this, but we have so many paths around here. Like, yeah, we got a lake, but I'm thinking ATVs for the summer because we got paths like crazy. And I'm thinking snowmobiles. And then there's two cabins and a little bit of like, you know, a little bit of uh, maybe like five to eight thousand dollars worth of renovation like bigger like i'm gonna replace like a wall as a window like the whole wall is going to become a huge window as big as it could possibly be like ceiling the floor you know that type of thing and then i know that each of these cabins if you include that with atvs and such they could easily rent for twelve hundred dollars per week in yeah. minnesota per week twelve hundred for two of them so that's 24 every week 24 times four it's 48 times two that's 92 i think hundred dollars or is it 9600 dollars? i'm sorry i'm not, not thinking so 9600 dollars a month the mortgage on this place is 900 dollars. that's like after you pay the cleaner literally if you guys can find one airbnb situation kind of like this one where you have a 900 dollar mortgage and then you have like you know, you have two of them and then you can do $1,200 a week for like an experience one. And I know in Northern Minnesota, like my family has been that family that's rented a cabin for at least $1,200 for a week, maybe even more dude. And you get ATVs with it or you get like a pontoon with it. That's like $9,600 minus the mortgage. Now you're talking about $8,000 cash flow. pay the cleaning lady, pay a mower to go out there once a month. That's it. I mean, pay the insurance and the property taxes as usual every year. And then you have like at least 8,000, maybe 7,500 cash flow, maybe 6,000 if it doesn't rent the whole thing. Okay. 6,000 cash flow. That's if I'm if I'm telling somebody how to get into real estate these days, I'm not telling you guys to go after trailer parks. At this point, I know trailer parks. That's why I do it. I know how to so increase you're the, the trailer value. park king of the north of the northwest. I am the trailer park king. In fact, I ran the cap value on the trailer park and the, mm -hmm. and the cap value. I bought this trailer park and right before the pandemic for a 15 cap because that's what they were going for back then. How much? For, uh, for a 15 cap, which is like a, a rate of return on an investment. Like apartment complexes go for 8 to 10 caps at the time. Now, because of inflation, apartments go for like a 7 cap, maybe a 6. You can see it for 5 five to a seven cap and then here's my point trail parks right means. now are going for like a nine to a ten cap what and the what, fuck does that mean it means that if i was just i've increased the amount of homes in the park i've increased the lot rent a little bit right now like based landlord. off of the revenue that it's bringing in if i was to sell this thing as a nine cap i bought it for what nine, is a nine cap I, here's, what is my a nine cap? here's my point here's my point if i i bought it for nine hundred and 40 or 35 maybe 940,000 oh, nine cap means 9k no 900k it means like rate of return it's how you measure the return of an asset so like apartment ROI. apartment like yeah like a, yep apartment complexes are seen as more consistent they regularly sell as seven to eight caps mm -hmm. um stocks are like a four cap basically or something got it and then trailer parks because they're riskier more active they're usually like right now they're going for like eight to nine caps and the, like really? when, when i bought them really like, yeah why are they so risky they're not risky they're seen really? as yeah they're seen as more active you got to be a little more like it's a lower income thing huh. but but they're and people don't want like for example i wouldn't go to a, a what do I, like I wouldn't go to a dinner party and people wouldn't be flaunting over me because i own trailer parks you know they're not as sexy to own man it's not like they're a piece of sex symbol on you so, hmm. I mean, yeah, you're right. But. Yeah. So to sell them, basically, who wants to buy it from you? Okay. Well, you got to make it a little more appealing, so you have a little more cash flow. But right now, they're selling for like eight to nine caps. And my point is, is I bought it for like nine thirty, nine forty. I can't remember exactly. With the revenue that I turned this thing up to, and if I sold it as an eight to nine cap, I think I ran the numbers on a nine cap. Right now, it the fair list price for a nine cap would be two million dollars. In other words, I bought this thing right when COVID happened. If I go sell it right now, and I'm not going to because I like it, at a nine cap, I would just make a quick one million. Like if I technically, I should be able to flip it to like 
I bought it for 900. There's about 630 or something left on the debt, maybe 650. And I should be able to sell it for like 2 million. I'm not kidding. Yeah. My point is though, is that I wouldn't get into that game if I was you guys out there looking at real estate. I really would get into the Airbnb market. I tell Jose all the time that he's wasting his time if he's not down there setting up Airbnbs in Mexico. Yeah, but it's not, I mean, it's, I don't care. That's it, fine, but not... I, that, that's why I'm telling everybody out there right now that if, if you are looking to get into passive income real estate, I would look at cabins for Airbnbs. Not lake, not like ocean, oceanfront properties. Those are way overvalued. Now, not do not really downtown see, condos. Quick, those are quick, way over value. Quick. Downtown condos are way over value. Cabins. Real quick. And I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question. Do you really think or do you really see like um, the Airbnb rental um, market growing? Well, the problem with time, Airbnb. In this day and age with all the things going on? Oh, yeah. They went. I mean, people were. I remember I was working at my last insurance company and people were trying to like because it was the pandemic and they, they everybody was stuck at home and they were just so excited for their summer planned vacations. You couldn't, you know, up at the boundary waters in Minnesota, which is like outdoor camping, you couldn't mm -hmm. book something out for advance for a year. That's how busy it was. You couldn't get out wow. there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, you answered the question. Then. The only problem with Airbnbs is that as it becomes more popular and I see people talking about Airbnbs on TikTok, which is unfortunate. Because I, you know, I didn't need that. And that means that other people are going to get involved. The market becomes, if you're in a high, you know, if you're in a market where everybody suddenly has a, Airbnbs available, now you're competing with everybody else's Airbnbs. So check the market out. Go to Airbnb.com. Look in the area where you might buy one and make sure there are Airbnbs, but there's not like something that is like, damn, that one's going for so cheap. Like, this is ridiculous. That's a very nice one. I can't buy any property and compete with this one and have spread between my mortgage and my rental rate. So that's what you got to do for anybody out there. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. And then this cabin that, like this one up here, because there's two of them, like, oh, shit, there's two of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Airbnbs out here too are also great, but it's just like that's the thing, though. You know, if you love that, you love everything about that. So, and but but that so it's okay. You don't mind getting obsessed and uh, and over and you know what I mean and just doing all the work that you need to do in order to, to get all that launched and off the ground. Think about it. You're on going. Facebook arguing with boomers. Exactly. And I, I mean, have. That's what I I'd have rather a, be doing I, that. No, 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 and I no, and I'm no, focusing no, but, but, but on something like, entirely not, in my control. But what I'm Jose. saying is that, like, someone like you, you're telling me, "Oh, do the Airbnb thing," but it's like, but that's like, get a job. You know what I mean? It's like go do work. You know what I mean? It's like I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I, I'd rather put the work in what I'm doing now. No, it's, and, not, um, it's hardly work. You know, my idea is, yeah, it's a lot riskier to do what I'm doing now, but I can have equally just as good of a payoff doing what I love. And so I was like, you know what, fuck it. I but just like do worst this. case scenario for you, Jose, because right now you rent your house. I hell, if I get an Airbnb, I got to work that. You know what I mean? No, like no, no, because right is, now you yeah. rent where you live. So if you went sure. and got an Airbnb, worst you know, case. My rent is. Yeah, but worst case scenario. 250 bucks, 250 yeah, but worst bucks. case scenario, you just got yourself yeah. a house. So even if it doesn't really work as a second income generating property where suddenly you don't have to talk to anybody. You just get a message over your app. Airbnb holds it in escrow. It's not like you're dealing with payment processors. It's just escrow, the booking. You have a lady. They have they have an app where basically you would. Dude, let me ask you a question. Let have your question. cleaning lady. Let me ask you a question. You you're you're a landlord, right? Hold on. You're a landlord, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you're telling me it's just you just cash the check and that's it. You don't got any problems. You don't got anything to deal with. Well, for Airbnbs, you got to organize. No, 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 no. For rentals, that are easier. Rentals are easier. They're just the same tenant. Paying the same rent, and they a lot of times they do fix their do their thing themselves. But you know they'll call you, hey, I got a plumbing issue. Hey, I got a this. Whatever. But anyways, regardless, you're telling me that you don't got no problems, really? You just pay rent. I mean, they just pay you rent, and that's it. You just click go. For no my, man, yeah, you know you get your, your set of problems. Yes. My no, town, you know you get your set of problems. A, you got to deal with things. Not for a trailer park, but for townhome people. Like I have a fourplex, and they, I hear from. Each one of them maybe once a year with a complaint or, hey, this is broken or the sink is running water. 
and then I get like once a year for each of them. Like four right, times, so imagine, four requests. Oh, dude, a year wait till you get time. an Airbnb. Wait till you get an Airbnb and you have yeah. like a turn. Yeah. Remember, you have a turnaround, a constant turnaround. You got new people well, in there. Well, here's the other thing with Airbnbs. Yeah. Like my dad. And they break shit, bro. A lot of times, remember when you're, yeah, but, when you're in a hotel room, you rent something, you really don't care that much. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, my dad once went to like an Airbnb down in Florida and he was like, he called the Airbnb people and mm -hmm. said, hey, there's no trash bags. <laughs> okay. That's not uh, that's not Airbnb's problem. That's not what they're they're not a hotel concierge. Like they're not out there to pick you up trash bags, bro. You're gonna have to go get your own trash bags. Mm -hmm. And also, I bet like you know, there's no shampoo in the shower. That's intentional, man. <laughs> there's, no, there's no body wash over there either. Did they not have a toothbrush sitting there for you? <laughs> Was the warm cookie not sitting on the on the on the dining room table for you? <laughs> Bruh. Mm -hmm. Was um was there not a nice lady at the front desk to check you in? Yeah, hold on, sorry. Yeah. Gizmo's, uh... Blueberry says No, I'm leaving. Now you gotta fucking fill in the time for me. Alberto, welcome in, Alberto. How is the Airbnb stock? Man, I want to buy some right now. I just wish I could. I could. I got to put money down on another purchase. Anytime I buy a piece of property, the economy falls through the floor. Like, or a great opportunity presents itself is really the best way to say it. It's unfortunate. But anytime I buy something and I need to have cash, the economy is just like, oh, wow, those are deals everywhere. Last time it was may of the covid lockdown like the first time like first lockdown as soon as everything was literally right after like i sold stock the fed comes in and buys the dow at eighteen thousand points like that was just terrible terrible fucking timing seriously but thankfully i didn't sell that many stocks to get that property but still think about it literally i think on that one like within a couple days of closing, it was like the Dow is like hitting 18 and, um, the, and the Fed starts buying it. It's very unfortunate. And now here we are again. And I sold my stock last week that I needed to buy for this next purchase. I sold it last week. And maybe on Wednesday when the Fed comes out, announces a half, a fraction, a point, a, you know, one quarter of a interest rate hike, Maybe the maybe the market will just go to all time highs. I don't think so. Maybe, but I wasn't gonna risk it. I I played that game on my last close. I waited until the end, hoping like, hey, we might have some type of recovery here. No, wasn't smart. I probably lost like at least five percent of my stocks at that point. Not smart. Um, Opie says, I have lots of people wanting to come here and stay and learn to live off the land. Yep. You gotta, I mean, the, the biggest problem with developing your own Airbnb is the zoning. Because some cities just are not happy if you create a multi-unit property or, you know, set up a bunch of, for lack of a better word, igloos, you know, or small dwellings and start renting them out. Technically, Opie, if your market allows it, and I don't know if it would, but you you could set up like 10 temporary dwellings, whatever you want to call them. I mean, honestly, go to, I mean, I hate to say it, but you could go to Home Depot and buy those sheds that they have out in front. You know what I'm talking about? They're like maybe $600, $700. Set them up with electricity. Set them up with uh, a bed on the inside. And then just kind of insulate them a little bit, maybe. And then just, dude, you could literally have like, teach people like the whole thing could be like pretty much a survival thing that's actually i'm glad i randomly wandered into that idea because it's something i want to really get into and i don't know if you guys are interested at all in this but i really want to get into those wildlife and i'm not a big hunter but i would love to get into those like five day trips through like the wilderness and you're like with a guide and you're like you know gonna go hunt some type of wild animal i would love that 
And I don't know if that's what you can set up, OP, but probably not. You're not like going miles and miles and miles, but I think that is a very cool thing. And I don't know where you like look to buy packages where you and somebody else might go for a two week trip through the, you know, some type of, I guess, you know, like maybe the first one would be over in like Montana, I guess. But like eventually you'd want to move your way up to like going to the dam, you know, some mountain range in some other country and traveling through and hunting. You know, maybe it's just like elk. Or maybe it's something more rare than that. Maybe you're hunting literal rhinoceros. You ever thought about doing that, Jose? About what? Fucking a rhinoceros? No. No. Uh, <laughs> no. You ever thought about going on like a long week long trip and hunting like you know kind of like what joe rogan does i think but he doesn't No, himself. i'm not a big fan of uh all that um yeah no 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 in fact uh that's what I, i'm doing a little bit more of what i'm doing i bet um you're just cuck you're just a cuck is what the problem is on a that. cuck oh, you're a cuck what do you mean what the hell what i mean, I mean you just don't you just don't appreciate like hunting animal that's what you don't like no 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 i i i i I definitely Okay, fucking, so uh, why wouldn't you enjoy that, man? You're no no, I just don't enjoy no, hold on. Adventure. I don't enjoy no 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 not, not the hunting. I can go hunting. I just don't enjoy fucking uh uh what's it call it? Like uh being out there for like a fucking month, you know what I mean, or a week. Oh like a you know, five uh, day adventure. Yeah, 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 man. That's five a week hunt, you know. I'm not down for that. Oh I'm you know down I mean I'm that. I mean I can hunt. You know, if it's Dude, like I can't a, believe you're a one day thing, like a few hours, you know, like go I, out there. I can't you know, believe you're not fucking. down for that. To me, for somebody who like, like you are like the acid mushroom guy, like you like trips. You like, like Joe Rogan. You believe, like, I believe that if you got into a five day like, dude, all you have is like your backpack and you're going to create a bonfire probably in a different space every night. And you're going to, you know, look for the wood and you're going to find. Yeah, I need fucking- a comfortable bed, bro. Dude, that's not like life is not about having a comfortable bed. You can sleep outside or, you know, in some small. Oh, oh no, listen, I it's can. About the and I, look, 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 look. I can and I have, but when compared to a comfortable bed, why would I choose to go Because, do like, that? when you're dead or looking back on it, you're going to be like, damn, dude, like, let's be No, honest, but I'm gone camping. Of, man, no, listen, stop I'm gone camping. It's stop sucks. interrupting, I'm- dude. No, you were in. Wait, wait a minute. You were asking me about if the you whole pause camping and thing. I jump you were, in. You were just talking for like a long ass time. All right, go ahead, man. And you were the, no, no, but I was just answering your thing. You, you had to ask questions, right? Or you had to no, so I like didn't. let me give me at least All right, two go seconds. Ahead, man. To we need headphones. Yeah, we do. I told you we need headphones. I told we got you we, just we don't need wear headphones. Them. I told you. Tomorrow, listen. The next episode, headphones, or we you. we can't come on the show. That's, That's right. It. Okay. Anyways, but what I was saying was. Uh, Listen, man, I've done all that. I'm just not a fan. You know what I mean? I'm not really. Now, listen, I like hippy dippy shit. And again, I got my garden. I'm doing the cooking show. I'm doing all that stuff. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, I like the like outdoors a little bit, but I'm I'm slowly getting into it. I'm a city boy. I'm I was born and raised in the city. I'm a city guy. I'm from the concrete jungle. You know what I mean? And now I'm kind of like moving into the real jungle. You know what I mean? That's all. And so it just takes a little time. Well, you know I mean, for like, me, but to adjust. Maybe eventually oh I'll do the no, but maybe eventually I'll do the the camping thing. I mean, not the camping, but like the hunting, camping, whatever. But you know, for now, you know, what I mean, maybe I'll do like a day. That's it. You know, week, man, week. No, no, that's too much. To me, I would think that would be like, you know, just pull me extremely out of my own element and pull me into like, dude, all I have is what I can carry with me and just give me fucking like five days with like dude there's a guide you're not gonna get that messed up i got it oh wait one one last thing i want to say by the way i live in a jungle literally so it might be cool to be do camping in weather where it's a little colder but it's not cool doing it in a jungle where no, you, know, I guess you got I like no. fucking all the jungle. Hold on, all the jungle animal stuff. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, where it's I like it's it's okay for advanced, but not for a beginner. I'm a beginner. And no, I'm not in fact, fan. I would there would never be a moment where I would go and do this in the jungle. Honestly, I yeah, I, I'm talking more like uh, or even in the Everglades because I'm from Florida. Yeah. You know what I mean? So either I'm in the jungle now or in the Everglades. So really, I really, I, I maybe I'll do it in the mountains. 
maybe I'll do it in the in the hills and the more temperate. You know what I mean? A nicer weather, maybe. I guess not in the snow. This is why Lambo I mean, called too much. you fat. <laughs> huh? I said this is why Lambo called you fat. <laughs> I'm just joking. Why? Because you won't fat? do no. Because you won't do a long adventure, five day adventure, hunting adventure, Jose. Yeah, but what? I mean, that, that's not my thing. I'm not. That's not really. That's fine. It doesn't excite me, man. I, I, I'm telling you, it'd be great fucking content for the show or for YouTube. Sure, you I guess, I, but it's not something I want to do. Hey, do we ever figure out what happened to that one guy from Florida who killed himself? He wrote himself a note, and There's it was like so many guys like that. No, know. it was like over the Would summer, some guy. Florida man, note. Remember, there was that girl we were following on CNN, whatever it I don't was. Know who the fuck you're talking about, bro? Remember, his family was all out there, and they were like, oh, I don't know where he went. Who? And the neighbors were like, oh, yeah, we saw him come home. And uh, Gabby, wasn't it Gabby's girlfriend or Gabby Patino? Who the fuck is Gabby? Who are these people? You don't remember this? No. Who? Brian Laundry. Brian Laundry. Any news on Brian Laundry lately, guys? Oh yeah, we got Brian Laundry. Here we go. Let's see what the latest news is. Are we all curious? Five hours Wait, hold ago. On. Let me see. Let me ask the audience real quick to see uh, to see what they really think. You know, know. Uh, We're gonna cover well, it real quick. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. No God. Brian no, Laund. Five God, hours ago, breaking no, news on no. this one. Brian Laundry's parents may be forced to hand over their phone, says lawyer who reveals what may happen to them next. Brian Laundry's parents may be forced Wait, to hand over. Who is this guy, bro? Maybe f just let me read and you don't have to ask questions because you clearly don't remember. Brian hmm. Laundry's parents may be forced to hand over their cell phones in a $100,000 lawsuit fall filed by Gabby Patino's family after being hmm. accused of knowing. Their son killed the vlogger. Oh, wait. Is that the vlogger chick? Yeah. Laundry's parents, who have slammed the lawsuit as baseless, helped locate their son's body after he disappeared and have never been arrested or charged with a crime. But their attorney also claimed that they, quote, had no obligation to speak with law enforcement or any third party, including the Patino family, during the investigation. All right. Anything else happening? I don't want to focus too much on this. Let's just anything else new. Yeah. Well, you brought it up. Who the fuck cares about these people, bro? I was per per okay. Says he look. He's not based. Says they slammed the lawsuit. He's like not based. Yeah. I was just personally was curious. It? So Gabby's parents are suing Brian's parents. Uh, Brian Laundry died from a gunshot wound to the head. The examiner says. Why do you know? Why do people think that cops are smart or good, or they know what they're doing? I mean, some of them are. I've ran across some nice cops. <clears throat> At least they were nice to me. Because you're white. No, that's not correct. It was at this moment that he knew. He I'm not going to apologize for having a nice interaction with a police officer. I've had bad interactions as well. No, I've had nice interactions with oh, them. Okay. You know, I've had. Brian Laundry, like. Yeah, I don't know. Brian Laundry died by a gunshot wound to the head. What happened to that? No, I don't know. You were Blue Lives Matter, bro. Sorry, jeez, sorry. I'm, I, don't, I don't play into their uh, dichotomy. Right. Fucking Blue Lives Matter. Over I don't here. die, but die in their dichotomy. Fucking guy. Does it surprise me? He's a Blue Lives Matter guy. No, no, it doesn't. Whoa, I didn't see this. Holy shit, I did not see this. So I, he's dead? Brian Laundry, the boy boyfriend of Gabby Patino, had had nine marks on his remains that were from likely from wildlife animals after he fatally shot himself in the Florida Nature Preserve. Mm -hmm. The 47-page report details the discovery of the body of 23-year-old Brian Laundrie in Carlton Reserve in Northport. Here's the details that I was going to tell you. The report noted that Laundrie's backpack and shoes were found surrounded by apparent skeletal human remains that were scattered on top of the dirt. 
Interesting. They didn't find him recently at all. <clears throat> also, found near the scene were a pair of shorts, a green backpack containing flares, and a tent that hadn't been assembled. A white metal ring, a handwritten note, and a hat with Moab Coffee Roasters logo. Not far away, investigators found a dry bag with a journal and a wooden box with a small note card and a photo of laundry, a photo of himself. Near the remains, investigators discovered a rusty revolver. In the cylinder were two live rounds and one spent round of ammunition. A projectile was found near the scene. The search area had previously been about three feet uh, the search area had previously been under about three feet of water, as indicated by the water line. So he shot himself in the water? The reports noted that there were port mortem scavenger... Here, here was my point. One second. One second. One second. Laundry also had text messages to intentionally deceive people that Petito was still alive after he had strangled her. Oh, he had sent them. One second, one second, one second. Damn it. I lost it. There was details in that article that were like new, man. Damn it. I don't want to focus on the story too much. Is it down or story? <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. There was just some new articles, man. I mean, some new stories. I mean, some new details. But I don't want to focus on that. That's a sad story, man. Why'd you bring that up? Now you what? Who, I know, huh? I know. I brought it up. Uh -huh. But I, I okay, so you know when, I, when I clicked on that news article, topic. though, Jose, you know what it said? It said like you know, it's the one that, that wants to talk about Bitcoin when it's fucking going sideways. You know, the one that talks about wants to talk about a murder case and nobody even fucking. I remember. know. Well, I, here's what I saw. I saw. They just not only remembers, but no one gives a fuck about. You know what I mean? I, I saw like an admission, like in the handwritten note, he had admitted to killing her. I didn't realize. Oh, that. Well, I didn't know you were a private investigator. I didn't know you were a private dick. Actually, this, uh, like thing. private investigator is part of my lifestyle. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely a dick. Private, dick, sorry. private dick. That's what they call private investigators. For those of you, uh, you out there don't know. <laughs> right. So, I'm trying to private. still find the details without focusing on the story. But like... Bro, by the way, somebody... So I was making a, a dish with eggplant today. Yeah. And somebody and somebody fucking put eggplant emojis and they got censored. And I'm like, bro... What? Look at this, man. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, look. How, do you get, how, do you, how does the eggplant emoji get censored? Talking about eggplant. But I was making baba ganoush. That's like the main ingredient. It's a fucking vegetable. You sick fucks are the ones that made it into a dildo. It's just supposed to be an eggplant. Well, you can't blame what like people do with the little emojis. Man. So yeah, but see, look, look at Opie there. <laughs> <laughs> He's challenging the system, and I appreciate that. In fact, I'm going to put one. Let me see if I get censored. Let me see. Let me know. Anyway, so what are you up to there, bro? I'm just looking for the exact details here. One second. There we go. Okay. No, it's gone. All right, moving on, moving on. Maybe if his OP probably got... They allowed it because he's a moderator. Let me see if they allow mine. Oh, they do. Why did they block him? I wonder why they blocked it in my stream. No way. The iPhone. Oh, really? They did. It's just an eggplant. I don't know why. I mean, the iPhone 13 now oh. comes in green. Breaking news. Breaking news. <clears throat> the iPhone 13, uh, Jose, now comes in green. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get the audience reaction. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to rush out there and spend about 1000 on an iPhone now. A new one. I need the green one. Look here! Look, listen! <laughs> so fucking loud. 
We do need headphones. <laughs> Man, that guy himself is just so entertaining. <laughs> really is. We need to be more like that guy, bro. <clears throat> wow. Well, we need to get right? about 200 pounds heavier. Uh, I'm working on it. You got my drinking <laughs> eggnog every day. Damn, dude, the eggnog really fucks up your diet if you're drinking that. Yeah, it's just fuck. Yeah, dude, you, you know what? Goes I remember in there, eggnog. I, in fact, I'm. I blessed. made eggnog, bro. I made that shit, bro. Oh shit, that shit is pure fucking. Like you might as well just fucking. <laughs> you, you're like you're just getting fat. I can you can hear yourself getting fatter. Yeah, you? I mean, do you you but you sleep like a. What do you put like a dog afterwards, man? Well, you put some alcohol in it, you sleep, don't you? I could. I just drank it by itself. I never even mixed it with alcohol, honestly. Dude, that is like. It's just really? like you know what? It's just like melted ice cream. Yeah, I didn't want to ruin. Yeah, the melted basically, ice cream. you said it. Yeah, it is melted ice cream. It's so fucking good, dude. It's like pour myself a glass of melted ice cream, and then give me a second glass in about fifteen minutes. <laughs> Man, what is that? You uh, sucking the eggplant? <laughs> no, it's me. Uh, I sh- no. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this moment. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, the eggplants around there. All right, right, right. right. iPhone 13. You know, that's a clip right there, bro. We got to use that as a clip right there. We don't have clips, dude. We got to use that as a clip for the TikTok, bro. For the TikTok. I did a clip today. I dropped some shit, I think. Forgot. Hey, you see Elon Musk's Twitter today? I mean, it's oh, just by the way, no, I did not. But he's, but did you know about Elon? Uh, he got, uh, he had a baby. Oh, congratulations! Had him and uh, him and what's his face had another baby. No way! I thought they were broken up. It just goes to show people you. What were, you see, that's what I'm saying, man. People never read the news. They weren't separated. What does separated mean? Literally, me and Christian, my wife, we're separated right now. I'm in one room. Right. She's in the other room. Look at this. So they separated because he's living in the factory, remember? And yeah, she's out there fucking, I don't know, what is doing grime stuff. She's being grimy. <laughs> Look at this, man. And so <laughs> Elon she probably Musk. went to go visit him at the Tesla factory. They probably fucked in the box that he's living in, right? Oh, oh that's man. so hot. And uh Elon Musk, dude, he yeah. tweeted this out. He said, I support the current thing, and it's an that's NPC, right. which is I mean, that's non gratis, dude. You cannot be posting an NPC thing around. That is like a, a white nationalist symbol. Does he not understand? NPCs are like, that's Nazi stuff. An NPC equals a leftist cook. And it says, I oh, no, su- Actually, NPC equals NPC. Yeah, it <laughs> says, I support the current thing. It's basically like calling people who just kind of are, you know. Yeah, like, so, like yeah, just like crazily supporting Ukraine, right? No, right. man. I mean, right. you, you know, it's right. not just about. You know anybody there? Huh? Huh? You know anybody? By the way, I hey, do. man. Hey, right? hey, want to let me you talk what? here, Jose? You know okay, Jose, 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 Jose. No, I'm not going to let you, you finish this one. Okay, we want to keep going. Okay, right, okay. Go ahead, go you know, ahead, he go actually ahead. supports Ukraine. You know that? I, we all support Ukraine, motherfucker. No. So what, what's but, your what's your fucking? No, no, listen, listen. It's like this, dumbass. I want Ukraine to win. I support Ukraine. But uh, guess man. what? I'm betting on the fucking. I'm betting on this. Who cares? So I don't care who I you're. Hey, so I didn't realize the, we could place. I didn't realize we could place fucking bets. Yeah, Where can oh, I go you place can. a fucking sure. bet? I'll send you a link. Where can I'll I place? Okay, link. okay, okay. Very I'll good. I'll send you a link. I didn't realize. I got my bets on Putin, bro. Right? I got my bets. We can both talk over each other, or we're gonna have to just be calm. Anyways, I'll send you the link for the bets. Okay. Okay. Like Ukraine is like a hundred to one right now, bro. Get out of here. Yeah, but that's that. I'm saying you're misinterpreting what Elon Musk is even saying with this tweet, and then you're just no, no. Oh, I get it. Like Ukraine, like Ukraine, like Ukraine. I get it. Support the current Ukraine. thing. Yeah. That's it. You're and the then here's another one he tweeted Ukraine. out. If you yes. want to keep yelling over one another, I can keep up that game. I don't think it makes a great show, but we're gonna have to keep going. Go ahead, go ahead. Listen, you're talking <laughs> transgender fever. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this one. You know what? I'm not in the mood to look at Elon Musk tweets anymore. <laughs> I don't want to see it, man. You ruined the, the mood. Oh, jeez. You ruined it. Come on, man. Ew, my, Let's go back to the comments. <laughs> yours and my girlfriend. Uh, Mr. Lodak's posting something in the comments. Yes. He posted a meme with Putin on a bear and him with a flamethrower. Oh, yeah, I yeah. saw that one. Yeah. 
Netflix waiting for the war to end the movie Black Ukraine guy to win. Yeah, it's that's uh here's another one. Elon tweets this out ten hour eighteen hours ago. It's a picture of a, a man sitting on a bench. He's just waiting there and waiting there. And it says above it, it says, Netflix waiting for the war to end so they can make a movie about a black Ukrainian guy who falls in love with a transgender Russian soldier. You know it. <laughs> you know in Hollywood, they're th- they were already thinking about that movie. I'm glad like somebody, I mean, was, so fucking... somebody was pitching that movie idea or at least thinking about it. You know it. That's the but funny Elon, part. Elon is so based. And then here's another one. Elon, one hour ago. I see you are a tough negotiator. He, I mean, he is tweeting with like uh, these Russian, you know, um, <laughs> leaders, bro. <laughs> like this guy has 795k followers, and he is. Uh, I see you are a tough negotiator. Okay, you have 10% more pay-per-view money. Choose your fighter, and it's himself, and it's Putin. I wonder what, what is this? Oh, he's he he. Oh, look at this. They are actively in a retweet battle, a retweet battle. Can somebody oh, translate wait. this? Oh, here it is. Translate tweet. <clears throat> you little devil are still young. Compete with me weak. It would only be a waste of time. Overtake my brother first. A.S. Pushtikin, the tale of the Pope and his worker Balda. My God. Oh, intense. That is crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Elon Musk has some balls. Bigger balls. Yeah, man, it's fun. It's fun to see. Uh, I wish Trump right was still on Twitter and throwing bombs, you know. I do. Right now, Elon Musk, like, he's the most eventful thing about Twitter, obviously. And, um,. Uh... I do wish Trump was still on there. Even if you don't like Trump yourself, you have to admit Twitter was a better time when he was on there throwing bombs around. Yeah, man, it's so crazy. They banned Trump from the thing, you know? No, but you know what? A lot of people. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. I mean, damn, man. I, mean, I, I can't believe... How long has uh, Biden been president? Like a year and a month or something? Yeah. Like, I mean, it feels like fucking forever, right? I know. People always said, like... Trump never aged a day in office, and meanwhile, all of us right. aged eight years. Yeah, you just wait until these four are done. Dude, I Seriously, mean, this one, man. This, dude, up until now, bro, this has been the worst, bro. This has to be one of the worst presidents. Oh, it's definitely, ever. it's definitely the worst president. It's of his own making. Like, no, no, but for real, for real, for real, but for real, like, <laughs> oh, for I'm you. I just, there yeah. has been worse times in American history, but the president doesn't actually like during a presidency there's been worse times in american history but usually the president isn't responsible for that like abraham lincoln um like the civil war types you know like that's tough times in america but that was like not his doing this is totally biden like i'm gonna shut down the oil and then i'm gonna get into a conflict that makes us restrict our oil from russia i mean like he did both those things i'm gonna print i'm gonna pay people to stay home from work and then we're going to have supply chain issues. Okay, great. I'm going to, um, you know, um, I'm going to pull out of Afghanistan in the weakest way possible. I'm going to get ourselves killed. Okay, awesome. And then, you know, not to mention, I'm going to continue to, uh, I mean, those are the main things, honestly, a lot of, like a lot of other stuff is he's not in control over. It's just Democrats in general, but those are like his three main things that he had control over and they've all failed. Name one thing you did well. Nothing. I see. Failed miserably. And we're all worse off for it. We're like right now, that inflation at the gas pump, it's hilarious that they try to like who's responsible? Right now the White House is calling it um the Putin it's gas. Trump's fault. No, they do well, they tried that for a second. And then they said the Putin the Putin price. The Putin price hike or Putin, right. they're blaming Putin. Putin. How do you think that would fly if Trump was over there and saying, you know, it's uh, Iran, their price hike, uh, you know, like I can't do a Trump impression anymore. I'm sorry. It's Iran, it's the price hike in Iran. You think the Democrats would all be in the late night people? I see these late night hosts 
trying to make fun of Republicans for blaming Biden for the current foreign policy situation in Ukraine. Get out of here. I know if roles were reversed, do you think for a moment there would be any unity from the left? They'd be talking about prices at the gas pump. They'd be talking about lawsuits to get President Trump for everything, dude. They'd be impeaching the guy. It's ridiculous. I'm honestly sick of it. Yeah, man. It's, I mean, it really is crazy to see like the division and especially uh, really with seeing like the ineptitude, at least, you know, with the leader and yet how people still kind of like back him up. You know what I mean? Like what? I mean, I don't know. It's so. Uh, I, I mean, it kind of makes you sense. Know, it's just, we're living in some fucked up times, man, as an American anyway, you know? No, I mean, we're just in a fucked up environment as everybody is. So what do you? So let me ask you a question, man. What do you think, man? Because I, I keep hearing DeSantis, DeSantis, DeSantis. You think he's going to be? Wait, wait a president? second. We got some questions coming in. If he does, Trump will walk guaranteed. Oh, hope Joe Rogan asks Trump tough questions. If he does, Trump will walk guaranteed. No, man. Trump is very quick-witted. I should show o- or Lodak that interview that he was doing. Can I? No, he'll do tough interviews. I think he will. You know? Oh, dude. If I mean, he walks, I mean, I've seen dude. him walk. Yeah, I've seen him walk, but when he walks, it's only when he knows that they're they're there to fuck with him. You know what I mean? And uh, and I've seen that happen. You know what I mean? Like he's done that. And like you know what? I probably do the same. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna fucking sit there. You know to get fucked. You know what I mean? Uh, to be purpose. But, but, yeah, but, uh, but, yeah no, Joe questions. Rogan. You know, I don't think he'll walk. You know what I mean? No way. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and Joe Rogan is not dumb to like ask him like super hard questions. I don't think. I think it'll like, be. Here, watch this one. You know, watch this. Watch this. You no know, hard this. questions, but kind of softballish. You know what I mean? He'll set him up. He won't. He'll when he asks him a tough question. He probably, most of the time, will elaborate afterwards, giving Trump time to think of a, what he wants to say. But Trump usually doesn't even take those. But we've seen Trump. There can't be Joe Rogan if he goes on that show. He should have done it during the election. He. But I understand there was a pandemic. It wasn't really time for funny games. But I guess he could have. But you know. Um, He, do you think he, he's Trump never is... been in a more contentious interview than anybody through the mainstream media. Joe Rogan's going to be walking the park. Here, watch this. He was just on this podcast. Look how quick he is. Trump is like... Do you think Trump is running, though? Oh, yeah. He's running. Oh, man. I don't know, man. I, I'm not... I, I wouldn't Here, vote watch for this. him. I mean, I don't watch want to this. vote for him again. I mean, unless... I mean, Watch this. Unless there's no other... Okay, I got it, I got it. But unless there's nothing else. Right? I, mean, I heard you no becoming quite the DJ here at Marla, I, I love. I heard you're I, spinning. I, you DJ? Would you believe it? I love music. I have an aptitude for music. What type of music? During, you know, over our lives, we take tests and aptitude tests and all this. I've always had a high aptitude for music, but I love great music. So do you actually spin or no, do you, I don't spin, what do you use? I pick, I pick the ones I like. <laughs> I don't want to spin. I want to pick the ones I what's like. Your, what's your, like, go-to banger on well, the Well, I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. You know a song that does get people moving, though? You know, I'll play beautiful, uh, I love Broadway stuff, and, you know, Phantom of the Opera and Les Mis, et cetera. Uh, you know what gets them rocking? Y- YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, my point on that was like... Did wow, he, he went on just like a regular podcast, huh? Yeah, and he's... He Notice how quick he is. They're like, hey, do you... Do you pick track? Or what do they say? Like, do you... I forget what the exact question was. And he was like... Uh, I pick music or something like that. He, dude, he's just like whatever. A, just a regular podcast. Yeah, well, of course. And he's like, he's like a New York. He's this, he's very quick, man. He's not slow on the ball I, like Joe. No, Joe Biden would literally be laughing, going, "What?" You know, like I mean, dude, Joe. Joe Biden is weekend at Bernie's. I still can't believe that that's the guy that they elected president. Back when the whole Democratic thing was happening, remember the Democratic convention? They had like all these Democrats, right? That they were going to go up against Trump. And um, of all of the people back then, at the very beginning, they were saying the worst possible candidate was Biden. Literally, the Democrats said it themselves. This is the worst possible candidate. And sure enough, after the whole thing was over, that's the guy. And they chose to go against Trump. I heard you're yeah, becoming quite won. the DJ here. And he won. At I, 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 love, I heard you're I spinning. Sorry, Are you DJ? Would you believe You know it? what I mean? Yeah, no, but you, you hear how like he is, um, he won't be tripped up on Joe Rogan, dude. I mean, he's just, he's a quick guy. He's, yeah. he's, he, you know, he reminds me of, he reminds me of like some of those shark tank 
judges who are still out in their prime of business and they're doing their shit where they're they're pretty quick witted, man. You see like Mr. Wonderful on an interview. That's who right. he reminds me of. Like a Mr. Wonderful sure. like that type yeah. of he's still there thinking quick and Yeah, Dennis O'Leary, right? Or whatever. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to figure out how to remove Mr. This Wonderful. Who the fuck calls him Mr. Wonderful? His name on mine. He says his wife. <laughs> yeah, you. Mr. Wonderful. Well, you know, Mr. Wonderful. It's Mr. Wonderful. Oh, in bed. Oh, Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> That's what they call him. Have you ever watched Shark Tank? Yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, it's been like 100 million years ago. Uh, Is that shit still on? Oh, yeah, dude. You're not yeah. really into business, are you? I am. I just don't watch TV. Your character isn't really into moving his mouth. I don't know, it's... Why, it's, I don't know where it froze. It's just, it looks like it froze. Hello? Yeah. Hello? My character died. I don't know what happened. What <laughs> happened? Wanna... That was weird. I don't know what's going on. Hello? Oh, no. <laughs> oh man. There you go. There. Welcome back. Jeez, I'm sorry. I had a little stroke, a little mini stroke there. <laughs> See, I, I, when you go on the main page of not cable or whatever, like this main page on YouTube. You'll still see, I have it pinned like as the main video of the first time we came out with these characters and it's hilarious. We, oh, really? yeah, me and you, we laughed. What happened? We, what happened? Dude, we were like, we came out here and like, um, I don't know, dude, it's funny stuff to go back and watch us come out with these characters. And now we're like super, like we have each of these set up on a couch and everything else and people are just expecting it. And I think it does add like some realism other than like our, sometimes we don't do this that well, but like um when we first came out with these blue characters yeah that shit was hilarious man we were we were cry laughing yeah i mean how many views do you get i mean we i see we're getting a bunch of views afterwards after we air the show on twitch i don't know couldn't tell yeah you see like you get 20 something views 30 views that's pretty good bro those are views afterwards yeah but we gotta like you know I know. No, we got. Oh, my channel is growing. My my cooking channel is growing. Yeah, I mean we're not growing on YouTube yeah. or Twitch that much. We'll figure it out though, guys. Don't worry about you. Don't worry about us. <laughs> don't worry about us. Just don't worry about little poor us. In fact, we're not even doing this for the fucking views. Obviously, believe it or not. Believe it or not, we're just kind of. This is an Aniva message. I guess. Are we doing this for the views? We're definitely not doing it for the money. I guess we are probably doing it for the. Views. <laughs> we're not. Definitely not the money. We're, this the will money. never be like a pay thing. Although I will say, I've seen what like Daily Wire has created. I fucking love like what Daily Wire has created, dude. They've created a powerhouse that makes a hell of a lot of money. They're making movies, obviously, and all mm-hmm. they are is like a sixty-minute. Like Ben Shapiro is their is their um headliner, obviously. And I I'm I'm hooked on Ben Shapiro. I listen to Ben Shapiro's show pretty much every single day. Oh, is uh is that the guy that uh interviewed uh Yeah. Did you, well, watch you never that? send me the link? I, it wasn't even that good. I watched it. It wasn't that great of an interview. Um Bill Maher was interviewed on Ben Shapiro's show on How Sunday. Was it? What happened? It was just normal stuff, man. It was really normal stuff. I mean, it was interesting because you got to see that Bill Maher is a man, is a human. He, no, he's he's critical of the Democrats, but he'll always be a Democrat. You know, that's what you got to see. Like it was, Ben Shapiro did ask him, like, what would it take for you to flip over and vote for a Republican? And, you know, Bill Maher basically came up with three things that the Republicans would need to do. But really, you could tell it was like if they do those three, he's still going to vote for the Democrats. You know, so like one of it was like environmental stuff which ben shapiro pretty much narrowed it down and they figured out that they agreed on the path forward which is pretty much like adaptation through technology and seawalls like if there is something that needs to be done it's probably not through regulation like 
uh, what carbon taxes and such. Like nobody really agrees with carbon taxes. It doesn't really work. So adaptation probably best. Anyways, Bill Maher also said like the Republicans would need to stop trying to you know destroy democracy that type of thing. It's like okay, hmm. <laughs> well, but then yeah, you know, well I mean you know I mean, again that's good. No, anyways, that interview wasn't that interesting. You know, but I will bro, say that the Ben Shapiro Daily Wire business. The Democrats are destroying democracy. You don't think so? No, you think Republicans are? Oh, oh, is that what he said? oh he said Republicans. Yeah, he said them. Republicans have to stop trying to destroy democracy. And oh, God. I know I mean, that they're both like, doing it. They're both doing it. I know, but, but it's like dude, there's, there, there is no way he's going to vote for Republicans at that no, point. No, of course not. Look, first yeah. of all, I think they're both doing it. But really, if there's one doing it, it's the Democrats. I mean, they're really really doing it you know what i mean yep. they're really destroying democracy america the whole fucking thing i mean i mean that that is their plan i mean that's part of their mo isn't it literally yeah i mean the fact it that is. they go to i mean they're the only ones advocating for um black lives matter destroy yeah i mean they you advocate for i don't know i don't even want to get into politics but i'm just saying that um he's never yeah, going to vote for a republican which is fine He's a Democrat for life. But I will say that the Daily Wire business model, basically, it'd be like, imagine if this was me and Jose, okay? Me and Jose, we're going to each do an hour-long political show. It's going to be very neat and organized. One hour a day. Jose uploads his hour. I upload my hour. We're both on this show, on this YouTube channel. Five days a week, we're coming on here. Each of us solo, you know, just doing an hour, not live. And we're doing an hour and we're giving you the news active, actively what the news is, our reaction. And then um and then to support us, you pay five dollars a month, man. <laughs> I mean that's the that's the Daily Wire business model. And they did this with so many people that now they like have all the stuff behind the paywall, but that daily show is just free. And then the other thing they did was like their first half hour is on video and the second half hour is technically on video too, but it's all like blurry. It's all blurry. You know, you can only get the sec, but nobody watches it anyways, but you, the visual aspect is all over behind the paywall for the second half hour of every one of their shows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. move on. Let's move on. Are we gonna do, is that what you're saying? You're doing a no, paywall? I don't want to do that because we're not political guys, man. Nobody cares yeah. what we, if we, if people cared what we thought about politics, we would have already blown up. <laughs> no offense. Nobody cares what we think about politics, man. Nobody cares what we think about anything, period. Nobody cares what we think. They're just here for the laughs, bro. That's correct. They're just here to laugh at us, not with us. At I'm us. actually not sure why they're here. <laughs> I'm just fucking. I'm sure I, uh, they're here for something. I told good. them there'll be free donuts at the end of this. Yeah. Show. Are there free donuts? Yeah, there are free donuts. Oh, wow. For me, though. All right, fellas. We hope that you had a great, great time. I did. I did have a great time. Oh, you mean... Uh, and that you will be... I hope you guys did, too. That you'll be back on Thursday night at 9 p.m., Eastern time. Do you have a song suggestion for the way out, Jose? I know you complained about the song on the intro. They won't be back. Wow. Oh. Um, we can play. Um, I don't know. I mean, what's a good appropriate song for now? Onion Helmet says, "Guys, I'm waiting outside the Sevastopol main station, south eastern entrance. Hurry up! The illegal imports are arriving soon." That's right, that's right. He's uh he's leaving Ukraine there, isn't he? Shout out to you. Good luck out there. Make sure you don't trip up on any Russian tanks. Let's do um like uh some type of cowboy song on the way out, guys, just to really piss off Jose. A cowboy song? Like what? A cowboy cowboy song. What do you guys want? Some cowboys? Oh, I know that. A Kid Rock song. Cowboy. Right? Is that a... Okay. Is that even allowed on YouTube? No, it's not, but we could do like a remix of that song or something. Nah, man. Let's just do some type of like... Uh... Nick what? 
I'm just going to type in some random thing. Let's see what comes up, okay? Till next time. We will be back Thursday night, New York time. Remember, check the links in the description. Jose has a cooking channel. He's cooking every single damn day. It's here tomorrow. I'm making tomorrow uh, some eggplant rollatini, some stuffed mushrooms, and some bananas foster. You guys should come in and check it out. That's amazing. I can't wait. I'll be there. No, you won't. You're fucking lying. <laughs> um, I don't like food at all. Um, all right, see you guys then. <laughs>
Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You blew up my ears. You know, I don't know why. How, why do you got to have the microphone down your throat? I don't know. Also, my character, whatever. I mean, I'm going to focus on this for a second here. I got to fix this. <laughs> See, my guy's mouth is not moving once again. It's like, it, it, it was going like, perfectly. Because you got the microphone so deep down your throat, you know, how the fuck is it going to move? Right? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. By the way, how's it going, bro? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. We're all Irish tonight. Are we? Yes. Okay. I'm like, I'm more like a blue-greenish. <laughs> all right. Coming in on the right side of the screen, here comes Jose. Everybody give him a round of applause. Here he hey, comes. Yo. There he is. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to. And representing much, uh... the left side of the room here. <laughs> the the one and the only me. <laughs> the hey, the one and the only me. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Oh, wait, hold on now. Your intro song. So your oh, who's... Darling, I've told you several times before, <laughs> I have no dream job. I do not dream of labor. Apparently, we're having sound issues out there. Uh, Jose apparently sounds like he's in a tunnel. How do I sound that I'm in a tunnel? I'm, I'm, I'm actually in a donut. Remember last time? Didn't you make those donuts with, like, too much grease last time or something? Like, you just stacked it up with a lot of grease? Did you happen to do that this time too, or did you do it sorry, correctly? Sorry. What were you saying, sir? Last straight. time you made donuts, didn't you stack them with like a lot of grease, and it ended up just being oh, too they were much the worst. Grease? Okay, so okay, okay, good, good. It's a good thing you asked me about that. Let's talk donuts. All right, here we go. Donut rant, ready? Let's do it. Okay, so um, I had this recipe for donuts that I made a long time ago. I kind of found it one time um just scouring through the internet looking for recipes it, it was it's basically yogurt and flour that's it you just mix yogurt use regular yogurt all right with flour and you and mix like a sticky batter and boom you got some magic donuts and so about a couple of weeks ago i said all right we got that donut recipe down pat it's pretty good it's, it's uh it's money you know so i was like uh i said you know what how about we uh look here Listen. And I said, fuck it. Let me just go and make real donuts. You know what I mean? How hard could it be? How hard could it be? And uh, so I, I went on and I, I spent like three hours making real donuts. And uh, once I fried them and ate them, you know, it was. Um, they just sucked, bro. They were so disappointing. They were so, so greasy. In fact, they were so greasy. I mean. As soon as I ate them, they were literally, you know, coming right at my ass. You know what I mean? Because, you know, that's how greasy they were. They just, you know, slid right out. <laughs> <laughs> and how about this time? Did you make them a little bit better this time? Or you oh, yeah, man. Way better. I mean, I made some leprechaun donuts. You know, I uh, dipped them in green paint. I mean, in green uh, food coloring. I mean, right. in oh, green good, good. Uh, icing. Good. And then I put some sprinkles on it because uh, well, I got the rainbow. I captured it. I put it in the oven. I dehydrated it for a little bit, and I created sprinkles. And I just I threw that over the top. I actually like how many times did you, did people wish you were St. Patty's Day today? I guess you're on the internet, so of course yes. they did. Yeah, I mean, I got wished St. Patty's Day only in real life by one person. Okay, and that's a I got, I got well, nobody in real life. Okay. I don't leave the house all day because I'm a I'm a hermit. Right. I well, I just had one of my tenants texted me and said, "Hey, happy St. Patrick's Day." I'm like, oh, very, very, very nice. That was nice of her. Very nice. The thing is that we don't celebrate that shit out here. You know what I mean? Because uh, I'm in Mexico. Really, we hardly celebrate it up in the states. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Really? I don't know. I mean, I used to only well, I mean, like only if you're looking for an excuse, like college, and it's like, oh, it's another day to exactly, go to the bar. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I worked in a lot of restaurants, a lot of bars, and shit like that. Right. So, so. yeah, basically, St. Patrick's Day is just like fucking Cinco de Mayo. You know, the, the only, only one that's cool, celebrated. like yeah. St. Patrick's Day, was always cool because you could like put a little bit of green, like you could, you know, people would have their little green paint on their face stuff. You know, like like somebody says, green paint. That's true, man. In college, it was cool to add like a streak of green when you're going to the bar, dude. 
I'm sorry. Like it just was. It was just something different. People would dress up in green and have some fun with it. It was, you know, it's like a limited Halloween. That's what it's like. It's like a limited I Halloween. I never put no no green paint on myself well, you, or anything like that. But but, you're, but, you're but regardless, Cuban. what you said, what you said is true though. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a holiday for college kids, just like Cinco de Mayo. You know what I mean? Like if you're over thirty and you're still celebrating either or. You know, like you're a drunk. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Like I get now. The only thing. No, you're that, cool, man. I mean, obviously, I'd go like. No, no. I mean, the only yeah. thing that's, I guess, acceptable, really. I mean, it's either a you're an alcoholic, you know, and when you know, of course, you're gonna celebrate. You know, it's no big deal. Or b you know, you're fucking Irish. You know what I mean? And then that's again, no, no, no big deal there. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, I mean, what are you doing? What are we really doing here? You know what I mean? You're just kind of like. You're probably a drunk. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm nothing a pothead. You know what I mean? I celebrate 420 every day. Every day. Every day. <clears throat> Pedro, yeah, for, in fact, in fact, people that celebrate 420 on 420, they're not really pot smokers. You know, they're like, oh my god, 420. I can't wait. Let's get fucked up, man. I'm like, bro. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I have some great news before we get too deep into the show. Some great Good. fucking news. What's so, the news? Uh, oh, wait, hold on. We need. Uh, we need. We, we need some. Uh, wait. Great. Wait, I have one too. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, All right, go ahead. Okay, so you guys know I'm buying another property. Well, here's an update. I learned from my banker. That basically, I can structure this whole package with this park and the existing park. Well, into, like a build back better package? Basically, like, but this one actually, you do build back and you build back oh, better. Oh, shit. Shit. But uh, what I learned was that I can package, like, both parks together. And, yeah, I mean, I'm two years in on the the mortgage on one, and I would technically be resetting it, but I can package them together and basically own this one for no additional cost and no money down. Like, the monthly mortgage stays the exact same. But you're buying it same. with the equity. Yeah, I'm buying it with the equity. Apparently, I have a lot of, like, I have, well... And I, apparently, you're fucking rich. Well, no, I'm not rich because it's not like realized. Well, but. hey, I mean, you can literally buy a trailer park with the equity you have already earned. Sounds right. rich to me, motherfucker. In fact, this this is you right here. Isn't that nice, though? And Hanson, breaking news in the comments. Hanson bought new shoes at Target. Oh, that's right. That happened the beginning. That's a callback. That's a callback from way back when. We are live Monday and Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. We appreciate you guys stopping in and saying hello, of course. By the way, whatever happened to that guy, uh, that guy that uh, that you went on a date on, you know, the guy that uh, you met at Target, remember? I never went on a date with him. Oh. Why not? Oh, so it was like a Tinder fuck or whatever? Is that what it was? No. I remember I had, he called me like an hour and a half <laughs> afterwards. I don't remember. Did I ever tell him that I? What did I do again? I don't know. I don't know. What? Tell us. I'm inquiring. We want to know what happened with Todd. Yeah, no, I don't know his name actually. <laughs> well, I'm sure at one point I did. <laughs> I think what happened was was I, like I went home after Target and was like, hey, maybe that was a little weird, but you know who knows. And then he then the phone started ringing and then I answered it because it was him and he was like, hey man, hey, hey, like we just met and uh, are, you want to like. Uh, Meet up for coffee, I think is what he said. You want to like meet up in the gym locker room? <laughs> and I was like, oh. I don't remember if I said, oh, I don't think no, I did. Because I don't think he ever said like he was, I don't think he ever like sp specifically said he was gay. Maybe he did though. And I oh, said, oh, no, hey, no, 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 he was no, 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 man. They don't say that, you know. Oh, okay. Just, well, then if he didn't know. say that, then I definitely didn't, don't call, I, I didn't call him out and say, you're gay. And this is what you want. <laughs> you, that you want. You want sex. You? Why are you calling me? You're gay. Yeah, you want sex. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. So I must have just blocked his number afterwards is probably what I did. After I, because I think he said, you want to have coffee sometime? Oh, I'll look at my, I'll, let me text you. Let me look at my, okay, I'll text you then. And then block. Very unfortunate. 
Hey, Jose, what was with that troll today in one of your shows? Like, oh, you were doing a live show, and there was just this troll that came out of on, nowhere. Get the door. One second. Oh, okay. I actually did hear about this just briefly, um, but I wasn't going to bring it up this early in the show. But, yeah, he ha apparently he had some troll come into his cooking show today and just start, like, that's interesting that a troll would just start doing that during Jose's cooking show, which is, like, has nothing to do with what the troll is trolling about. But whatever, I guess troll's going to troll. So we'll see uh, what happens. I didn't see it myself. Did not see it. By the way, I hope everybody enjoys their Airbnb stock. That thing has been on a roller coaster. I'm pretty sure it's probably back up at this point. Let me take a look. Just out of curiosity, I'm not going to pull it up on a, on the stream. But uh, the other day I saw it was like a, on Monday. I think it was like 138. I was like, damn, dude, I... I'd love to buy some, but I couldn't. But if I if I can close on this Iowa park with no money down, yeah, we're already at 157. So. But if I can close on the Iowa park with no money down, th that's not like the biggest deal. Like it does save me, just to be frank about it. Like it saves me. I I was trying to assemble basically seventy two thousand dollars liquid that I was going to pay for this down payment on this Iowa park. Yeah, bro, you got to do it, bro. But then I talked to the banker on Tuesday and he's like, well, how much is your current park making? I'm like, oh, I've made some improvements on it. And, <laughs> you know, it's currently making this much a month. And he's like, holy cow. And, and you know, how much? Oh, my God. And he's like, how old are you? Like, that's what people, people like, I'm, I was, I've been asked that now twice in the past, like two times I've told anybody about like, I guess this the banker and then there was somebody I think actually I think it was Monday who I know at the gas station who happens to know I own a mobile home park you know she was asking the same thing and she's an older woman and she just had yeah. surgery or something but anyways um <laughs> he was like oh my god like uh yeah you know what I, yeah, I I look I'm I'm a little biased of course because um you know I'm a banker so I see equity and I you know I I know that that's something that if we were to it's a 15 year note. So if I paid in two years, then he wants to reset it to 15 more years, but he wants to lock in a new interest rate, which would be much lower with the, and then tap into that equity for the down payment. But that's not the reason it's a good deal. The reason it's a good deal, because yeah, $72,000, but you don't reset your mortgage for $72,000 up front. I guess some people might, but I probably wouldn't. But the real impact is if, if, I was planning on having about a $2,000 mortgage every month just for Iowa. And he's going, he says, I, I can get that perfectly like eliminated basically. So it's the same, you're still paying what you are paying now just for your current park. You're, because of the new interest rate, you'd be paying that same amount for now two parks and you wouldn't have to have any cash to close. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> okay. That sounds like the better option. Hey, somebody We're in the really com somebody. So, anyways, that's the news for me, and I, that'd be sweet. Um, and Airbnb stock is already back up to one hundred and sixty, but I didn't have any cash to invest because at the time I thought, hey, I'm I'm about to be fully liquidated for Iowa, <laughs> liquidated for Iowa. But now I might not be. Anyway, somebody in the comments was asking, and that's not for sure. I'll I'll keep you guys in the loop. I'm sure you guys. Are on the edge of your seats waiting for uh, the official yes. news to come. On the edge, only because I'm fat and my ass doesn't fit in the whole seat. But yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm on the edge. But you had a troll come into the Discord or your stream today, your cooking show, and that's what somebody in the comments was asking about. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, long. I mean, I, I guess I'll just bring you know. I'll long just... story short, no, no. Let's keep it short. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it long. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, but. So yeah, uh, okay. So you guys already know I I live in Mexico and I have a channel dedicated to talking about living out here and all this other stuff. And I in a, in, a, in sometimes I help people out. You know what I mean? I don't do this anymore. I used to help people out a little bit more. You know, get uh, get their out feet how? wet. You know, help them out moving out. No, more whatever they need. Oh. You know, because like for example, let's say that you're moving. Let's say you're moving out here to Mexico. You don't know Spanish. You don't know how sure. things work out here. You don't know how things are. So you might need somebody just to help you with a few things here and there. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, maybe you, you might, you're older. You might need some medicine, someone to help you. You don't get the medicine, someone to maybe uh, 
you know, uh, help you get a lawyer or contact you with a lawyer. My dentist, your... I need a dentist. That's right. Whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I outsource everything now because I need to know like where this... Taco Tuesdays are held when everyone correct, sells correct. tacos. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I need to know <laughs> because yeah, 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 Taco fresh... Tuesdays. Well, that's a big thing out here. The freshest guaco. Is it really? I need to know where the freshest guaco. No, it wasn't. Was. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it's like, yeah, LeBron, bro. He's huge out here, bro. He's uh, the Taco Tuesday king. <laughs> you remember <laughs> that? You remember those tacos? No, it's Taco. You remember when LeBron it's... was doing Taco Tuesday? You don't remember that? <laughs> no, I've never been a real big fan of the NFL. I say. LeBron, LeBron. The know. NFL. <laughs> never mind. Anyways, oh, oh, the NBA. Bro, bro, this guy. Hey, what were we saying? I forgot. Uh... Okay. So you helped them out moving out to Mexico. Well, okay. So over a year ago, you know what I mean? Like uh, I was still, you know, pretty, I was still doing that. You know what I mean? Helping people out and, and being a liaison or whatever the fuck, bro. You know what I mean? Whatever. <laughs> it was on your resume. Liaison. Well, whatever, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what I, I mean. Liaison. You know, I earned, earned a few bucks here and there helping people out with whatever. You know what I mean? Um, it's not a big deal. Um, but again, I don't do it anymore because of guys like that guy. And, and all and the income you made on that when you did it? I didn't make any income. It was Barely lost nothing, on a boating bro. accident. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Every exactly. year. All right. So this guy comes in and starts trolling you. Did you, you did you once help oh, okay, him with so, expat so nothing, services? So, I mean, huh? Again? Did you ever help him with your expat services or no? Well, kind of sort of, yeah. I mean, so what happened was that like again, you know, my services are just basic, you know. I mean, you already explained what they were. If there's any kind of professional work, you know, like say lawyer, I have a lawyer. You know what I mean? I'm not going to do that myself. You know what I mean? Yada, yada, yada. But anyways, so this guy, you know, was um, one of the first guys, I guess, you know, that I had in a sense like uh, as a client or someone that I worked with or whatever. But it was more, it really was more like he was just a fan. I was still meeting fans back then. And then it kind of turned out where like, hey, you know, hey, uh, can I help you? I mean, uh, he goes to me, hey. Um, can you help me out with a few things? I'll pay you. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know what I mean? No big deal, you know? Uh-huh. All this other stuff. So, but then, you know, it, it, the guy was just, he's an older man, you know, like 60 something years old, but he acts like a fucking six year old. You know what I mean? And shit like that. So I got to the point where I was like, okay, bro, there's not enough money you're going to pay me. You know what I mean? For me to continue dealing with your little fucking temper tantrums or your little fucking, you know, you know, whatever. Like imagine having Wait, a six- what kind of things? Kid. What do you do? Yeah, like again, having imagine having a six year old kid at the mall or at the store or whatever, and they just have a temper tantrum. Wait, you know? well, oh, so he'd have a tender temper tantrum. Yeah. Oh, okay. Imagine a sixty five year old man having a temper tantrum at the mall or at the store or at the whatever. You know what and I mean? He, is he from America? Yes, American. Right. So that would be the, annoying. So, anyways, man, long story short, bro, I was just like, you know. I was already getting in my wits end with the fucking guy. It wasn't anything. It didn't matter, bro. You know what I mean? Like he was just, I, you know, I was already, um, I'm my way to eliminating him. You know what I mean? Just because I just couldn't deal oh. with him anymore. You know what I mean? No, no. Eliminating him from my life, you know, meaning oh. like, I, you know, I like, Hey, look, bro, I am not going to go to the store with you to do this, this, and that. If you yeah, really, really that. need somebody here, let me put you in contact with this person. They can go with you. You know what I mean? Hmm. That kind of shit, you know what I mean? And um, and it got to the point where, you know, like, hey, I, I can't even talk to the guy anymore. You know, he was just very, very rude and very mean. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy, bro? Why is this guy even talking to me? Like, you know, like, hey, fuck you, man. Did How he come pay you? you? Doing what I told you. And I'm like, what do you, what? Did, did he pay huh? you? Did he pay no, you? No, you know what I mean? It's like, what do you mean? Do, 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 what did I do? What you told me? I'm not your employee. I don't work for you. I'm not your anything. You know what I mean? Who the fuck are you? Wait, you know I guess, like imagine wait, somebody, wait, wait, wait. imagine Target guy, imagine fucking Target guy calling you up and saying, "Hey, you piece of shit! How come you don't fucking da 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 da?" And you're like, <laughs> "Why didn't you fuck you? me? Why didn't yeah, you fuck me? Fuck <laughs> yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. Why didn't you fuck me in the parking lot like I told you to? You know? Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, that kind of shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? So anyway, but around that time when he was getting really fucking retarded like that. You know, around that time, you know, he I, I already put him in contact with my lawyer. You know, my lawyer that is that what he was looking know, for? He was looking for a lawyer? No, no, this is one of the things he was looking for. Well, my lawyer, in order to help him renew his visa because his visa expired. Oh, don't go so into needed, details, huh? Don't go into too many details, but yeah, okay. So, for no, 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 but I mean, this is no, but this is all on the internet. This motherfucker, by the way, my eyes not working or something, or oh, 
Anyways, but this motherfucker, you know, he put all this shit out on the internet already. So I'm not, you okay. know, he's already put all this information out there. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying anything that's not already out there. So he was going to get his visa renewed and he needed a lawyer. So no, well, yeah, yeah. So anyways, but by that point, I was already like, bro, fuck this guy. I'm not going to talk to this guy no more. I'm blocking him on this or whatever. But my lawyer was already was starting the process of helping him out with that. So I basically told my lawyer, hey, look, bro. I've already had it with this guy. I'm not going to talk to this guy no more. I'm basically blocking him, getting or whatever, getting away from him. Um, I suggest you do the same, but hey, you can do whatever. You know what I mean? You're an adult. You know what I mean? Right. You're a fucking professional. You know how to deal but with it. I him. don't want you thinking that this is my associate and doing him favors to think. No, you're no, doing no, me no. Favors. Again, it's just like if. Well, it's, that's it, smart. I would do the same thing if I had. No, no, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just like, like, hey. I was just letting him know. Turns out he's crazy. On. But at the end of the day, whatever he did going forward that was his problem you know what i mean but i'm just letting him know what the problem what he what that guy was you know yeah what he was going to be in what he what, was going to be uh for? what is it um in for you know what i mean that's right so i i just, I just let him know my lawyer's like i ah, don't worry about it you know i'm used to guys like this which he is <laughs> he's not the only or first okay Right. So you know, I you know he's like, nah, no problem, no, no, don't worry about it, Jose. I got it. Blah blah blah. I'm like, all right, cool, cool whatever. So whatever, I blocked the guy. I don't talk to the guy no more. No, yada yada yada. You know, as as far as I know, you know, my lawyer took care of it. Yada yada yada. Again, I don't even fucking know. I don't fucking talk to the guy. I don't know anything. You know what I mean? Right. And um, and then you know later, and then you know later on, you know what I mean? Like fucking a year later, you know what I mean? He's fucking starts popping up on Facebook and starts talking all this shit. And then wait recently, now when he hops up on Facebook, is he is he friends with you or is he in multiple no, 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 groups? No, no, no. no, but I just see him because he's out there, bro. You know what I mean? Like Facebook and he's in the groups, local community thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Um, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody knows everything and sees everything, and it's like even if I I can't see it because I'm blocked from a group, it doesn't matter. You know, people show me and and then screenshot and then whatever. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, you know, whatever, he's out there talking shit, talking shit, but he's not naming any names, not saying any, uh, any specifics, any nothing, right? What is he, what's like in general, what's he saying? Oh, like, nothing. No, 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 be careful with the YouTubers out there because they're out there scamming people. <laughs> they're scamming people from scams. <laughs> scams. Okay. <laughs> and then people are like, people ask, he's like, oh, can you be specific? Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're scamming. Careful. And okay, like, scam who are you talking about? Oh, and, oh, oh no! Uh, I'll maybe and he probably messaged them like yeah, DM very them. vague. Yeah, vague but he probably like messaged them like. Yeah, I'll, like tell oh, you, well, I'll tell you what it is. Oh well, the scams I'll include tell you. um the scams include um Mexico and include specifically um, cars and include and include rent and include lawyers and it's like what the fuck does that even mean? You know what I mean? I'll tell you. So, Just gotta DM me, baby. Yeah. So yeah. DM anyway, me, so bitch. Long, so long story short, I'll tell you, you his name. So long story short, last Friday, I, I do a live stream on my Mexico channel with my um, lawyer, you know, That's to right. talk about I saw you know, that. immigration, That's to right. talk about a bunch of shit, you know, that people are fucking interested in, you know, when they're moving out here. And all of a sudden, he pops in the chat. I didn't know who the fuck it was at first. You know what I mean, that was, was just some troll, whatever. You know, I quickly figured out real quick who it was. Um, but he was in there and he's like, oh, don't listen to this guy. He's a scammer. He's a this. <laughs> as soon as this live stream was over, Oh my God, all over Facebook. You know what I mean? He's just like, oh, he, he could not hold himself any longer. So he finally, he reposted all that shit about the scam. But now he put a picture of me, a picture of the lawyer and, and really just, you know, going at it. And again, now at this point, I was like, all right, now this guy's taking shots for real, you know, like taking direct shots. Right. So I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm just confronting and I go, what scams? What are you talking about? Whatever. And again, nothing, you know, just talking shit, talking shit. Oh, I got all this information on you. I got all this, whatever. Oh, they stole 50,000 pesos from me, <laughs> which is, which is like 2,500 bucks. Oh, and I'm like, and it's like, they stole this money from me. And I'm like, who's they? And what do you mean they? Oh yeah. And anyway, so he starts going into finally he's saying that I stole the money. And again, I have nothing to do with anything. You know what I mean? Like I have nothing, whatever, or the scam. And again, what do you mean steal? You know what I mean? And so basically he comes clean and he goes, oh yes, because um, I was sold a visa renewal and I didn't get the visa I asked for. And he's like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So wait, wait. So you did pay him and he gave you what you wanted. But it's like, again, like complaining over a fucking hamburger after you get it. You get what I'm saying? Type of shit. But no, no, wait a minute. Not come, okay. This happened over a year ago. So imagine that you go to McDonald's, you buy a hamburger, okay? It gives you the shits, okay? And then a year later, you come back to that McDonald's and go, hey, fuck, bro, you sold me a bad hamburger. Oh, when? Yesterday? No, no, a year ago. 
Yeah. And again, what do you mean a bad burger? You know, was the burger burger? You know, did we did you did we give you a burger? Yeah. It's like what happened with the burger? Oh, it gave me the runs. Wait a second. Okay, but how do we know? He, wait, there was so he burger? came there for a visa. It sounds yeah, like, it sounds sorry, yeah, like he's still in example. Mexico, so it looks like it worked out just fine. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. That might be a bad, whatever. I'm, I'm just saying he experienced the runs. You know, he's the only one that's ever had a problem. But long story short, not only did he get the visa, but I got clarification with the lawyer. He got like three fucking visas, okay? Because this is back there in the, the virus, you know, and the whole travel thing and the this and that. So there was a lot of complications. So he ended up getting three fucking visas for the guy for the same price. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the fuck is the problem? What the fuck is the problem? Oh, what and the then I'll tell you problem. what the problem is. No, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. The problem is, is that guy, like a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't know what the fuck the problem is. No, I'm going to tell you what the problem is. All right. The problem is that him, like a lot of crazy motherfuckers out there, they see me on YouTube. I'm a nice, friendly guy. I'm personable. I'm whatever. They, in their minds, in their crazy, fucking crazy, insane minds, they become friends with me without even conversing with me, without even anything. Then they come out here, they meet me, and now they want to be my best fucking friend. You know, they want to be like fucking like, you know, like, uh, they wanna... you know, like my best friend. You right. know what I mean? Like whatever, you know, like, you know, he wants to be closer to me than my motherfucking wife. Mm -hmm. And that's just him. There's plenty of people like this guy. And so eventually it gets to the point where it gets uncomfortable. It gets weird. It gets whatever. And I, I separate myself with him. Like I said, you know, not only was it getting weird and uncomfortable because he's just a weird, uncomfortable guy, but then he was extremely loud on the border, on the borderline of violence all the time. You know, very, you know, again, throwing temper tantrums. You so know? you didn't want to be friends with him. And he this took guy, it. He took it. Hold on. This guy's not only obsessed with me and not only is he fucking weird, but now, you know, he's borderline dangerous. So I really got to get this guy away from him. But guess what? As soon as I <laughs> broke up with him, you know, that whole fucking thing, that's yeah. when the problems really you know, that's when he got really, 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 really irate because, you know, it's like, how dare I break up with him or whatever? It's like, this, this, this motherfucker, we we're not even going out. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know, like, yeah. I'm sorry, anyways. So anyways, like, so he hopped into your cooking stream today and did what? Oh, nothing. He's just in there talking shit. I forgot what he was saying. What was he place. saying, guys? What If you were there, what was he talking about? Well, he did make one funny comment. He goes, hey, that looks like prison chow. <laughs> He wasn't wrong there, you know. So. No, you make good food, don't you? I assume. Anyways, yeah, I do. I do. I, I, mean, I don't. Awesome. I can't cook. But yeah, man. And so he's just a weird, weird, weird. You know, like again, I have stalkers, bro. You know what I mean? I got lots of fucking stalkers. Yeah, they probably. They, I mean, they really want to be your friend, and then they realize, like, oh man, he's like not texting me back, and then they're like, shit, man. I mean, this this guy is gonna go be friends with other people. He doesn't want to be friends with me. Oh my god! Yeah. And so the thing is, it's like on top of I'm all offended. that, it's like I'm, we're already, he's already, we're already at the point where you know not only did we break up, I guess you know what I mean. But again, I, I'm looking at like a relationship because I don't know this guy's fucking crazy and people like that are crazy. But anyway, so we're broken up, and this guy's still obsessed over me. He's more obsessed with me now. You get what I'm saying? And so what does he try to do? It's just like anything else, man. Imagine like being in a very toxic relationship. You know, the boyfriend, you know, the boyfriend is like very abusive to the girl. They finally break up and the guy is still, you know, uh, going after her, stalking her, showing up to work, um, just doing horrible fucking retarded shit. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. so, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? So it's at that point. Now, the thing is, I'm not like a helpless girl. You know what I mean? That motherfucker gets too close. I'll smack the fucking shit out of him. And I'm in Mexico. The law's protecting me. You get what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck. You know what oh I mean? Like, God. you know, and that's another thing too. That he comes no, out. You don't got to do anything like that. With the mistake. A lot of people come out here with the mistake that they're still in the U.S. It's like, no, bro, we're in another country. We're in Mexico. Laws are different out here. Don't be getting stupid. You know what I mean? Like, just talking shit on Facebook, you can get sued and even maybe even deported for that. How, how, how crazy is that? You cannot defame anybody out here. It's not like back home. You know what I mean? You can talk shit about anybody. You know what I mean? Out here, like if he's talking shit and, and spreading lies about the lawyer and affecting his business, oh, that's dude, dude. You know what I mean? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. You know I mean? so, yeah, so it's just people are just stupid, bro. And like again, you know, huh. if he fucks with me a little bit too much and I have to fucking retaliate again, you know, the cop is just gonna be like, why'd you fuck with Jose? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's that's all they're gonna say. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're lucky he didn't take it further. You know what I mean? Well, it sounds like you got a lot of drama, and I don't want any of that drama in here. Well, yeah. you hear drama elsewhere.
<laughs> Hold on. <laughs> No, but yeah, man. So, I mean, that's that's basically it. And so, look, man, I don't give a fuck about the trolling here and there, especially when I don't know somebody. But it's just a little weird when you do know the person. You know where they live. You know what I mean? You know, I mean, the whole fucking Yeah, it sounds like you two got to get up. You guys got to go meet up and be like, dude, you got your fucking visa. What do you want, man? I mean, this is weird. No, no, no. But that's the thing, too. You know, so everything's online. The whole fucking thing. You know, he's out there fucking saying that I fucking stole money, stole whatever. He's probably so, typing shit no, up no, on and Facebook then he started, right now. Hold on. Then he, start, he started fucking threatening me saying, oh, you better be careful because I got all the text messages and the emails and the this. And I'm like, what? Threaten me? Motherfucker, do you know who you're talking to? And I went through the fucking text and emails and I go, you know what? I'm going to fucking post it. You know what I mean? I'm going to fucking oh show God. what's up because you know what? Like when you when you see the fucking the, the text message, especially. You know, basically, yeah. you know, it shows right there where, you know what I mean? Like, he, I basically told him, keep your money, keep your this, get the fuck out of my life, fuck you. And he's like, yeah, good, fuck you, whatever. And like, that's it. And that's where it ended. So if it ended like that, basically, I, I'm the ones telling him, keep the money. In fact, in the message, it says why, he like, dude, money. This is... He fucking owed me money because, by the way, he did owe me money. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so, well, this is what sucks about being in, like, the service, quote unquote, industry. Exactly. It's exactly. your reputation to customers and everything and the and the and the like the customers who either came in with wrong expectations, unrealistic expectations, Correct. those ones literally feel like they could be like get wronged when really they weren't wronged, and then they go and they just blab their mouth and you're like, dude, you're you know, whatever. It's spreading so, lies at this point. Well, at this point, lies. yes, but yeah, because the thing is it's like look, you gotta if, imagine if, if, if his he perspective, feels he feels yeah, like he sorry, was sorry. wronged sorry. for some reason. And probably because he came in with unrealistic expectations that were never like truly leveled and said like, hey, right. this is what you have to expect. If you're going through this process, we can't even guarantee that you'll be de like delivered the good um, like of a we're not the government, man. Like this isn't like an, a for sure thing. I mean, it's a legal process. Do you, does your lawyer guarantee you a win or, you know, some... no, 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 no. The right. lawyer, he's, he's that's what I'm saying. Like, that. But the thing is, it's like this. Yeah. You know, so what happened was that, like, dude, you know, again, I don't even want to get into it because it's like, you know, we made it. He made it. Again, I had nothing to do with it, but the lawyer made it right three times. I wasn't even aware of that. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck, you know, that, so that can put you through a lot of fucking work and trouble, too. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, he did it because he's a professional. You get what I'm saying? And oh, he yeah. didn't want to, you know what I mean? He already bit, too, you know, he already bit too much and when he can chew with that fucking guy, but he still had to you know do his yeah, he job wanted, he, he did his job made it right and got on three of them basically yeah and and so that's it but it, but it's like again it's like Wait, what, so what, what, like, without going into too much detail why would he be mad after he got three of the fucking things he ordered was it because the one was messed up no no it's a, no no it's a fan no it, he like what he why he was mad to begin with because he wanted me to be his best friend and he wanted me to put up with his behavior and when i did not wow, do either so of those, he, dude he sounds that's unhinged problem. that's really man. the problem he sounds unhinged wow. Say it again. He sounds unhinged. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Yeah. No. You probably shouldn't argue with him. Well, yeah. So I don't. I have him, you know, blocked and and that whole thing. But again, you know, when when like for example, again, like you said, I'm, I don't even have a business per se. I don't even have anything like that. You know what I mean? I'm not even that. Um, what, how do I say this? Like invested in all that shit. You know what I mean? I'm just basically helping people for free to a certain extent. You know what I mean? I'm basically just just helping people. People know, man, people that know my services and know me and know whatever, they know what's up with all that. But anyways, I, I mean, I, I give almost 90% to 95% of everything for free. And um, the audacity of somebody like him and leaving a shitty Yelp review. I mean, that's basically what it boils right. down to. He's just leaving a shitty Yelp review. You know what I mean? And, and he's leaving it every single day. Because <laughs> he's going exactly. on Facebook and, 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 he's, and, he's it talking, and basically he's right. lying through his teeth. You know what I mean? With no repercussion whatsoever. And you know in a mean? small Which town, in a small, yeah. no, in a small town, you know, that matters because right. all he's talking to all the English speaking expats that are out Correct. there. This whole thing, guy, what? he's a total Look, scammer. But you know what, man? You know, the, the thing is that, that there are actual scammers out here. But again, like you said, small town, everybody knows each other. So the funny thing is, is that so this happened a week ago. Right. And the only people um, that have commented in that post has been him has been me defending myself and then just a few fucking shit flies. You know what I mean? That are fucking haters already. You know, just like, you know, again, they couldn't even say anything about me, but just kind of like, you know, like saying, oh, be careful you, know, must, you gotta be careful yeah, he, with those must, YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, it's just, yeah. It's just just kind of whatever. 
Just fucking cling I'm gonna to pile whatever. on without actually saying anything. Exactly, yeah, yeah, you know the whole Platitudes, thing. statements, and sentences, I concur. Because remember, I have a lot of haters out here because of how I think, you know, about freedom and, and all this other shit, you know what I mean? The mask or the whatever. And so there's a lot of people that hate me just on that alone. And so, you Scammers, know, those, those, those there's, here, here I come with my Facebook comment. I'm commenting underneath this post that Jose is talking about. I go in and I just go, scammers do exist and we have to watch out for those and these and this in particular case if it's no scam yeah, no but yeah but basically something like that is what the comments were yes yes right yes. like hey just in general and maybe in this scenario we all have to be careful for scam i mean dude yeah and so but anyways but look long story short bro but it, i mean and you're like what the fuck yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but some people were even calling out the lawyer saying, oh, yeah, that lawyer, he does illegal things and he does this and that. And I was like, oh, no, no, he doesn't. He'd be in jail by people now. People got to get off Facebook. About? Facebook fucking, is you know terrible. I mean? Like, he's like, oh, he takes, he, like, people buy houses, he takes their money and he doesn't give them the house. I'm like, no. What do you, huh? You get what I'm saying? Like, what and, the then, and then meanwhile, you click on this you guy's, know, like, you click on this guy's <laughs> Facebook profile and his, like, professional house flipper. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's like selling houses himself. That guy is some scammer with house flips. You click on his profile. Oh, he does sell houses too. You know what I mean? So he's a real estate agent. You know what I mean? So it's like, come on, bro. You know what I mean? Like, get out of here. I mean, when he was doing the live stream, he was showing his business license, his uh, his lawyer license, his, all the numbers, all the everything. You know what I mean? They're like, dude, someone that's scamming or trying to hide, he's not fucking, you know, putting all his shit out there like that. You know what I mean? On the contrary. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, I digress. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, we, back we all to, digress. Back, yeah, back to the shit talking. Anyway, so, you know, what happened was that, like the first day I was really pissed. The second day, not so much. But by the third and fourth day, you know, by Monday, I was like, ah, who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? In fact, because nobody was talking or whatever. It was just me and him. And like I said, like three or four Klingons. Because the other people that are actual scammers out here, you know, they um, were doing the regular scam shit. So they, they pop out in the scam group, you know. And dude, you know, it was just some something over 50 bucks. And oh my God, you know what I mean? Like the, it had like 7,000 comments. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Like some bullshit that the scammers did. You know what I mean? The, the local scammers that really do fuck people. Um, and it was over like 50 bucks and like everybody chimed in. And I'm thinking, and I, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay. I, everyone, not only is everyone seeing my post, you know, the post about me, but nobody is saying anything. You know, they're just looking from afar. You know what I mean? But when, you know what I mean? When, um, you know, uh, the person that scams all the time and everybody jumps on the wagon there, you know, every, you know, they were all on top of that. You know, so long story short, bro. You know what I mean? Nobody fucking thinks I'm a scammer. In fact, it is well documented that I have a lot of people that love me and a lot of people that hate me. A lot of motherfuckers that hate me. But that's where it ends. You know, you can love and you can hate me, but everybody knows I'm not a scammer. Everybody knows I'm not this. And everybody knows all that shit. And that's why nobody really, there was no comment to be had. You know what I mean? Because not only did nobody want to get involved, because obviously, you know what I mean? They were just jumping into the fire for no reason, jump, you know, stepping into the shit. But again, you know what I mean? Like if they had, there was so, there's so many people that hate me that have tons, you know, they, they would love to see me fall or love to see me, you know, get fucked up. And, you know, again, if there was something bad of, you know, something bad relevant for, for them to say about me, they would have, but they couldn't because there wasn't. And so that, that basically, you know what I mean? Again, you know, we are here. All right, we're moving on. Yeah, yeah, we're moving on. But anyway, but yeah, it just made me like my reputation is that strong. You know what I mean? And that, oh, made, me, yeah. that made me feel good, bro, at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it, you know? Yeah, sorry. I apologize. But yeah, man, I got haters, bro. I got fucking stalkers, bro. Like, and he's just one of them. Okay? So. Ridiculous. But I can see why in a particular situation like that, why that would be a big deal. Because the whole city's on Facebook in those Facebook groups. Which is just annoying. Exactly. It's more annoying than anything else. Having to fucking deal with that shit. You know what I mean? But you know what? I'm already at the point where I see what happened. So I'm, I'm just, I'm blocking him and just, you know what I mean? Like, whatever, bro. You know what I mean? He doesn't even exist. Literally. You know? Because it doesn't affect me. It, I already saw it doesn't affect Not me. Not you know literally. I mean? He does exist. Real guy. Nah. He's actually a figment of my imagination. Actually, what happened was that I took too much DMT. Yeah, he... He exists for now, is what you're saying. <laughs> wearing off. <laughs> it's wearing off, and we're going to have to hit the DMT again for him to continue to exist. No, no, no. We're good. We're good with that for now. He is real? For now. He's as real as a leprechaun. 
Yeah, Lodak says Jose might not be the sharpest crayon in the box, but he's no scammer. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I, I mean, dude, you remember something similar happened? You remember a long time ago, dude, mm-hmm. back in the the fucking Discord days, and I think uh, I remember when I was like, uh, like uh, when the when the when was it the legal troubles got really crazy for me, and then I was like asking for help. Remember, I was asking for like a GoFundMe thing. Remember that shit? And then you know, uh, you know, people who shall not be named. You know, they were fucking all like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh he's a scammer. You look at him. He's asking for money. He's I'm like, bro, what are you? What the? What? You know what I mean? Like, what the? I actually don't remember that. How much money did you raise? I don't know, dude. Like 200 bucks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> did that say that? <laughs> it didn't yeah, help. Moving on. Yeah, I'm sure that didn't make any difference at all. <laughs> no, no, I don't know how much it was. I know it was probably like 500 bucks. I don't know what it was. But it wasn't. Okay. It was. It was. Come on, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm no Matt Beasley, bro. That's that's a master scammer there, bro. But, you know, like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't got my scamming skills up correct, you know? I oh, speaking to... of Matt Beasley, should we check out that damn book? That damn book? Let's check book? out the book. Check it out. That's What's... definitely not a scam. <laughs> what is that book selling for today? Can we buy that book for? And the bigger question, is there still digital copies available? All right, let me look at it. I hope so. I mean, those digital copies probably got printed out of existence. Let me go to (laughs) royalcompass.com. It's like, oh, Pedro says, true. I remember Jose saying, just buy me lunch or 25 per hour if you need consultation. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I do. Now what I do, the only thing I do is uh, the 20, the, uh, what is it? The Zoom calls i'll do a zoom call a zoom consultation you know 25 bucks an hour that's the only thing i'll do and now. what are those and like it. i mean do people just i don't meet anybody no more i don't go out with anybody no more i don't do any of that in fact if somebody does want to meet me with i still do that it's it costs like 100 bucks now you, you want me you want me in person you gotta pay me 100 bucks otherwise i'm good bro i'm good i don't need to see you i'm i'm, I'm here i'm petting my dog and hang you know hanging with my wife i don't need you know right no thanks. Hey, still nobody's bought the book yet in 2022. It's been a Shit, slow, man. slow damn year. For, I do not know. What's going on, man? How much is it? How much is the damn book? Oh, still $300. <laughs> $300 book. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder if he's okay, bro. You know, we haven't seen him in a while, bro. Do you think he's all right? Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe we finally went to oh. scammer Jew. He says that there's 100 in stock. I don't know if that Did was you all. call his mom. Hey, mom, is he okay? Yeah. Let's 100 shoot. in stock. The original 100 is still there. Yep. Probably. Opie says, well, Jose has been known to steal notifications. Well, you got me there. Guilty as jerk. You got me there. Speaking of notifications, be sure to have your notifications on because we don't always go live perfectly, but you'll always have a notification when we do. <laughs> Monday, Thursday night. 9 p.m. New, says, New York Lodak. time. I'm oh, sorry, sir. That's it. All right. And I mean to interrupt the. <laughs> Go ahead. The, what Lodak says, if I come to Medida, you have to pay me a hundred bucks, Jose. Yeah, that's probably what we're never going to meet. No, it's kidding. <laughs> How about this? I'll pay you a hundred pesos, all right? The first beer's on me, all right? How about that? If, if you do come out here, Lodak, seriously, the first beer's on me. A hundred. Like, literally, you can pour the beer on me. I'll wear a white uh, white T-shirt so you can see my tits. <laughs> yeah. <Bruh. laughs> I'll, I'll shake my tits for you, bro. It's the least I can do, bro. You know, because Lodak, back in the day, man, you know what I mean? He, he's, he's giving me a few donations here and there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I know we don't. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, we're still friends. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I feel like we're not as friendly as we used to be for whatever That's reason. Everybody, everybody's I feel like busy. We, were, we were way more friendly back in the day. I still love the fuck. I still love you, Lodak. I love the fuck out of you. Even I'm always busting your balls with the Buffalo Bills, bro, because I have to. Because my team is, is pure human suffering. So I gotta fucking at the very least, you know what I mean? I gotta spill spew some fucking hatreds towards you. But look, bro, I want you to win the Super Bowl. All right. Um as long as you know the lie just... detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> wide right, bro. Wide right. Anyways, listen. So I guess. Yeah. Do you even know what wide right is or no? No, not really. Wow, bro, you're such a fucking zoomer, bro. Wide right. Hey Lodak, you want me to tell do you want to tell him wide right or should I tell him wide right? 
Okay, let's wait about 45 seconds for Lodak to get that question. Yeah, more like 45 minutes. Yeah, because he's, he's watching on YouTube, not Twitch. So there's a yeah, little bit of He's also watching, uh, the, what is it? He's also watching Mitch's fucking stream. And uh, awesome. he's also in the gold stream. And he's also fucking. He's mining gold actively himself. He's mining gold as we speak right now. Yes. You know, so we got to wait. It's going to take at least another 45 minutes, you know, before uh, he answers. I yeah, forgot what we I'm asked looking him at. Right. I'm looking at real estate. It's been more. so long. I forgot what we asked him. <laughs> Wide right or something. <laughs> oh, Cody's in. Cody says I would send some crypto, but I need to get my life going first. Oh, oh no! Hey, nobody's I asking for money at all. Yeah, no one asking for shit. Do but, not know, send money. Shit. I know there's links in the description of this uh, video. Like there always has been donate links, but do not do oh, that. Oh, Lomax says white rice. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, okay, so wide right, man, you know, we should just fucking look it up, man. You know what I mean? Honestly, you know, we they, they, they've done 30 for 30s on this shit, bro. You don't really, you never heard of wide right. Okay, oh. so back in the 90s, the Buffalo Bills were awesome. But for whatever reason, they couldn't win a Super Bowl. So they went to four straight Super Bowls, right? Yeah. And they lost four straight. Holy shit, guys. That's and they lost it. Guys. With the field goal at the end, oh, wide right. Ah, uh, I think there was a wide left in there, but there was a lot of wide rights. Holy shit, guys! By the way, if you haven't looked at your house's value since the Fed increased their rates, check them out. Check out Fine. your property. How much is it gonna? No, it should go down right now for a moment, because the interest rates, of course. You know, the only people making money are you're not supposed to move. You, you can't move your assets anymore. Is the idea. Yeah, Where is it? Can't those assets anymore, huh? There it is. Anyways, Lodak. Oh, I mine's still death. up. It's my. You know what? Mine's are actually doing pretty fucking good. Okay. Yeah, you, well, you're fine, bro. It's only 0. 0.25. Okay. <laughs> it's only. It's not even. It, dude, they raised it like two Dogecoin. Okay. Well, it has a bigger impact for actually like on the retail side of it. Like what what will what will face is actually pretty like. Mm -hmm. it, it's like, for example, it used to be zero, right? At one point it was zero. And like, we were always paying interest. See my point? It was yeah. just like the originator, the Fed themselves would not charge any interest to the lender who created, yeah, like Wells Fargo, more like JP Morgan. We still had to pay interest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're the, like the last people, you know, we're the actual end user of the money. Got it? Yes, I got it. So uh, anyways, uh, before we move on, because I want to keep talking about the rates um, real quick. But uh, again, just want to say a uh, shout out to Lodak. You know what I mean? Thank you for all the love and support, you know, whether it's here on the podcast or on the cooking show or whatever we do. Awesome, man. Seriously. Uh, but yeah, man, you know, just busting your balls with the bills. You know what I mean? If they win the Super Bowl, if they're in the Super Bowl, I'll definitely be cheering for them. Okay? Unless they're playing the Dolphins. That's impossible. <laughs> Literally impossible. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, dude. The, so the Fed said, or you know, it seems like this is what's going to happen. It seems like the Fed is going to now raise rates. It's literally every single fucking time they meet. So when they meet, like what, like four times a year, or is it three times a year? I think it's four times, right? I think so. so yeah. Yeah. So they already met once, nothing, and today they met, or yesterday they met. They raised it, and so that means they're going to raise it at least two more times this year, minimum, and they're going to keep raising it. Until, like, again, like I was telling you, man, I think that really this whole thing is going to start coming down by next year. Um, you know, meaning a depression, whatever. Um, like, for real, for real. You know, even though we're already going through the depression now. Um, but, yeah, and that, that what's going to really signal it or what's really going to be the catalyst for all that is, again, once they raise rates, you know, like, fucking a point and a half or whatever, you know? In totality, you know, or two points or whatever the fuck they do. Yeah, I can't tell you. I can't tell you what would happen. I mean, the reason I tell you is because this happened not that long ago. You know, it's like literally less than 10 years ago, this already happened. And uh, this is, and again, that's why they had to lower it. That's why they had to lower it to the, where they are now, where they're basically at negative already. So. And then once they, once this happens again, you know, once they raise rates, you know, all the way up to a point where it makes things blow up, then they're going to lower them. Like they're just going to cut, 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 cut like really quickly 
And then as they do that, in order to try to salvage the economy, um, they'll eventually end up in negative interest rates, like for reals negative interest rates. Right now, we're hovering like at, you know, whatever, right above, but again, in true senses, you know what I mean? For anyone that follows this or knows what's up, you know, in, re in real, real, real terms, we are already at negative interest rates. But, um, but actually literally being in negative interest rates, you know what I mean? Like the percentage point, you know, like, okay, we're negative 0.5. I'm like, what? What the fuck do you mean you're negative 0.5? Yeah, that's, that's you know, we're heading there. And we're going oh, there I did not see point. that the, the Dow Jones put on 400 points today. I didn't see that shit. I, Holy they don't mean cow. shit, but yeah, I mean, of course, of course it did. Of course. Look at that, guys. The S&P 500 is up for 53 points today. The Look, NASDAQ... Man, Everything look, put on more than a percent today. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm gonna go out on a, on a limb here, which again, it's like saying, you know. Anyways, okay, but I'm going on a limb here. But honestly, right now, I think what was going on is that the world, the economy, the bankers, or whatever the fuck, they were all waiting for the whole Ukraine invasion thing. That's the thing, or some sort of thing like that. You know, Hong Kong, Taiwan, whatever, something like that. They were waiting for war, and now that the the market. You know, the people that print the money got the war that they wanted um, or a war. Um, yeah, dude. You know, what I mean, it's off to the races. You know, the market is loving it. And especially, you know, right now we're going to be seeing a bull run in commodities. You know, what I mean, of all kinds. You know, what I mean, like oil, copper. I don't know. Let's settle down. I, I don't know. I think we're. You don't think so? You don't think so? Really? It's possible. I mean, we're very, very. Um... I think, we could, I, think, there, I, think, I think with stag, like stagflation or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Less, yeah, that's happening too. Right. Less, pur pur less purchasing power for consumers. Correct. Well, I mean, I think... Yeah, it, it's all that stagflation, but it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a bull run in commodities because... Maybe in commodities, when everything, yes, When but, everything uh, goes to shit... When everything goes to shit, you get what I'm saying? You know, that's when people go back to like gold and silver and shit like that. And uh, and then commodities in this case, it's because, you know, again, for war or for the building or for the whatever, you know what I mean? We need commodities, you know, and we need energy, energy. You know what I mean, the energy sector alone, you know what I mean? I mean, come on, and I can go on and on. So. Let's read this here. Let's see what you Okay, this is from the Wall Street Journal. It was put out today. It says, what the Fed's interest rate increase means for you. For you specifically out there, they wrote this one for you. Yeah. So look, real quick, real quick. Clay, shout out to you, by the way. Um, he says, if I understand correctly, the interest rate is supposed to be uh, 1.9 by the end of the year and three by the end of next year. Was it at now? The Fed was at like at one point at zero, I believe. They couldn't go any lower, man. Otherwise, they would have. I mean, they did everything. They yeah, went, so no they went completely no way we're going to crazy over COVID. Yeah, there's no way we're going to 1.9. Where would you hear that? That would be nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, um, federal committee is set to... So yeah, so we're at two... Yeah, we were at zero. Holy shit. Fuck. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. we're at two, we're point two five to point five now. <laughs> yeah, and that's Wait. like... But you have to understand, that's from like... Wow, man. So, geez, yeah, we're definitely going negative, man. Oh, wow, eventually. Yeah. Oh, no, no, this is 2008. Wait, what is it? We need it. No, no, it's a day Let ago. me read Never. this article here from our main propaganda source, the Wall Street Journal. They're the official propaganda source for the, uh, not yeah, there is. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way that we're going to get to 1.9. I don't know where the hell you heard that. He might be talking about, like, consumer interest rates. You know what I'm saying? Like, consumer interest rates. No, but no, I'm, I'm pretty... curious where he heard that because... If you All heard, right, well, I mean, you probably just heard Bizarre. There's a lot of fucking people on YouTube just talking shit that don't know what the fuck they're talking right, about. That's right, not like us. Yeah, we definitely don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah. they're All right, let's read this. The Federal Reserve raised its short-term benchmark rate by one quarter of a percentile point on bro, bro, Wednesday. Quick, quick. Come on, hold man. On, on. Let's read what the fucking no, no, hold on, hold on. I, will, I, will. Just, I just saw this right here, but look, right, I, this is like some official uh, Fed stuff, and then the Fed is the one that said that. Oh, wow. Officials see the Fed funds rate climbing to a target range of 275 to 3 by 2023, which is by the end of next year. By next year. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. That's not good, bro. That, that is, is not, not good. good. Holy cow. Get your, if you're loan, okay, refinance, whatever you want to. I mean, make <sighs> best financial decisions with that interest, like with that in mind. If they're, if they follow through on that, that's a big fucking deal. Yeah, they follow through. Yeah, I mean, that, that's another big if, you know, whether they follow through or not. Right. If they follow through on that, dude, oof. 
So thanks yeah. for that, Clay. I appreciate that. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to yeah. mute myself so I can fucking hear No, that's you. okay. The Federal Reserve raised its interest rate. Okay. The widely expected decision increases the federal rate funds rate to between two, uh, 0.25 and 0.5. You'll feel the impact of rising rates on an individual level and on a household level. Well, for me, it's one and the same, bitch. <laughs> I, am, I am my household. I am my household. Well, yeah, but remember, when they say household, they mean that, whether you're single or you got like a whole family, whatever. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, when interest rates go up or down, the resulting changes in the other rates, the resulting changes in other rates impact the way we borrow money and how we save money. Frustrated house hunters, for example, have already seen mortgage rates increase in the recent months. Re uh, rising rates mean home buyers will pay a little bit more each month in mortgage payments. Except if you have it locked in. I mean, if you're variable interest rates, then you're, we don't, no, that's not very common. Raising the interest rate is about creating an inducive, in, I'm sorry, an inducement to save. So they're raising interest rates to create an incentive to save, Jose. It's oh great, it's, yeah, great. It's, so that means so that means out of, if I if out of every hundred dollars right that I put in the bank, I will get twenty five cents at the end of the year. Fuck yeah, man! Let's do this. It's basically a deterrent to consumption spending when an economy is overheated. Raising the interest rate is a way to pull back and say. I'll hold on and postpone that spending. They want us to be just, you know, I'll hold on and postpone my spending habits. Okay. <laughs> Below a guy. I'm going to go on and uh, postpone uh, that, uh, that meal that I wanted to have today. <laughs> yeah. Or, I mean, seriously, that's pretty ridiculous. Okay. They're basically, or what they're saying is, is I'll go ahead and postpone that retirement is really what they're saying <laughs> i'm just gonna go home and postpone this hunger yeah they want to you know? they want they don't care about people spending they like that what they don't want is people making like oh you know what i can Our run my own decision. fucking business if i wanted to or i can that's right i can retire early i can live off modestly and i can whatever below a guide to when these changes might happen and if you to watch okay mortgages the way mortgage prices are set is based largely on the yield of the 10-year uh, government bond. The rate use is used as a benchmark for all different types of loans, including mortgages. As the Fed has signaled higher rates, the 10-year bond moves higher. 10-year uh, yield on the bond moves higher. This has, in turn, pushed the average 30-year fixed-rate mortgage to over 4%. Wow, that's crazy. Because remember when I refinanced in the middle of COVID and I got a 2.25 on, on an investment property and now our average 30-year one is over 4%. Ugh. A year ago, it was 3.05. Over the yeah, past... You under that, remember? Yeah. You said, yeah. Yeah, I'm at two, I got 2.25. But you did a little... Over the past two years, low rates and low inventory have fueled a white-hot housing market with skyrocketing home values leading to fierce bidding wars. As of January, the median sale price for a single-family home stood at $357,000, up nearly 16% year over year. Wow. That's fucking crazy expensive. Yeah, especially considering like when you drive down the street and like the median, that's not average because otherwise the real winners, like the million dollar properties would throw that off. So if you just listed all of the homes in the United States and just picked one at random, the middle, the middle one, you're like the most common one would be 357,000. Um, and when I drive past houses, I don't see many houses I'd want to pay 350, like 350,000. Yeah, out here you can get houses uh, on the very, 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 very low end. You know, in Mexico, I mean, uh, 25, 50, yep. 100. Let's see what it says. For a nice home. The, 
prospect of higher rates has begun to reduce refinancing demand. Oh, has begun to re reduce refinancing. Oh, people are saying like, oh, I guess I won't refinance anymore. Right. Yeah, because it's going high. I mean, why would they? I guess, yeah. And the rising mortgage rates will likely create even more difficulty for those hunting. Yeah, for house hunters? Yeah, probably. We'll likely see some decline and at least a slowdown of the mortgage volume. Yeah, mortgage volume, but not home buying volume. You know what I mean? Because again, there's still a lot of uh, corporations and other interests out there that can definitely afford to buy those houses. So listen to this. As in far cash, as I mean, don't care about the fucking rate interest. As far as auto loans go, when you take out a car loan, the loan has a fixed interest rate pegged to treasury yields. And this means that the rise in the interest rates shouldn't bring any surprise for those who have already secured their fixed rate. But for those looking to buy in the hot car market, make sure to do the math on the financing of the vehicle. In addition, keep in mind that car dealers and lenders can charge different amounts for your specific car loan. The average rate on a five-year new car loan was about 4% in the week of March 10th. All right, that's not bad. Credit cards, last thing. It's always an excellent time to pay down your credit card debt. <laughs> Debatable. Yeah. Nah, it's probably a good idea. But this makes it only the more costly to hold credit card debt. According to Wallet Hub's March report of more than 1,500 cardholders, the annual percentage rate for those with good credit was about 20%. An increase in interest rates can sometimes affect the credit card annual percentage rate, or That's APR. Right. Yeah, but honestly, it's a, yeah, with good credit is 18, yeah, but honestly, most people are like in the high 20s, 30s. And then finally, for your student loans, every May, the interest rate for federal student loans is set according to the 10-year treasury note auction. Auction? These uh -huh. rates are fixed for the entirety of the life of the loan. Oh, I didn't Inter know that. So you're telling me that there's people out there still paying like a lot for their... Wow, yes. I, I did not know that. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, so people who graduated last year actually were locked in at an awesome rate. Congratulations. <laughs> if that was you, congratulations. Man, what was uh, what was the, what were the highest rates and the lowest rates? Show it's the chart a, again. The oh, uh, the rate for the, the chart, right? Yeah, well, I think this is the chart. Annual percentage, and this is on credit cards. They don't have a chart for anything else. This is credit cards. The annual, the this is the APR. Yeah, people were only paying like fifteen percent APR during COVID, and now we're back up to like, you know, where we were, um, in two thousand, I guess, in two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. private education loans could be affected by the rise in rates private student loans either charge fixed rates which stay consistent or variable rates which can increase or decrease depending on the institution you borrow from or your individual financial circumstances speaking of my individual financial circumstances that's the end of the article in the end the end Mr. Lodek says it's all smoke and mirrors while traders laugh all the way to the bank about the 0.25 interest increase. Um, the retail panics and traders buy in at the 0.618 and the 0.786 and the 0.886 deep retraces for the mad gains. That's right. That's what I was doing today. <laughs> I wish, I wish I would have had time to watch when it hit the 0 0.618, the 0 0.786, or the 0 0.886. I missed all three of them, Mr. Lode. Mm -hmm. All three. All three yeah, of them I missed. Yeah, I was playing with Damn my it. fucking. Uh, I was playing with my fucking corned beef. I was playing with my tail. <laughs> okay. Sounds kind of gay. <laughs> no. Hey, but yeah, yeah, man. At the end of the day, it's all fucking it's like you said. It really is all just smoke and mirrors. It really doesn't motherfucking matter, except to the average Joe, which always gets fucked. You know what I mean? No matter what, the average fucking Joe. 
you know, just holy the average- shit! Breaking news! Breaking fucking news tonight! This just in: your government, the House of Representative Representatives, has passed legislation to end normal trade relationships with Russia. I thought they already did that. Uh, this ends all normal trade relationships. Okay. Good luck with that. Sucks for you guys. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know, whatever. The House Anyways, passed yeah, this Mexico, legislation yeah, on Mexico's Thursday like, to end the trade yeah. ties with Russia. Yeah, Mexico's doing the opposite. Then got them in Mexico. You know, so anyways, yeah, if you watch my cooking show, you see I get like the, I got Chernobyl carrots and Chernobyl leeks with fucking huge ass fucking vegetables, uh, you know, from, from Russia because we're still trading with them. Anyways, oh, wait, yeah, a dude, second, is, wait a second. Wait a second. By the way, second. Russia does not give a fuck. Russia is still trading well, with cares. basically everybody else. They're still doing all kinds yeah, well, of here's shit. Well, here's here's the truth about it. it and the it, whole ruble thing, man. Oh, oh look, everything that that's happening with the crashing of their um, of the ruble. And again, the U.S. is the one. I mean, not the U.S. Sorry, the bankers, the ones that are in control of the money, um, the the printers, you know, the ones in control of the dollar, whatever. They're the ones that determine the value of everything, and they also determine the value of the ruble. So they crashed it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Like fuck it. We're just gonna crash it and make it Venezuela tomorrow. Why? Because we said so. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Um. So you know, Russia is now trying to figure out a way, which again, it, it already has, I think, you know, in order to uh, you know, get their currency back up in value you know whether it's uh bring up the gold standard or continue trading um with uh neighboring countries like china germany whatever the fuck um whatever man everything is just you know they'll, they'll eventually get back to normal but at the end of the day you know yeah man people right now in ukraine are suffering people in russia are suffering and things like that but these people that are in charge they don't give a fuck they don't hey they don't dude i just, I just, just found some enough. inflation statistics in case you guys are wondering, like, oh, how much more am I paying thanks to uh, the inflation? Oh, what well, happened that we were going to talk about Russia? <laughs> we are, but I just found this cool little thing, okay. and it says the price changed from January 21 to January 22. So if you were buying men's pants, you paid, on average, 5.3% more for your pants. If you were buying a women's skirt, you paid 30% more January of 2022 compared to 21. Why are we? What, what does this matter to us? We don't wear any clothes. <laughs> Good point. But I just, I had never what seen. What about it. glasses? I we didn't realize, glasses. dude, I, I did not realize men's pants went up that much, dude. Yeah, we wear glasses. You know what I mean? We should look at. True. They don't have that on the graph. No, oh, geez. Of course not. That's fucking racist towards us. I feel offended. What about us? Um, how can I write a complaint? What about men's shoes? They didn't have that one either, Obi. What but about I, but I heard that one will cost you just the regular amount, but plus the tip. But look, the women, oh, <laughs> but look at the women, man. They always getting fucked, man. The women's skirts, the women, everything women is going up in price. Why? Why? I mean, they just know that the women's don't make as much as the men, so they need to charge them more. What about horseshoes, says uh, Nimble? Horse what? Horseshoes. Oh yeah, horseshoes are going to be about uh, going to be the a price big, of iron. It's right? going to be the the normal amount and a big tip if you know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Can you be more specific. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> tip of what? Tip of I can't what? be more specific than that. Tip of what? A big tip. Okay. Like a monetary tip. Uh. No. think so <laughs> i mean maybe that's what he meant <laughs> you'd have to meet you'd have to meet him for coffee to see mm-hmm. okay um mm-hmm. i'm just i don't want to talk too much about U- ukraine and russia to be honest with you i'm looking at the, like everything that's going on in the world right now i'm giving you guys all the latest details uh president chi and biden are preparing to talk as the united states and china whatever so they're planning on talking. President Biden and she will plan to speak on a call on Friday. That's tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully uh, he doesn't shit himself. Yeah, I agree. That would be okay. important. 
or he just wears the pens and can keep a stern face through that. Mm. Yeah, you can imagine like he's uh, having a conversation with Xi Jinping and uh, he's uh, taking a shit mid conversation. And he like lifts up two inches on the webcam. <laughs> you imagine like taking a shit and the pens and how all that like smushes up. And like, you imagine the cleanup after. Remember when they used to make fun of Trump for having that button that delivered him like a Diet Coke? Remember that? No. My God, Trump, I mean, like, ugh, I can't even discuss it without getting just totally disgusted with, if Trump was in this situation. Yeah, right? I don't know, Diet Coke is disgusting, I agree. No, actually, I'm drinking one right now. Oh, God. Oh, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Diet Coke's great. Who the fuck, by the way. Actually, who, no, even Trump doesn't, why do, why, Trump people, doesn't like Diet Coke. Right? By the way, there's two types of people in the world. People that drink Diet Coke and everybody else. And the people who drink Diet Coke are the real winners. I don't know. Diet Coke seems bad. And it tastes like shit. Zero calories. Can lose a lot of weight by switching over to it. Or, or drinking nothing. That's another option, but water. that's unrealistic for us. Water Bank works. of England has raised the key rate for the third time. The central oh, they bank raised their rates too. Yep, the central bank raised its key interest rate, is what they call it, for the third time in as many policy meetings. So, in three policy meetings, a fresh sign that the central banks in many parts of the world are giving priority to countering the surging inflation. This sucks, man. I'm not gonna lie. Whatever you gained during covid you're losing it now mm -hmm. <clears throat> whatever you gained and i gained a lot mm -hmm. like i gained nearly ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars just due to yeah, uh, just due to my accident. business actually just due to pp pp -p -p. yeah P -p -p -p. i lost all my shit in a train accident mine was lost uh i had a bonfire okay and um and uh, you made a marshmallow? My money literally burned. Okay. Sucks. It was sad. Terrible. But yeah, um, anyways, it's all gone now. I mean, now, it, it, even if it wasn't gone in that bonfire, <laughs> it would technically be like, dude, I'm paying so much for gasoline. I'm Apparently, I'm paying like 13% more just for my pants. Yeah, see, I don't wear pants, as you can see. Mr. Lodak. Know, who are you buying pants for, bro? Oh, just myself. But you know, you I wear, wear them, them when I leave. No. Oh. When I'm not on the show, I'm wearing pants. You wear it's pants. Very strange. Yeah. But on the show, you don't wear pants. I get, yeah. It's a weird thing. I got it. No, it's okay. It's a, you're, you know, it's your free country. I man. like pants that are very, they're very big. They basically okay. drag on the ground. Okay. They don't look normal. <laughs> Not so well. I mean, I don't think anything like, would look normal. No, but I you mean, have to imagine like this myself wearing pants, but they're like the waist is about as big as like these binoculars I carry, like the, my sunglasses. They're huge. Yeah, like a size forty-five. Yeah. In fact, and then like they're made of this material, and like Jeez. they have like denim. They have like they're made of denim, but they also they're like they have these built-in um pockets fans bands fans fans <laughs> yeah i just like to air out my <laughs> air out your junk air out my junk all day okay well, isn't that like uh how, how, how do you power it i plug it in <laughs> so you just wear your pants <laughs> your house when i'm not on this show i'm mm -hmm. just walking around i'm just actually just i'm plugged into the wall with my pants and i yeah. i'm just sitting down usually sounds a uh, sounds a uh, i mean don't knock it so you try it but sounds weird cody <laughs> says <laughs> by the way shout out to cody How's i don't going, say bro? anything because of the discomfort and I feel a little mute. I was thinking I could have selective mutism, but at least I was more comfortable talking here. Oh. Okay. Cody, you're always welcome to talk here. Oh, of course. We got you, bro. Pedro says, what? He's talking about my <laughs> pants. 
<laughs> yeah, so anyways, the good news about um honestly like okay, the the news sucks, but the title of the show What do you is, mean the news sucks, man? Well, I'm just saying like people are dying people Where? Are dying over in Ukraine, man. And then like they think are? about I assume so. I mean, if we're I think each side's propaganda is telling us that people are dying. So we can say that safely. Yeah. But and then look at the, like financially, people are about to get like destroyed. Wrecked. Yeah, they're about to get wrecked. Yeah, gold and silver and shit is doing great though. I mean, it'll only go so great. I mean, if you have if you're if you're in an asset that requires like paper hands to be able to withstand the storm, good luck, man. Relying on paper hands to withstand this storm that's coming, it's that's quite the bet. Quite the bet. So I'd be getting into assets that you're not relying on paper hands. That's right. So gold is good. Yes. Silver is good. Yes. Big stocks that benefit from low competition are very good. Yeah. You know, um, JP Morgan. Vincent Garçon. The banks. Says, you want to own the hello, banks. Hello, guys. Hey, Vincent. Hey, Vincent. Welcome. Vincent says, "Can you guys, can you guys move to Tallahassee, Florida? Make the New Yorker one hundred percent in Tallahassee." I was in Florida in January, and I don't mind Florida. It's pretty nice. And I'm originally, I'm originally a Floridian. Jose is actually a big fan of the Miami Dolphins. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm originally from Miami. Born and raised out there. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm good in Mexico. I live in Mexico now. Yeah. So I, it seems like Vincent is in Tallahassee. I can see you from the other side of the, I can see you from the other side of the Gulf. I'm on, I'm on the Gulf. I can Let's see get you back to here. the news. Let's go back to the news. I was just saying hi to Vincent, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. What's up, Vince? Okay. And, hey, Vincent, is, is he from, uh, is he, uh, is, uh, is that Vincent from Pulp Fiction? No, I don't know. No way. I'm looking at the news. Oh, by the way, everybody's dropping all the COVID measures. Everybody's dropping all the all the mask stuff. Everything's gone. The vaccine stuff. Everything's just gone overnight. By the way, I will always love Russia for that. You know what I mean? So shout out to Russia. You know what I mean? Thank you for ending. You know, I appreciate it. Mm. Sorry. I mean, they were sort of ending it right beforehand. I mean, I have to yeah, admit, yeah, but he really, he really, yeah, he really pushed it. But they actually were ending those COVID restrictions just like literally within a matter of like. Actually, it never fully happened. Like it was a perfect lapse. They were saying that they were going to end it, which they said the whole time. But this time they were serious and they had set scheduled days. And then the invasion happens like even before that, like before it actually happens. So mm -hmm. perfect overlap. Mm. Oh, awesome. Look, Vincent says, I was born and raised in Hialeah. No hola, bro. For reals, that was my neighborhood. That was my stomping grounds, bro. As far as I was born and raised in Hialeah, bro. Onion I was fucking born That's literally fine. in Hialeah Hospital. Onion Helmet fact, says... If, yeah, who wasn't born in Hialeah Hospital? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Onion Helmet says, American people be like, I'll throw over a tyrannical government while doing nothing, but charge right. my phone, eat hot chips, twerk, and lie while inflation is 50% by 2023 is coming through. He's right. Cody yeah. says, I went into the bowling alley today without a mask for the first time. Nice. Back nice. to fucking normal. <laughs> Build back better, bitch. He did it. <laughs> he did it. He killed it. Yeah. Oh man, Biden is the worst. That's awesome, man. But yeah, man, I'm glad that all the yeah the the, the all the mandates are all the countries, all the mandates are gone. You know what I mean? Basically, they're all like right. Yeah, Elim yeah. getting eliminated, you know, one by one. I think everybody's just getting ready for World War Three, bro. You know what I mean? I mean, I think we're about to. St and World War Three is not going to be as bad. Hey, as but I, I did hear news that there was like a new variant coming through the United States. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 yeah. Where'd you hear that? The Ukraine variant? <laughs> yeah, I know. Let me look at something here. Oh shit, Lodak says, 
when I met Jose in Hanson, Hanson pretended to be Russian, and now Jose pretends to be Russian. <laughs> right. No, I, how, I would, well, how things change. I never pretend. Well, maybe I was. I, I definitely liked Russia. Yeah, you were Russian, bro. Yeah, dude, you had like a little Russian flag and everything, remember? I know, but it, I was such a troll, dude. But yeah, I guess. I mean, I was affiliated with Russia for sure. Oh, shit. Look at that. You see, a- what the hell, man? Why are you hating on me for liking Russia now? Well, it's because I like Russia and Ukraine. Yeah. I don't necessarily dislike Russia. No, sir. No, sir. I'm a big Russian, um, you know, I like Russia as much as I like, honestly, I like Russia as much as I like Mexico, you know, like, I mean, it's just the same, except they were, uh, back in when I was like, they were, they're always like the, um, scapegoat for the Western media. So I always was like, whatever, stop scapegoating. But then what they did was they actually did, um, they're starting to hurt my friends in Ukraine. Mm-hmm. So, hey Cody, where, where, what state do you live in? You know, you don't have to tell us where you live. Just what state? I think he's, he's on the East Coast, right? Or what the fuck is he? He was about to move south a little bit. I don't want to dox him, but he was going to move south and no, then no, no, uh, just a state. You know, I'm just curious. Oh, he was going to move down to like I think he was going to move down to like. Let me think here. Tennessee or something would have been a great move, actually. Mm. Tennessee's nice. Oh, wait, but- Onion Helmet says, Jose, the type of guy to drink green beer and do nothing else to celebrate St. Patty's because he finds out he's 0.00000% Irish on the 23andMe test. Well, what do you mean? I mean, I, I drank Guinness. I drank green beer. I'm drinking whiskey right now. I'm getting smashed. Um, I'm going to eat, you know, some fucking, what is it? You should make something Irish. Some stew later, some fucking Irish stew. What do you mean? Oh, nice. Uh, what the fuck are you doing over there for fucking celebrate Thanksgiving? Or what, what the fuck? What is it? Irish, Irish what is thing? it? What are we doing? Oh, yeah. yeah St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. The fuck are you doing, Onion Helmet? <laughs> Whoa, here's the average gas price in the United States. Shout out to you, Onion Helmet. By the way, just uh... Here's the average gas price. What state do you want me to click on? Here, I'm going to click on first Minnesota. Three ninety three. That's correct. That's about the average gas price. Okay. Texas, three ninety five. Florida, four twenty eight. Colorado. Oh, nice. Hey, can we get like some more people on Twitch? Maybe one or two more people. That would be great. California has an average price of five dollars and seventy eight cents. Yeah, because if we get five people chatting, that helps the channel. So we just need one more. Who's gonna be number five? <laughs> anyway, come on. We need one more in there. One more. I go chat myself. Opie <laughs> Taylor over in Twitch. Oh my god. Can I get some celebration fireworks? Jose, I'm trying to buy green food coloring, but it's seventy dollars because of Powell's genius oversight. What the fuck you mean seventy dollars, bro? For green food coloring, bro? It has to be like five bucks, bro, or like two bucks, or like a dollar, or I don't know. Did you say? Really? Oh, maybe I think he's trying. I think he's probably trolling. Maybe seventy bucks. Maybe seven bucks. Or maybe he's just you know being facetious or not facetious. What's the word? His eyes exaggerating. Uh, trolling. But anyway, 70 bucks. Mr. Ulrich yeah. says, I highly suggest if you can't afford gas to cancel your internet because you NGMI. Because you're not going to make it. <laughs> Is that what that means, Mr. Lodak? Because you're not going to make it? Why cancel the internet? It's the only thing you got. Well, he says, well, you're going to need food probably. So maybe you can cancel. I don't know. I would just go off of uh, data. i go off of an unlimited data plan. Because you're going to need that data anyways. Mm-hmm. So if you're that restricted, you might as well go unlimited data. Knowledge. That's right. I'm looking at home prices. I'm going to be very curious to see what happens with like homes over the course of this year as they raise interest rates. Super, super curious. Super curious, Jose. How curious? Very curious. I'm especially oh. going to be looking at the like affordable housing segment. You know, I'm very curious what happens in the fo- affordable housing. Uh, more trailer parks. Well, just like 
like let's say every house that's currently worth well, like, now you can afford to buy another trailer park right after you after you secure number three right i could buy actually a number after you secure that's, number that's what the banker told me he basically told me you don't have, like he he quote quote quoting him he said quote why are you still working at that shit job yeah no he didn't say that exactly but he said quote unquote he said you are could be easily like you should you should be looking at like multi-million dollar properties right like what the fuck are you doing bro that's what he said because i'm buying a park that was that's like listed around 400 and he's like you should be in the market for like multi-million dollar properties well, <laughs> like oh guess what guess what i didn't realize you're gonna you know that's the next uh... and then i said wait i said hold on one second just hold on and then he heard me put down the phone and then he heard me pick up my work phone and then he heard me go i quit bitch i quit i'm out of here i'm gone <laughs> and then he heard me slam my work laptop and i said i'm back <laughs> Uh, tell me again the thing you were saying about the multi-millions. Please. Tell me where I was going with multi-millions. Look here. Look, listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I highly... Oh, sorry, YouTube viewers. I forgot how bad these guys are here. I forgot how these guys are here is the link for the twitch stream oh i forgot how bad these guys are here is the link don't call us like that actually i don't even know i, I couldn't even understand what you're saying mr lodak but i appreciate you hopping over to twitch yes Twi yes Thank twitch is a lot better man if we can just keep everybody over on twitch dude i will um you know. yeah we're gonna do something what we what can we do to incentivize people to come over because i, I mean i'm doing the same thing on my channel and um it's not to say that youtube is bad but for at least what at, the we're the year, at the end of the year at the end of the year let's say no Twitch, dude at man. the end of the year everybody who's over on twitch if that's how you view the show i'm gonna send you a hundred dollars end of the year at the end of the month bro at i'm the not end sending of out a hundred bucks at the end of month. april by the end of april no i'm not sending out a hundred bucks at the end of april it's at the end of the year for christmas you're gonna get a hundred dollar bill but you got oh if you've been watching on twitch all year yeah oh, okay okay got it deal all right but I mean, I'm, I'm this, this offer is only to the people currently out there. I have to. So Onion Helmet, Opie Taylor. I mean, anybody who's yeah, in but the Onion Helmet's always watching on Twitch. So he already got a free hundred. Well, he has, to, fact, con he has to continue like, watching. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got to continue Helmet's watching. Like... <laughs> but yeah, so Onion. I'll, I'll, but and I'm serious about it. I'll send you each a hundred dollars uh, oh. before <laughs> Christmas. Okay, so when I say at the end of the year, I mean like you know just around the holidays. There, you'll get a hundred dollars. So oh, if that's, uh, I think that's a good incentive. And I've, I follow okay, through on my know, commitment. Uh, my onion helmet's already creating like how many accounts? <laughs> no, no, no. It's only to the present audience with usernames that are actually existing. There you go. Adam get Adam gets in there. Oh shit! We got Adam. So you already lost two hundred bucks, bro. Oh, I, I'm like expecting two. about ten people to make it in the in this list. I'll make the list tonight, right now, actually. I'm making it right now. Hey, Don't, way, I if like I haven't seen your name ever before, like if suddenly like alt account 2345 hops in, doesn't count, man. Just just do one per. What about Lambo? No, he doesn't count. I know who that what is. What do you mean he doesn't count? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> doesn't count, man. What Mr. about Jose? Counts. Opie counts. Hey, Cody, you getting over there? I know Cody. If you don't have an account, you got to get over there. Jose, you don't count, man. Fuck, bro. Send Lambo money then. I'll vouch for him. <laughs> if Cody gets over there, I'm making a list. I got Onion. Hell oh, shit, we got Lucy. Lucifer. Haha, <laughs> we got Lucifer. Hell yeah. He's coming out of the fucking woodwork. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. I ain't glad we're just still alive. We haven't heard, you from, haven't heard from you in a while. Uh, he listens. He's probably worried. No, I know, but something. we were worried, bro, because you know, fucking Australia was uh going, you know, turning into Canada. I mean China. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, so then we got um Adam. Can't forget about Adam. Dude, I'm I'm watching a video now. I just started the documentary, uh, but it's talking about how they think that Canada could break up for real. Like Canada could not, you know, probably won't be a country like in 10 years or something. Oh, what was Ooh, that video from? Crazy. Is that video from Tim Pool? Or no. I'm sorry, Tim. Yeah, Tim Pool. Oh, well, can you imagine, bro? Like how how weird that would be? Or you know, we can't. I mean, can't, I mean, there's a fucking. Sorry, I didn't mean to. 
what is a sidetrack there but no i got everybody i, I wrote down the full list cody right, i'm including lambo you. lambo lambo no why I'll, not because we're going to get into the virtual reality space anyways and i'll probably end up unfortunately because you're jose i'll end up buying you your damn um virtual reality glasses anyways because we're gonna get in oh, the metaverse well, i need a new computer for that too bro so. I, well you're gonna have to get the computer yourself <laughs> you buy the computer i'll buy the glasses right uh i don't know we'll see i don't remember you my username but maybe i might move over there over their next show if it's that much better like we don't want you not showing up because otherwise, by the way if you want if you want me to buy the computer you're gonna have to send lambo some money and me some no um if you guys like don't just show up only you can show up on youtube too uh, but <clears throat> you have to be primarily over on twitch to get the money but at the same time um I would rather have you not get the money and still be here for the show if it means you're just watching on YouTube. Like we we want you on Twitch, but um because it makes a big difference for our show, honestly. It really does. Yes. As opposed same, to YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you can be on Twitch every week, every day. Well, we just prefer it over there and now you have a little bit of an incentive, like it means extra hundred dollars. So just see if you like it. Watch it over there, see if you like it. If it's not worth it to Free you. Money. You can always flip back, and that's fine, man. I mean, hundred bucks ain't worth in like a multiple times feeling annoyed while you're trying to yeah, watch. You're the fucking, show. you're dude, you're a fucking millionaire buying multiple properties. You know, you don't give a fuck about no hundred dollars. No, and neither sh neither will anybody else. But it's like a month from now, if you really don't like Twitch, you won't be using it anyways, and you'll be like, yeah. dude, I'm not gonna use this all year for a hundred. Can't pay me bucks. to watch this shit. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna pay me to watch it on Twitch. But if it's any motivation to switch it over and. And start watching on Twitch instead of YouTube. Um, hundred dollars. Hey, but what can I do for my channel since I can't fucking afford? Yeah, I know. I, I don't know. I just know money. Money motivates. <laughs> so money motivates. I'm sad. I can't afford to to buy, you know, to tell everybody to come over and hold on. Maybe like, what you, you should what? do. Oh, dude, I got a great idea for you, man. You got to yes. tell people if, if you, if like, tell your audience that watches you that you're making a list of people that have moved over to Twitch. And then you basically make sure that they're like, if you see them on YouTube, you kind of are like, Oh, I'm going to make a note of it. Maybe it's just a one-off thing. But if you consistently see them on YouTube, man, they get pulled off the list. And then, but at the end of the year, you're going to, you're going to have a big celebration stream in like November at the end oh, of yeah, November. Oh yeah, like a Patreon to, stream or something. No, to make like holiday cookies. And then you're going to mail them out to everybody. Okay. So, I mean, I know that's probably going to cost you a hundred dollars for shipping, <laughs> but, but you can mail people uh, Christmas cookies that you make, you know, with like, dude, that's like the, the premium package of the Jose cooking show at the end of the year. You get Christmas, Jose holiday. Cookies. You know, it's not a bad idea, man. I could do something like that. Right. Well, shipping is going to be expensive, but you could, I mean, that's maybe no but you know maybe i can do things like i mean i will be doing things like this like special patrons and for Patreon, or maybe you, you maybe or something you, like that you know meaning like if you're like a 25 dollar patron or something i'll do that or whatever. well whatever man 25 dollar patrons a lot we're trying to get people to switch over to twitch man that's yeah, it well i'll fucking give them a shout out all right well i guess if you think that's gonna work no i know it's not gonna work but i was thinking you mail out quality cookies if it helps you like let's say it's super expensive you can mail a box of like 300 cookies to me and then i ship them out individually to everybody or whatever okay and that's how you get your hundred dollars for watching on twitch is i just pay for that like pretty standard shipping like it's probably let's say there's gonna be like eight people that you send holiday cookies to maybe 20 or something you send them to me so it's only crossing the border once and then i send them out from there and I lick each cookie. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Yeah, hold on. I'm I'm um, posting the Discord link. Opie says I started some pepper plants inside. No. Oh, cool. You guys are growing plants out there. Nice. Yeah, I'm growing plants too. Okay. Jose should mail out stickers of himself. And the I have limo. stickers of myself, but you gotta buy them. You should mail them out at the end of the year to everybody. You got to motivate people. I think 
a holiday Christmas package from you would motivate like some of those Facebook boomers over there. They might start making a, I, I hate to call them Facebook boomers, but I've seen your cooking shows and sometimes there's people on Facebook and they're not going to make a Twitch thing unless you really, you know, make them make the, say the Christmas package. You're going to get a Christmas package. If I, if I notice that you've moved over. Okay. Okay. The hell man. I guess I know. <laughs> Anyways, bullshit. I am interested in what happens with the housing market here. Very interesting. Yeah, that's the Discord there. Very interesting. But yeah, I do have stickers. You can buy the stickers. But yeah, okay, I should get some stickers. You're right. You're lagging. I don't know. You don't. You don't got none of my stickers. No one's ever bought my stickers. Fuck out of here. I've never sold stickers before. I have stickers. But no one's ever bought them that I know of. Maybe I'm uh, wrong. This is where I should tell you I have a josesticker.com URL. <laughs> I've been selling a few stickers over the years. Jose Onion, Onion says, Jose, know your Twitch viewers a house. Yeah, because they're cheap in Mexico. Though, so you guys are cheap house. Hey, speaking of, though, with, that, good idea. With, with me, instead of having to spend $70,000 on a piece of property here coming up, mm -hmm. what that means is oh, send I, people a trailer. No, well, no, but I can um I can probably yeah, start I can like start a, like my a... Airbnb expansions much sooner than I than I realized in the past. Yeah. Including Hey, you know what I was thinking, down, bro? Could you I can air... I'm gonna be probably no, real quick, real quick. Can okay. you Airbnb a trailer? Would you be able to do that? Yeah, but nobody's gonna want to Airbnb a trailer. You sure? I mean Probably not, but yeah, I guess you could try. If you go sleep, I mean, live in hotels. That's true. I mean, I guess you could do like, hey, five hundred dollars a month, and now you have a temporary living. At the very least, it's through Airbnb, so they they have to pay an escrow beforehand. So I guess there's yeah. like a guarantee of collection on it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I could, I guess it's an idea, but I am going to be buying probably an Airbnb at some point here. I can choose Mexico City. But it'll be somewhere in Mexico. I will be buying an Airbnb, and this just fat like made that much faster that I'll be buying that Airbnb down in Mexico because it was going to be like maybe like two years by the time I really got serious about that. But if if this is true, I could probably get pretty serious about that um, late in this year. Awesome. Sounds exciting. It is. Mm-hmm. Very exciting. Houses for everyone is going to be, you're going to do like Oprah. Dude, you'll you're, get a house. Dude, you'll get a house. Your guys, your guys is like, his thing is just lagging like crazy. I don't know. It's on your end, bro. We already, didn't we already figure out that it was always on your end? I don't know. It's not on my end. Clay Howell says, shit, I've seen some badass trailers, AKA mobile homes. Adam says, I got a Mexico sticker on my for on my fridge. <laughs> Cool. Jose stickers. Cool. Yeah, man. Let's do this. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Should we check out the stock markets right before leaving for the night? Check out the stonks? I think so. That's a good idea. Here's our Airbnb. We love Airbnb stock. You guys know how we feel about this one. We do. That 167 or 157. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Look at it. All right, let's check out Bitcoin. Check out the gold Bitcoin here. Mmm, consolidation. Indecision. Mm -hmm. Looks exciting. This is the daily. This is the daily. Oh, yeah, man. Look at it. It's going to break one way or the other at some point here. We're kind of getting to that kind of time to make a decision, Bitcoin. What do you want to do? I have a bad feeling about this, by the way. I think it's going down next. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, now? Who the fuck is going to buy Airbnb now in the middle of the beginning of World War Three, bro? <laughs> well, you never know. Maybe Ukraine. Oh, wait. You got like 10 viewers, bro. You're going to give them all like 100 bucks? Look at those. Well, they got a comment on Twitch. It's like $1,000, bro. 
Hell yeah, dude. dude a thousand dollars. Didn't okay. Tell them I sent you a thousand dollars once just because Jose pointed out something about a PPP loan during and COVID. I made, I made him money, so. and he made me like eight thousand dollars. Right. Well, yeah. I made him more. I'm more, but he gave me. So I sent him a thousand dollars. So I will absolutely send each of you guys a hundred dollars. I have a list. I was you writing down. Help names. Us make money. You help us make partner. Yeah, but there's another thing too. You know, we we're trying. You know, if we because if, you know if we elevate this channel, you know, meaning we just get a, a concurrent amount of viewers here, and then all of a sudden they make us like partner or whatever the fuck it's called. You know, it's on, affiliate. Affiliate first. Affiliate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On YouTube. I mean, on on Twitch. Then all of a sudden, like when whenever they roll commercials in front of the thing, we make money, plus other shit. I think. No, well, the the biggest part, and I wish your I, we got to just like if it's not about the money though. It's just about no, we but, get more viewers, we get more correct, followers. No. It helps us grow. Yes, let me explain it real quick. Yes, and please. by the way, if this show wasn't about to be like over in about, I guess we got fifteen minutes left. You want to leave the call and come back because your character is just not looking great. Dude, we got like twenty minutes left. Yeah. That's I don't know why. what do you want to do with my character. You want to stop? I think you should um, stop sharing. Drop and roll. Stop sharing your screen and reshare. It. There you go. I'll try it again. Try talking. Hello. There you go. Yep. Better. Okay. So the reason, like, why we would do that is because if we have like seven viewers on Twitch, their their discovery algorithm recognizes those seven viewers and suddenly we are not in the shit pool of like two viewer shows and we yeah, have seven viewers on twitch is like seven thousand viewers or 700 viewers you know no but it's it's definitely more significant than anything yes. anything on youtube with like Correct. seven viewers or you can have 500 viewers on youtube and still never be in any discovery algorithm at all so which is a big deal do yeah. more shows, Adam says. Well, we might have a, so we, we, we are um, obviously, so this is our studio right now. It's a 3D studio, as you can tell, in Jose's mouth. <laughs> what the fuck, Jose? Why, oh, why, 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 what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this is a 3D studio, as you can tell. But we we will, especially by the way, dude, everything got moved up. With That's why it's such great news about this whole, um, this whole equity thing, if I can do, if I can pull it off and my banker can pull it off, we're about to be in the metaverse if we wanted to be like before May, like we could, well, no, around May, we will be entering a whole metaverse in May. In fact, we should cover more metaverse news during the show because we got to get everybody hyped up. And if you're not hyped about the metaverse, you will be. That's right. Hype train. Choo choo. Yeah. And so we're about to enter the metaverse. And that would be a 3D virtual, like if you if you're just viewing on Twitch, you'll still see this. You'll it'll actually be like a look into the 3D world as me and Jose get up on stage and do the show, and we're like virtual stuff. But you know this is pretty nice too, other than the fact that look at Jose right now. Look, he looks. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. How about now? Better, better. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm typing, so it's like okay, there I got it. There, I'm better. There. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll figure it out, but we are going to go into the, into the metaverse. We're going to have a bar. We're going to have a comedy, uh, basically like a bar. We're still working on the details, but anybody who wants to be in it can, can walk into the, in, into the studio and hang out before the show starts. And then at eight o'clock or nine o'clock, when we usually start on Monday and Thursday nights, nine o'clock New York time, suddenly the channel will light up live and it'll be a live look into whatever, um, into this virtual world where we'll basically be doing exactly what we are doing right here. We'll be doing the show and we'll have a huge. Um, but you know what? Listen, man, yeah. unless the virtual world is exactly similar to what it is right here, right now, I don't want to go in it. You That's know right. I mean? Well, I mean, if this, you know if, this is, no? if this is a better product, because I actually do like this product of like the 3D. I like it. Um way better bro so if it's not remember, it's all about immersion it's right. all about remember you can you remember now going through the camera tricks and all this other stuff you know what i mean like all this other yada yada yeah but it's all about immersion so far i think this is a way better product for that kind of except for the fact that like it's just your mouth is not the best it's like 
terrible. What's wrong with actually. it now? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Wow, I don't know. What'd you do to it, bro? You broke it. I didn't do anything to it. Yeah. Hello? You got to reset your stuff. Work. All right, help. It was working fine, so you broke it. Hello? Uh, one, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. One, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three. Okay, good. One, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three. Man, we got so many commenters coming in. This is awesome. Hello, everybody. Oh, we got Naru Jalouf. I know. Shout out to you. Yeah, he's uh, he's on the, the cooking stream. Shout out to you. Nice. We got the whole fucking family out tonight. Everybody drunk. Say, hey, we know what? Everybody wants that $100. Oh, we, need, we need to have a, a toast to us, a toast to everybody out there today, a toast to fucking the leprechauns that we ate today on the show, a toast to the to the haters, a toast to everybody. Shout out to everybody, Dr. Magoo, everybody, you name it. Salute. That's right. Hi, guys. Good to see you're keeping it real, says Dem uh, Del Magoo. Always keeping it real. That's the only way to do it. <laughs> I know. Yes. Okay, so what should we put move. on the back screen here? Like we have to like the back screen of the studio. I told you, man, we just gotta have like a little like pretend to have a screen, like a uh -huh. TV, like just have a big screen back there. You know, right. you know what I mean or no? Yeah, but what should it show? Should it show like the current well, thing? It, it, like okay, Maybe, like the uh, current we'll, we'll topic that we'll we're covering? No, 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 no. Just have a like a black box. Okay. You know, cut it out in OBS. There's like an old black box yeah. there, and then that box. You know, basically, you can just play all kinds of things. You know, right now, instead of you, you could just leave it like this, or you can also have like uh, some background something. You mm, know what I mean? Okay. Like some sort of just background. Yeah. Or maybe like a picture of something that. Well, that's what, you, like, let's say it was. That we're talking about. Exactly. But, if it was something that we were talking, like, let's say it was a conversation about. Um, like today, like for example, today it would Gas just prices. be the, no, no. But today the background would just be like some shamrocks and some fucking, uh, you know, uh, what you call it? Fucking St. Patty's Day. Yeah. So what do you think? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, you know, our Adam says you know we can show the crypto prices there. Yeah, we get. I mean, oh hell to... yeah, dude! Let's get the fucking the stocks thing. The thing up is... there, bro. Let's get the yeah, stocks man, but, up but... there. But listen, man, the thing is that what we need to do is just have that black box and then it'll force us to like always have kind of something there. And then you got to have something there. You know what I mean? Just you got to okay, take I'll a work few on minutes. That. I'll work on that just this have, weekend. No, you'll have, yeah, you just have a few windows open and then you could just, you know, pop in or whatever. It'll look amazing. You know what, I mean? you know yeah, what I'm going to do too? Great. I'm going to see. Is this more interactive? Is like you something going see on. See this, you know? uh, this border right here, this, this brown border. I'm going to keep that. So it's going to look very, very clean. Yeah. Oh, look, it's funny. Onion Summit says, yo, what the fuck? You waved. It's crazy. Yeah, look, I'm going to wave right now again. Look at this. In fact, I'm going to move my head around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wave a little. Wait, look, I'm going to wag my tail. Look at that. All right. I'm going to wave again. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that. I'm going to do a little dance. Do a little dance. Make a little That's love. why, like, in many ways, this is the metaverse. And by the way, um, it is, man. That's right. what I'm telling you, but man. We can actually, like, let's say one of you guys were to come inside and, like, have one of these characters, you would totally be able to sit back here. <laughs> yeah. And we and we would put the microphone there, and you'd be able to, like, this can be four people. Yeah. Very easily. And we're, I mean, ideally, we have, like, like some guests come on, like, oh, here comes, yeah. uh, you know, Edward Snowden. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. We just have guests and we just pop Here them in comes, back there. Well, who's yeah. that guy? Carlos. Uh, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Oh, Carlos, man. Yeah, the guy. The... <laughs> Big on <connect. laughs> Sorry, we got to have him on. That should be back here. Big on Well, we can ask him to be on. And I have a couple of people who are big into NFTs. Like uh and if this guy's like all into the NFT networks, he's actually he created a virtual art studio inside the metaverse. And I'm not, you know, 
I'm just interested to learn like what he believes the future of that is. So we might have him on. Mm -hmm. Here comes yeah, Alex Rogan. Jones. Yeah, that's right. Alex Jones. Yeah, Joe Rogan invited us, actually. You know, we're going to be on the show soon. You imagine one day, you know, it'll be like, hey, uh, I like your show. You imagine Joe Rogan's actually listening out there right now and while he's eating his venison. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Definitely Alex Jones is listening, 100%. We know the FBI and CIA are listening. Shout out to you. Thank you, Cody, for the follow. Thank you, sir. I see you on Twitch. You got your logins. That's amazing. Right. You but guys yeah, did amazing, I mean, dude. Oh, dude, $100 to each of you again. Um, I, I mean, is it so better, man? Doesn't it, it feels like already a better. Doesn't it feel better on Twitch? Come on. Doesn't it feel better on Twitch? Yeah, especially if you're... Oh, Clay Howell hops in on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, there's no delay also on Twitch, too. Or there's very little delay. You guys are right there with us. Like right. Clay, Clay, we got to get you on Twitch, bro. Uh, Clay says, Jose, boy, Gar... Uh, Gar yeah, Gary V loves NFTs. Oh, dude, did you hear? Yeah, I know, bro. I don't know what's going on with Gary V, bro. But yeah, man, like he's also... I think he divorced his wife and now he's like, you know, going out with like some really hot fucking yoga no check way should we look at that yeah. gary v dating and like you do it and people are and like even like pewdiepie is like making videos on him and shit like that like no way who the fuck is this guy he's like yeah this guy's like insane you know like yeah you, oh dude you know what bro we should watch the pewdiepie video of him commenting on gary v because that that is fucking hilarious Holy interesting look at this that. dude look at this and we can comment on that because that is fucking pure hilarious. Yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll send it to you. Mona Vond and Gary V officially yeah, relationship look at that, explained. Bro. Oh, explain. Okay, good. Read it because I don't know what's going on. Read it. Read it. Dr. Mona Vond is a pharmacy doctorate holder and entrepreneur and influencer. I got to scroll this. I got to zoom out here. An influencer. She is currently in a relationship with Gary V. Oh, real quick, can somebody post the can somebody with the wrench post the Twitch link? You know, oh, just by the, the way, give everybody over there. I think in the chat, we should give a lot of people wrenches over on Twitch. If, actually, I don't. Some one of us has to be logged into the account to do that, so I guess we can't. Yeah, do don't that. worry about it. It's fine. Okay, moving on. <laughs> we got we got people with wrenches, bro. The There's couple, a reason why we give them rent. They can do it. They can. We trust them. I trust them. Okay? Right. The couple has been in the limelight for their relationship news. Recently, the couple made their relationship public via social media. The couple announced their relationship officially on Instagram. The couple shared the mo a post revealing their relationship about uh, with each other. And Gary showed a picture of himself with his bae and captioned it by writing, <laughs> You make me extremely happy. That's right. That's when I saw I was like, wait, what do you mean? Yeah, I saw that one. And I was like, whoa, wait, huh? That's not, is that his wife? I was like, really? It's like, damn. I was like, wait a minute, that can't be his wife. On the other hand, Mona shared a photo of herself in which she can be seen uh, lying on face. Gary V's shoulder. And she captioned the post, life with you is beautiful, Gary V. Yeah, you know, life with you is just uh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how people impersonate him? I'm sorry, I'll impersonate his post. Yeah, you you make me extremely happy. <laughs> uh, let me throw a heart emoji on there. <laughs> yeah, bro. Look, I'm sending you the video. We gotta watch a little bit of oh, it. Man. Just uh, okay. Just comment on it just before we go. Looks like he is playing with her stank box. You know what? <laughs> you know what let me take. Oh, yeah, dude, it does look like his hand is in a place. I mean, her, he's just clearly on her knee, Opie. But I see your point. Yeah. You know what his hand the said? Smile his face. The smile it, on his face. His hand said, um, So tell us, what's your dream job? What's his Darling, dream job? I've told you several times before, I have no dream job. I do not dream of labor. <laughs> oh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know. I was forcing that one. I don't have a good yeah, sound. The thing effect. about YouTube, I mean, the thing about Twitch is as well is like you can say things like that. Like I, he's playing with her stank box. You can say, and it's not going to censor you. It's not going to whatever. We can say things like that. We can play videos. We can do anything on Twitch, bro. Hey, man, we could actually open up with you can you we can, can play music on you can Twitch. play music on Twitch. Yes, 
Right. It's amazing. And why anyway. wouldn't it be? It's Amazon. You know, Amazon's entire purpose is to take over the world. To take over a market by offering a better product and then literally cap I mean it's, it's actually good. I mean, it's unlike Google, which is just uh market is buying other buying people who are existing and big like YouTube and yes. making them worse. Anyways, that's hey, you that's uh, Google's business model as opposed to at least Amazon, like they offer something better. Let's play a little bit of that video so we can get out of here. Well, let me go ahead and I, what video did you send it to me or something? Yes. Ah. Oh, oh, by the way, onion cooking says, Jose, we're going to need some great depression era cooking recipes the way it's going. Oh, 100%. In fact, um, that I, I try to do a lot of that. You know what I mean? In fact, I've made a few already like, um, cheap, inexpensive meals. I try to do that. I, that's why but yes, yes, I do emphasize that. You're right. And I, you know what? I think in the future, I'm going to make uh, a week, you know, maybe like Great Depression meals or some shit like that, or like, you know, cheap, inexpensive meal week or something like that. Um, but yeah, I do try to emphasize it a lot. Um, again, why I started doing the cooking and uh, let go of the other shit I was doing, because I feel like uh, I, that's really more important right now is uh, showing people, uh, you know, how to cook, how to save how to survive, money, how to, how to All survive. Right, let's, let's listen to PewDiePie real quick, real quick. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's funny as fuck. Yeah. Hello, Felix. Gary Vayner. You know this guy? No. I got him on my TikTok feed. I don't know what he does. He just speaks a lot, and it's weird to listen to. Why don't we start by watching some advice that he gives? Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, I've seen this dude. Yeah. He looks like he's 20 and 50 at the same time. <laughs> That's what... Entrepreneur shit does to you, Ken. Who do you love the most in the world? My family. Good. Who in your family? Pick one. All of them. <laughs> Every day, make in the in like literally <laughs> day, genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. <laughs> I'm being dead serious with you. Every single day. <laughs> myself one of them got shot in the face <laughs> that is the biggest thing i do that leads to the biggest happiness i have <laughs> what the fuck bro that's the biggest thing he does you just gotta <laughs> that's crazy how like i don't want to watch the rest of it you want to watch it just check it out on pewdiepie's channel but crazy how, like, I don't how oh yeah, yeah sorry, sorry. It's, it's just crazy how like he yeah that is weird <laughs> pewdiepie making videos about gary v huh interesting he no really but i mean it's just basically that he's just trolling a little bit you know but it's funny because I mean, dude, I mean, I love Gary V. I love him. Don't get me wrong. He's fucking awesome. He's hilarious. You know, he's he's awesome. But it is true, bro. You know, it is getting to the point where it is a little ridiculous because it's like, uh, look, I mean, <laughs> look at like, his advice is very vague. You know, he's always like, you, you know what I'm saying? No, it's like uh, he's always like, just it's almost do just it. like it's like, designed, do what? Do, yeah. it's designed yeah. for shock value. Like that one is clearly just kind of, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, it's, the thing is, to, it's like this. He's the, trying the, to break the problem. Through. The problem is this Gary V's advice works only for people that are already, um, they know what they want to do. They know what they want with life. They know what direction they're going. They want, you know what I mean? They know, they know. So they just, that Gary V's great because it just helps with that, that pump, you know, that, that kick in the ass that you need uh, when you know what you want to do. But when you don't know, when you don't fucking know anything, you know, that Gary V is vague as fuck. You, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You don't know. You know what I mean? Like, you don't know what the fuck to do. Like, right now, Gary V's advice to you, you get it. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's pretty straightforward. You know what I mean? It's like, stop watching Netflix, you know? Right? That, that, stop doing this, stop doing that, and go fucking, uh, go do it. But the thing is, like, you, you know, when people go, do what? It's like, well, because you don't know, you don't have your thing yet. You know what I mean? But, like, for you and for me, we know what we got to go do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so. Yeah, well, okay, go ahead. I see you waving your hand. Oh. <laughs> no, I thought, I'm actually you, just I thought typing. You to say no, I'm just typing. Oh, I'm we sorry. should do that, right? How about that? Yeah. That's actually hilarious. I just was commenting to somebody and I literally said we should do that. Mm. Wow. How the fuck did you know that? Alberto sometimes comments on our uploads. So thank you, Alberto. He sometimes sure. throws a comment on there. And on the last, he commented two days ago, and I just saw it for the first time. 
you know what that's like? That's like Donald Trump when he was leaving the Minnesota rally and he learned about that uh, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Gator Brinsburg that died. And he goes, I didn't know that you're telling me for the first time. Do you remember that line he had? It was just like a famous line. She just died? Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. You're telling me now for the first time. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Um... Where was I going with that? I don't remember. You're eating some Dorito chips. Okay. I'm giving some Dorito chips to Onion Helmet. He says he wants some Dorito. pizza. Time. Okay. Well, guys, we are back on Tuesday night. It's going to be even better and bigger. We're we're going to continue to ramp up this show. There's going to be a big screen behind us. We're finally blowing up. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> we're going to come in with we're we're going to come in with with like, um. Well, you'll see it on Monday night. Okay. So be sure to come back Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern New York time is when we're live. If you don't catch us live, watch the videos up on, you can watch them on Twitch too after they're going live. So you can watch them on Twitch or watch them on YouTube. And uh, Jose has his own stuff. He cooks every Monday through Thursday. So he has his own cooking channel is what I should say. So if you want to see Jose cook, link in the description or it's called Cooking with Jose on Twitch as well. Cooking live. Cooking live. Is it doing live? On air, live. Like we're doing this live. That's right. We're live. See you guys Monday night. We will talk to you on Tuesday. On Monday. Monday night. See you guys on motherfucking Monday. Say I see Clay made it to Twitch. Hey, does Clay count? Yes, sir. Okay, Clay. Clay, you you're in the running for the hundred dollars. You, you get a hundred dollars. We'll tell you more about it on Monday. Remind us, okay? I'm looking for that damn song that we played last time. I love that that song. One second. What song? Oh, no, we just played now. No, you remember it? No, which one? <clears throat> what song was it? One second. Oh no, which one? Oh, here it is. I found it. Oh, you all got it. Our, our new our new outro song. Just do the cut. That's correct. All right, all right. Hey guys, we love you. Big hugs. See you Monday. Have a great weekend. Peace. There we go.